Hey guys, Fia back at it again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 1st of May 2022. Please ignore my forehead and my fingers. I dyed my hair last night and there I is getting everywhere. It was a transmog hunting day and we spent the entire stream in Cathedral of Eternal Night with great success. If you would like to catch us live and chump in with all those wonderful chats and all that kind of ridiculousity, uh, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. And if you add a forward slash schedule on the end of that URL, you will get my schedule, but magically converted to your local time zone, which is fantastic. And if you'd like to help me grow, I would like to be a full-time content creator at some point in the future. And to do that, I need a social media empire. Please follow me on any social media you feel comfortable uh, on, particularly Instagram. All those links are down in the description box below. Enough about me. Enjoy the VOD and we will see you live in chat next time. Hello. Greetings. How is everybody? Go away. What is happening? We're going to start ourselves up with our first battle of the day. Looting, looting. Uh, ooh, oh, I've got stuff completed. Hang on a second. Hey, more paladin scrolls. Four kills. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one think maybe by the sun well <gasps> rel thank you so much for the race up much appreciated i have to get healers down anyway so let's uh let's start with healers and then see where we go Ah, oh, dearie me thank you so much for the race up for your ongoing support and generosity so kind of you today we're doing Cathedral. Cathedral of Eternal Night. Because it's next on my list and I really don't want to have to ever do it again. <laughs> so the bottom one on the list is the Shaman. Shaman for Cathedral of Eternal Night. Um, but it's tied with the Hunter. So what I'm going to do, because they're both male wearers, I'm thinking I'm going to go from the bottom all the way through all the ally tunes and then all the way through the horde tunes, bottom to top, doing all the, the sh uh, blah, blah, blah. let's try that again, shaman and hunters, like, as we go, and hoping that by the time we've done with them, we don't have to do it anymore. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do mythic on them is my only... Oh no, it's my only oh no. This says 50%. That's not. Oh, it's because it's on account mode. That explains that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Well done, Doofus on third. Zam with first. Shiba with second. Rel uh, attempting the first. Sure, quiet in here. It was, it, there was a bit of a burst of movement and then nothing for a little bit. It was, a bit, it was a bit quiet before I turned the camera on, but that's okay. Hello, Sheba. 69th for Seeker, but you got to take the E out. Um, I didn't turn my captions on. Good captions are now active. My apologies to anyone using captions. My my sincere apologies. They are switched on now. Um, or is it all? Thank you. Yes, we are. We are praying to RN Jesus uh, that that this will no longer be 31, 35.71%. We need it. Higher. Up. Go up. Yep. So I don't know. Stay sincere. Remember captions zero. Look. Everything else is functional. I restarted my computer today, but the bot's there. I've updated my graphics card driver. I have. I. Guys. I know I asked for a spam of mod chats. Um, mod chats. Mod emotes in Discord. But I do not think that you quite understand just how unbelievable Jazz's help yesterday was. Um, good lord. Jazz, I mean, I've always known that Jazz is a fast learner. Like, that's, that's a given. But we sat down and I showed him a couple of things to do with clips and it took, uh, Jazz, Jazz might be able to correct me here, but it took somewhere close to four hours 
to go through all the clips made for April um, and like enter them into the spreadsheet and all this kind of stuff. And I, sa I say close to four hours, there were 27, 26, 27. There were 26 usable clips. Like not, okay, not just that, that sounds harsh, but there were 26 clips that can be posted on social media um, without too much context given uh, out of the whole month, which is a little bit short, but of course we, you know, we pulled some from previous months and everything's peachy game, everything's totally fine. Um, and then I taught Jas how to stick them into the combo website to get them from like the screen to the vertical thing for social media uh, and download them all there. He did that. Um, I then showed him how to put them into my scheduling programs to have them go to YouTube and uh, TikTok, not YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. And he did seven days worth of that. And then I showed him how to upload them to YouTube as shorts and he did seven days of that as well. That's like half my social media scheduling for the month. Okay, not quite half, but like that's the big, this is the thing, right? Social media for this stuff, it's not hard. It's the, the, the bits that are difficult that the bit, the individual thing that is difficult is figuring out what kind of content works for your audience. And that's done massively through trial and error. You, you post something, you see how the engagement goes, you try it again, you see how the engagement goes, you do it a few more times and you average out the engagement and then you decide whether or not it's worth it. Right? That's, that's, that's how you do socials. Um, that part's hard because you've got to make so many like guesses and, and I, I don't knows and all that kind of stuff. But the actual getting of the clips and sticking them places and doing doing all that kind of stuff super easy super 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 simple my message good we have it just takes forever where do i get my um dalaran hearthstone i don't do i i have to do the other quest thing don't i this one doesn't have, this tune doesn't have a Dalhearth, and I was hoping to get them while I was here, but I think you actually have to go and pick up that quest from Stormwind and then bring it here, which I think I could do for the rest of the tunes that I do, because having the Dalaran Hearthstone is just so convenient. So unbelievably convenient. Um, unless it's this one here. What is this one for? No. Don't want that. Good. But yeah, um... Oh my god, massive help. Huge weight lifted off my shoulders. Um, it's really awesome. Uh, so I'm glad that that's kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just one of those words I'll always misspell. Look, having the E in there works, and I feel like it, I almost feel somewhere in my brain like the, the having the N, the E in ninth is maybe like a regional thing. I, I don't, I don't know. It feels like it could be correct, if that makes sense. I don't know. But yeah, I, I see what you're doing. Just because I generally spell very well. There's always at least one. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Hello, Chaos. Doing very well. How are you? How are you? My to-do list is smaller than it has been in months. Because while Jas was doing that, I was able to do other work. Uh, and I have scheduled all of Facebook, all of Twitter, for the whole fucking month. Um, and I'm a week into Instagram, but I've realized that I don't actually have enough content for Instagram this month, so I need to create some. Uh, that's gonna be... the time! But it's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna do this on... Heroic. And see how we go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, good afternoon, Bear. So it was Jassy deleted our clips this month, yes. Every other month it's been me, but this month, yes. There were a couple of clips uh, where, like, the, the, the start and end just weren't quite right. There were also a couple of clips where we had one clip that was five seconds long that provided some context, and then another clip that was 17 seconds long that was the haha, -ha, but it wasn't ha it wasn't funny without the context, so he got rid of both of those clips and make, made one clip that encompassed both, that kind of stuff. But yeah, like it's... Ah, oh, no trash, no trash drops here. Fantastic. But I'm still going to pull everything. But I don't have to kill those specific trash drop people, which is nice. Um, but yeah, 
Um, it was it was just this month, but every other month it's been me. But moving forward, it might also be Jas. So we'll see how it goes. We blame Jas. Look, it is it is really difficult. Like the the clippy stuff is super tricky. Um, trying to figure out like when you're posting a clip to social media. There are there are a couple of things that I think of when I'm watching something um, before I before I post it, before I decide whether or not it's something that I would post. First thing is, does it need extra context? Like, is it is it funny to everyone, or is it just funny to us because of the inside joke? Some of the inside joke stuff I absolutely do keep because I know that a lot of people who follow me on the socials are um, part of the community anyway, so they'll get the context, so we'll hold on to some of those. Um, but maybe not post them. Like, maybe we'll keep them, but we won't post them. Yep. Um, there are definitely clips that I keep but don't post. Like, I flag them as do not put on social media kind of thing. Uh, the, the clipping for the start and the end. Um, watching it all the way through is an important metric for socials, uh, in terms of engagement and stuff. And... If, especially, like, the start of the clip is super, super, super important. If somebody has to wait more than two seconds for stuff to start happening, they will scroll away, they will click off, they will go do something else. Like, the the, the key, like, the stuff that's in the clip has to start within the first two seconds, or it's just not gonna, like, people aren't gonna wait around for seven seconds for the funny to start. It just doesn't happen. Um, and so they'll keep scrolling, and we'll miss that engagement. Uh, but then, yeah, the end of it, um, making sure that it like, if you're going to watch it on a loop, the, the whole thing is funny. Um, and uh, the other thing. There was something else that slipped my mind because my brain's just kind of gone kiss flat. But yeah, clips are fantastic. But it's got, oh, that, it, it, that it's funny enough that people kind of think, this is, this is cool. This entertains me. I want more where this came from. Because that's what prompts the follow. That's what prompts the follow. It prompts them going and watching more reels or TikToks or whatever. And if there's an and be, because there's several steps to this, they see one, they like it, they like it enough that they follow it through to my profile, and watch other things and follow me, and then they like the other ones enough that they then follow link in bio and go follow me on Twitch, and then they're here next time when we go live. Like that's kind of the feed through. Because although absolutely, you know, increasing the reach on socials and stuff, obviously that's how you get the sponsorships and all that kind of thing. Uh, but bringing them eventually back to Twitch, this is where I get the majority of my income at the moment. At the moment. Eventually, hopefully, I'll get the majority of the money from sponsorships, but I'm not nearly big enough for that yet. Yeah! It's, clips are a whole thing. They're a, it's an art. Far more of an art than a science, I'll tell you that much. So yeah, there are a couple that just, I know for a fact there were a couple that just deleted so that he could reclip them with better cropping and stuff. Um, but, you know, that's, it means that you've captured something phenomenal, but that you haven't wanted to miss the stream making sure that you got the crop right. And that's totally fair. Totally fair. Uh, yeah, really super duper time consuming. Super duper time consuming. Uh, to get your Dalaran Hearthstone, take portal in Orc Stormwind to Azuna, fly up to Dalaran distance, go to the Ledger Main Lounge and talk to Amici Azure Gaze, the innkeeper. Talk to her and she'll give you Dalaran Hearthstone. Brilliant. It's the Ledger, Ma Ledger Main Lounge. Thank you, Sheba. I will do that shortly. Much appreciated. Uh, what have you done in another night? Hopefully fun shenanigans. Look, I hope so. Um, I hope so. We'll see how many tunes we can get through Cathedral. I don't know how many of my tunes are going to be mythic capable. I'm kind of thinking maybe I just ignore mythic and do heroic because that way I don't waste any time wiping to, to trash and so I don't have time to run 50 rounds of cathedral. So maybe just doing heroic will be, will result, will get a better result for us. But we'll see. Fingers crossed. I remember one of my port to Dell. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm going to do this right now. Yas. Yes. Well, I'll work through my tunes. Probably won't get them all done right now, but as I log on to them, I might as well, right? You know, it's another useful thing to have. I really does take a lot off a of streamer doing stuff for them. Glad to have people fear. Me too. Oh my god, me too. 
Um, and it's also a really good indication, like having, like teaching Jas what I want and then getting him to do it. And then watching over time as if, like, as he does this repeatedly, how he speeds up with his processes and stuff is going to give me a fantastic frame of reference. Because I've been doing this for a while, so I take this much time, but I don't really know how somebody new to it would do, or someone who isn't me would do. So if I do start to have, like, have to look outside of just Jas and I to get help, it's going to really help me figure out how much I should be offering to compensate somebody. If I'm going to pay them, if I'm going to get them to invoice me for their services, how much should I be paying them? How much is too much? How much is not enough? Like, where, where is the, where is the thing? And if I ask somebody to invoice me and they don't know how they value their time, I can look at, okay, well, what would you expect as an hourly rate? And then I can say, well, this is how long I expect it to take. And so how about an invoice? Do you know what I mean? I can kind of help them in that without taking advantage of them. Because that's one big, hugely scary thing is um, if you ask someone who's going to be paying you, how much should I charge you? I got, yay. And it's an upgrade. That's embarrassing. Um, you know, how do you know that they're not going to take advantage of you? And as much as I, you know, I'm not that kind of person, that's the last thing I would ever want to do. Do I actually know how much somebody, do you know what I mean? Like, so that kind of, if I can have that discussion with someone that might help. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully we won't have to do that for a while, but if that is something that comes up, um, yeah, it's, it's something I can look at now. You know, I, I have that confidence that I'm not going to be scamming somebody out of their time because <laughs> that would suck. And I'd hate to gain that. Like, I hate, I'd hate to do that. Uh, this has prompted me to go do it. Fantasmic. Wonderful. Uh, big SO to Zam for so many of the clips. Absolutely real. 100%. Zam does do so, so many of the clips here. Honest to God. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, hello, Josh. Howdy, hello, Zarin. How are you today? Welcome back. Knowing your own value is super hard when you're starting out. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. And I'd really like to, I, I'd love to think that, um, you know, if, if I did end up recruiting a, a member of the community to help me out with this kind of stuff and and have them bill me then if they enjoyed doing it because that was one of the things one of the things just said was it was easy to do once you get into the flow of it it's fine it's just really boring <laughs> and i'm like yeah yes it is you are correct watching the clips that part is kind of fun like the whole he you get the like oh i i one of the things that i said to jazz was if you watch a clip and the end of it you find yourself smiling and you don't remember why you were smiling. That's a good clip. Like that, if it makes you feel something and if you, if you laugh along and if you smile along with me on the, on the clip, then you know that that's a good clip. And that's what, because that's what I want. I want my content to make people smile without them realizing kind of thing. Um, and, but it, it like that bit's kind of fun and the reminiscing about what happened through the month and all that, but the rest of it's hella boring. It's, it's so boring. So utterly boring. Uh, so if I, if I'm able to like eventually one day, if I need to find somebody to help with this and they enjoy doing it and I've helped them figure out how much that time is worth, they might be able to offer that as a service to other creators that they're a fan of, that they watch and stuff like that. So that's kind you know what I mean? It's yeah, it'd be kind of cool, but you know, it's a, uh, it's a time. <laughs> And we learned that editors can indeed delete clips. They never used to be able to, because I know back, way back when, and Rump was going through my clips and helping me out with some stuff, Rump couldn't delete anything and he's flagged as an editor, but now they can delete clips. <clears throat> um, enjoy your lurk seeker. All right, is one pizza slice per hour? Oh, you are selling yourself. You're selling yourself short, Landa. Unless pizza's really expensive where you are, like really expensive. Fear with the upsell? No, look, it's fear with the encouraging people to make money doing what they love. 
because it's what I do and it's just so good. You'd think like, I was genuinely scared that one day I'd find that point where, um, I was genuinely, genuinely scared that one day I would find that point where turning my passion, my hobby into an income source would blow back on me. Like it'd suck and I'd lose my passion for it. It wouldn't be fun anymore. But it's been over six years and I haven't found it yet. This is still fun. There are absolutely parts of the streaming experience that are not super awesome for me. The, the social media stuff is, is one part of that. It is a slog. I'm getting better at it, but it's still a slog. Uh, but the, the rest of it, I still enjoy it so, so much. And I'm so thankful for that. So thankful. Um, it's like how I do all the data entry for our class, even though all three of teach different subjects enjoy the repetitive process. Yeah. Yeah, so do I, once you get in that flow, it really does, like, time just kind of moves faster and you just get it done and all of a sudden it's it's done. Uh, but yeah. I'm not sure that, it, like, Jas doesn't, he's not so much a fan of the repetitive tasks. Uh, and doing clippy shit is very, very repetitive. Mmm. It's definitely an art for some and a tedium for others. Yep, 100% agreed. Absolutely. Hey, Asak, how are you doing? A question. Do you use or want brand promotion clips? Like, I keep clipping those in the hopes of brands will like them, but I don't know how you feel about them. No, yeah, definitely. Um, because what I can do, like, I, instead of making them, for example, a reel, I can grab those and use them as an actual post on on Instagram and stuff like that, I can still upload them to TikTok outside of the reels and I can send it to them as raw content as well if if it's appropriate at the time. So yeah, for sure. One of the ones uh, I scheduled today, because I did all the clip scheduling for Twitter, Jas is just doing it for the other platforms, and one of the ones we had today was the one where we were sitting in the, um, uh, what's it place? Um, in the Warrior Order Hall. And I did the, the hair curling with the, I just pulled out the dream wave and curled a bit of my hair to show how easy it was. So that's, that's something we're using on socials because it, it demonstrates really quickly and easily just like, just how easy it was to do. Um, yeah. So yes, absolutely. <clears throat> I just have to get better at like summarizing, at stopping and thinking about my words for a second, rather than like, this is a really, really awesome thing that I like to buy. Cause I do that a lot. I need to get better at that so that you can clip it, like so that the, yeah, the clips are more engaging and so that it's better advertising and stuff. But um, that's not on you. That's entirely on me. <laughs> entirely on me. Hey, Scarlet, how you doing? Welcome back. I oh, I didn't grab the loot from Domatrax. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Leather. Okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can edit out those parts of your- I mean, we can. We can. But it looks a lot more convincing if it's one solid thing, right? Like, if you're watching an ad and it's just jump cut after jump cut after jump cut, it's like- did they actually say they like it, or did they say they not liked it and they've cut it out? Like, it's... <laughs> I am playing around with some video editing, though, so that's fun. Uh, remind me to stop slashing, it's hurting my back. There's a redemption you can do for that. Called Posture Check. Well, we got one. We got one piece, so that's good. Uh, ah, hi, Drax. Thank you so much for the resub. Six months. Enjoy your new sub badge. Thank you so much for the ongoing support and your generosity. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, dungeon is easier to solo than I expected. I'm running a 136 druid. Yeah, this is a level 50, I level 57 hunter. So... Yeah, but that was heroic, and heroic was really simple. Like, heroic's really easy to do. I'm just not so sure about mythic. 
Um, cause the, I believe for that particular dungeon, the jump up to mythic is quite a big one. Where's Dal? That way. Oh, there it is. I see it. Um, called a slur in Overwatch today, so that's fun. Report, block, move on. Nothing you can do about shitty humans. Um, unfortunately it is what it is. Oh, a posture check. I can do that. Oh, my drink is over there. Yeah. Don't mind Cathedral. Back in the day was a fun key. Mm. Look, it's, um, the fact that I can't run it repeatedly to get Transmog is kind of the frustrating thing, I think, for me. Because it's only Mythic and Heroic. Uh, and because it's Legion, because it's such a recent one, uh, all my level 50s struggle with half the difficulties. They, they struggle with Mythic a bit. Um, because they're only like five levels out of where it should be. So it's not quiet enough to get them through really easily. And they're all, none of them have any gear. They're all just wearing heirlooms. Uh, so it's a, it's a bit of a tricky one, but uh, I'm sure I'll get there eventually. So over here it is. All right, so if I jump in here how are you see you around bam dalaran hearth i can go back to garrison but yeah i'm gonna get there we're gonna cross all of it off and it's gonna be wonderful and fantastic and nice i swear oh really damn yeah it's it's a little bit tricky for the farming thing but i mean i know that's not technically what it's there for um but no it's it's not a bad dungeon at all it's not a bad dungeon at all that's the only reason i'm frustrated with it at the moment and that's purely my very specific personal situation. <laughs> I've only been running Wrath, had no reality to base my expectations off. Totally fair. Totally understandable. Yeah, it's, um, the, the dungeon itself is not that, it's not very difficult to run, even as a level 50 in, in Heroic. And Druids are pretty good at running stuff on Mythic usually, um, especially if you're at that gear level. Excuse me, but, uh, yeah, it's, um, just a little frustrating on a couple of a couple of points. You so often on trust stream never make it to yours. Oh, Rel. We've we've raided Hydrax a couple times. Um, but I try to spread the love around as much as I can. So it's, you know, every every so often. Every so often. Preparing to know life Final Fantasy and Overwatch, mainly Overwatch to get my Mercy Gold stuff. Enjoy. Best of luck. Uh, you mean how I hate trying to run Vault of Archivon, stupid PvP. Yeah. Yeah, Vault of Archivon is, like, both of the vaults. There's the Vault of, the vault of Archivon and the, um, uh, Baradon Hold. Those ones, both of those are just a pain in the buttocks. Like, big time. A big time. Uh, I want Cathedral. <clears throat> mm, I'm no shot. 125 comp points away. I have no idea what that means, but that's okay. Best of luck. I hope you get there. Uh, vault is a tough one. Yeah. Just trying to get in there is... Like, making sure, like, checking which... I wish we could check. Don't they have, like... I think somebody mentioned having something on Wowhead, but I think that... Uh, I think maybe it's Barrett and Hold is on Wowhead. But, um... No, they only go so far back as Wad. Yeah, so you can't you can't check. You can't check which of the like which faction has those, but you have to actually go out there, and then if you're on the wrong one, you gotta switch factions and go out there again, sort of thing. Baron Hall rings a bell, was that Kata? Yes, it was in Torbarad. Uh Vault depends on Shard. Yeah, but because you're out there. That because it's out all the way out there, the shards are so small. Like the as in like there's so so few people out there. Therefore, the shards pretty much cover your uh, entire uh, connected server group. Sometimes more. Ah, uh, yeah, Tolbarad is uh, where Barrett and Hold is. Um, it's on the PvP section of the island. But it's the similar sort of th similar structure as Vault of Archivon, where each patch they added another boss and it drops a ton of PvP gear, 
which is why I have such low percentage completion for those, because it's PvP gear. Yep. Yeah, same, same. Yeah. Yeah, but that's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Totally fine. Uh, you think they'll do a Cataclassic after Wrath. Look, it makes sense for them to do that. But after reading and listening to little bits and pieces of the uh, interview with Ian and Asmin, um, they don't know where they're going to go. They might continue it down that path or they might actually, now that they've got... I think now that they've had the experiment and the experiment has been a success and such a success, I think they can afford... Because this is the thing, when it first launched, they really couldn't afford to do a whole lot because it was such a big risk for them to take. But now that they've seen that that risk has paid off and it is content people are willing to pay for, like you've got accounts that only access classic and don't play retail kind of thing, um, because it's been that much of a success, there might be now the point where they can actually look at investing more money into that game specifically and developing more content to it uh, for it and that kind of thing. So look... I don't think they even know. I think it's going to be a series of, you know, experimenting with a few bits and pieces, putting out polls, sending out surveys to classic players, all that kind of stuff. Um, and like, hey, who knows? I just hope that the classic players are happy with the direction that it, that it takes. Hey there. See you later. Uh, that's a battle. Um... I sure hope so. That was my happy place. Kata was great for me up to the last raid. I quit for four years. Kata wasn't a massively loved X Pack. It'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Cataclysm was a really interesting sort of. I think the other thing is, right? Um, Kata came right after Wrath. And Wrath was like the biggest thing. And it had all of that nostalgia packed right on tight in there and all that kind of stuff. There was no way. Whatever came after Wrath was going to be trash in comparison. They, there was no, no possible way for them ever to have topped it. There just wasn't. It's, just, it's as simple as that. They could not have topped Wrath with the following expansion. You can't. There's nothing else that has that much nostalgia and that much heartstring tugging and all that kind of stuff involved in it. Um, the fact that they went back and destroyed a whole lot of stuff... Um, and, and all that kind of thing. Like, it, it was, it was a good move in a lot of ways. They, they fixed a lot of issues that they had with the game prior to Cataclysm, but it, it was, it was essentially destined to be a not very well-loved expansion, especially in comparison to what came before it. Like, there's, there's not a whole lot you could do about that. Um, uh, Zam, Meaty, Joe, and Appen, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Uh, autumnal wildling. No. No. Oh, I didn't tell you about the makeup. I planned to. It was in my head to, to say everything, and then I didn't do it because I'm very good at this. Um, give me just a second to place this unit, and then we'll jump over to here. Uh, so, my makeup today. Um, there are parts of it you can see in part, like, so there is a, there is a shadow that's in my crease up here and you can kind of see that it's sort of a little bit darker than my skin should be. That shadow is quite exaggerated and that's because there's eyeshadow in there. It's kind of a taupe sort of shade. So a, a cool gray brown, lighter sort of shade. Uh, and then you've got some gold. Um, the gold is coming across a lot brighter on camera than it is IRL. It's kind of a darker old gold sort of shade uh, on my end. And then this shade out here is quite light. Again, I think the camera is messing with the colours. But the colour is a coral sort of shade. So a pinky orangey red sort of colour. Um, I own this mount and it flies. So there you go. That's what you've got to work with. Enjoy. Uh, I did hear the comments from Ian, seems we just wait and see what the community wants. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be your best bet, is to not, like, people, like, asking, what's going to come after Wrath? Like, Wrath Our isn't course. even here yet. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking have some patience. Like, <laughs> it's going to be probably two years before you see what comes after Wrath. How about we slow down and enjoy Wrath for a second? before we start thinking about what comes next. Like, give them a goddamn break. 
Holy hell. Good God. Uh, yeah, that's my opinion. <laughs> uh, looking forward to Wrath Classic. Wanted to play the others, but a group of friends kept giving up very quickly. It's, yeah, it's not a... It's not for the faint of heart, that is for certain. Um, the game was definitely a slog back in the day. And they came back in 9-1, I've burned out. Uh, yeah, I really want to play Wrath for, for that reason. TBC is fun, I've heard so many good things about Wrath. Wrath was like, it was the big thing, but it was also because of all of that nostalgia. So if you played Warcraft 3, you know, it has that connection to that. And for most WoW players back then, when it actually happened, that was a really recent thing. Like, it was only a handful of years ago, so it was really still fresh in people's memories, especially for those where the whole storyline really kind of, they vibed with it, you know? Um, it was the continuation of that story. Um, yeah, should we have a community challenge? No, it's Sunday. You get new community challenges on Monday. There's a reason in the April one, there wasn't one on that last line. Ah, uh, they're, they're sorry, they're, this is this today, it, it's so... There's a reason there isn't one on the first line. It's because no, you don't get one. Community challenges start on Monday. Uh, we're always going to be struggling to find another big bad like Arthas. Not saying they can't, just saying it'll be very hard. Yeah, of course, of course. Um, Because, and like, especially one that has the... uh. Like the history and stuff built up because a lot of them we've kind of dealt with uh what's gonna come after sunday stream monday <laughs> uh wandering ancient auto mode no just me or fear frozen uh i have no issues on my end no issues on my end uh population server crush at the start did not help i think i have three characters over 30. Three characters over 30 on different servers. Ooh, yep. Uh, do you mean population crash, maybe? Like, the people who left the game? Because I'm like, crush seems to me like a squish, like as in combining servers and stuff, but I think you might mean crash as in people leaving the game. Um. Uh... Just you see go the man, see the 100 one now. Nope. Nah. You guys did it too quickly, that's not my problem. <laughs> not my problem. <laughs> Listen, refresh, appreciate it, fine for me. Brilliant, pretty fun of what's coming after Wrath People. Oh, okay. Yeah, two years and, and one day aren't really comparable. Um, uh, Ivory Cloud Serpent, nope. Thanks, as long as we don't get a trash fire with Jayla, I don't care about the big bad. Um. Well, see, I didn't mind the whole Jailo storyline. Like, it, it made sense. If you followed it all the way through, it, it, you know, it actually made sense, but oh well. Uh, each their own. Uh, I think they did a good job making Garrosh a big baddie, just saying they completed his arc so soon. Yeah, but having a character's story arc go over, like, look at Sylvanas. Her, her storyline has gone over two expansions and people are angry as hell about it. How, how do they not end it that soon? Do you know what I mean? Like, and then... You know, if you have something that's this big, bad, and rah, 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 and then, you know, you defeat them in the first raid of the next X-Pack, people are like, well, that was a, that was a letdown. When, when is the appropriate time to end an arc? There isn't really one. Like, end of an expansion is kind of the only really appropriate time to wrap up one character's story and then let the next one be about the next character. It's, it's kind of, you know, they've tried a few other ways and everyone's always bitched about it. So, what else are they supposed to do? Um, Yarosh was built up quite well as a villain, missed. If it flies, it does. It does. Um, would have been all for Lich King 2.0, so I just went and crushed those dreams and should have the cinematic. <laughs> nah. If, nah, the number of times they've gone back and reused a big baddie and people have, again, cracked the shits about it. And then they'll complain that they don't listen to feedback when they're trying really hard to listen to feedback at the moment and just all that, like, it's... What are they supposed... Like, everyone has all these conflicting opinions. They cannot make everybody happy. All they can do is write the best story that they can and, and hope that it resonates with enough people. It's a bit of a... I don't envy them in the slightest. Not at all. Um, 
I mean, crush. When Classic launched, it was a nightmare to find servers people could log into, so groups kept moving around. Oh, okay. I'm not sure of that word in that context, sorry. I don't think I've heard it in that context before. My apologies. Um, wow, Constant can't please everyone. It's not even just wow. That's like any anyone ever. Like, <laughs> you cannot please everybody. Ah, let me get out of the green crap. What happens when I don't pay attention enough? I kill the wrong things first and then it hurts me. Um, you, stop it. Alright, there we go. They're dead. Let's, uh, let's do this a bit. Ah, uh, it's tough. Game has gone so long. It really has, yeah. It's, um, it's, <laughs> they've got, they've done a lot of stuff. What is this? And can I get rid of it? Excuse me, not what I wanted. Toxic pollen. Oh, I'm standing in it! Going me- No, I'm not, it's actually on me. What- how do I- How do I get rid of this? Do I have to just die? Is there a puddle around here I'm meant to jump into to- I'm guessing it's supposed to be dispelled and I can't. That's very annoying. Cool! That's fantastic. All right, well, I just have to wait till die then. Um, let's take two steps forward. The community takes 10 steps back while blaming everyone else. Yeah. It's, uh, look. <laughs> it's a bit of a circumstance sometimes here. Um, and a simple girl sitting in a cinematic so likely cry is so precious. Um, all for devs doing what they think is best for the game. Let everyone come along for the ride. Feedback is great, but to be honest, if you go too far into feedback, it'll risk being disjointed too. Yeah, I think, um, honestly, it's such an important job. Whoever it is over at Blizzard, I don't know what the team is, but there's there's got to be a team that, like, accumulates all that feedback and kind of categorizes it and says, this is negative, this is positive, this is neutral. There are this many people suggesting this, this many people suggesting this, and this many people suggesting something ridiculous, and all that kind of, like, all of that analysis of feedback on a particular topic, that kind of analysis, super important. Um, but at the same time, they need to, like, that, and I'm sure that they do remember, but you need to remember that there's majority of the player base don't voice opinions. They don't give, they don't provide feedback in any way, shape, or form. Their feedback is they're playing the game and they're using that type of content. And so I'm I, like, they have to use all of that kind of stuff as like non-verbal feedback too. It's just, it's a, oh boy. It's a whole time. It's a whole time. Oh, okay. Boss time then, did not realize, oopsie. Um, is it an aura from the room? No, it had stacks. Um. Desert Wing Hunter, no, some companies also can automate a lot of the categorizing. They can. They can. Absolutely. Hey! Sweet! That's awesome. Another new piece. Fantastic. Uh, they can automate a lot of it. However, you still need to have humans involved in that process because if you try to automate everything, there's these things called like sarcasm and jokes and all that kind of stuff. And if, if a robot reads a sentence and believes everything to be 100% genuine, when it could be a sarcasm indicator, it could require the context of the con comment that they're replying to or all that kind of stuff, robots can't detect context. They can't figure out tone. They can't do that kind of stuff. And so a lot of the feedback will end up being miscategorized, which can result in some really fucking terrible decisions. In fact, who knows? Maybe that's how we got some of the questionable choices in the past by automating feedback um, analysis. It's uh, fun times, <laughs> fun times. Uh, I think a lot of people forget that our team are people, correct. I mean, they do have obviously a lot of help from not people, but you can't rely on them entirely at all. <laughs> At all. Explorer's Jungle Hopper? No. Having worked in product for a number of years, the nonverbal stuff can be the loudest voice. Yeah. 
It's usually the majority of players don't go on forums and stuff, don't use the in-game feedback bullshit and all that. Like, they just don't. Why would they need to? If they're enjoying the game, they keep playing it. If they're like, oh, this is boring now, they stop playing. Not many people care about video games to the extent that they will actually provide that kind of feedback and go out of their way to provide feedback because they'll just find something else to do. Um, Adam gets down. Indeed. Indeed. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of comments each day through all mediums. You're absolutely right, Epoch. There, there are. Um, one of the big things, one of the big indicators is engagement rates. If you're looking at social media in particular, um, or if you're, again, looking at forums, they have the little heart button that you can click if you agree with something. Um, so quite often, like, you know, maybe they'll automate the ones that don't have any engagement at all, like zero engagement, no likes, no comments, no nothing. But when they actually, when they, when they sort by, you know, grab out the ones that have like an extremely high number, like high amount of engagement and stuff like that, maybe those ones are worth having a human look at and into and, and read and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's, I'm, I'm well aware. It is an enormous game, an enormous community, but they also have an enormous team. Uh, like the, the, the number of employees they have is quite high. Uh, so I would imagine that they, well, I would hope that they invest some cash into, and even, even if it's not them doing it, engaging an external company who can provide them a rate. We, we will analyze feedback on given topic and it'll cost you X number of dollars, that kind of thing. And that's their job. So they're really goddamn efficient at it. I mean, you know, there are companies providing all sorts of services these days. Who knows? This pro that probably exists. Um, never sarcastic, tiny kappa. I've seen some of the auto categorized feedback. It's honestly not as good as people give it credit sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, flying machine. No. Always reminds me of the Mighty Ducks. Do you know what sarcasm is? No. Yeah. Also, that some people are sarcastic, some people are genuine about the same thing. Imagine that's hard to decide what is what. Yeah, which is why context is really important for interpreting human comments. Um, you know, if they're replying to a particular comment, it's a whole lot easier to figure out whether it's sarcasm or not. Uh, the general tone of the whole thread. Um, all that kind of stuff. Um, and sometimes even an analysis of other comments that particular person has made. If they are often sarcastic, then more of their stuff may be taken as sarcasm. If they are often genuine, more stuff might be taken as genuine. Humans are weird. <laughs> Gmod! No. I know it's I know it's an abbreviation. I just I saw it all in caps and I felt like I had to yell it. But no, it is not the Gmod. You know what else is enormous? Fia on Instagram has over 1k followers now, but it's never too late to be a cool person. Join the gang. Follow Fia today. Thank you, Zam. I am trying to grow my Instagram following. Uh, simply so that I can get myself hooked up with some more brands to potential sponsorships and stuff, because I would like to be a full-time content creator. That's that's my dream. That's what I want to do. Uh, but I can't do it without you lot. And social media reach is... Oh! Yay! New one. And it's an upgrade. Um, social media reach is a, a really valuable thing to have as, as an influencer, funnily enough. Proving to, proving to companies that you can influence more people apparently makes them want to pay you more, shockingly. Uh, so, <laughs> so if you're feeling generous, I would love a follow on Insta or on Twitter or on TikTok or Facebook, wherever, whatever your platform of choice is, or multiple if you use multiple. Um, entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. High Priest's Light Sworn Seeker. No, Media, it is not that mount. I love that you're guessing, though. This makes me happy. Good morning, Zalk. How are you doing? Surrender the sheep, and I will grant you a quick death. Am I gonna do it before he does the middle thing? Because the middle thing's really upsetting and annoying. <laughs> no, I'm gonna 
nah, he's got it. Oh, just! Oh my god, that was so close. Just. Oh boy. Alright. Um, I already got my Dalaran Hearth, didn't I? Yep, so I can just go back to the garrison. I'm done with this tune. Happy time zone. Indeed! Ivory Cloud Serpent. Noob. Uh, I'm doing good. And you? I'm doing very well. Thank you, Zach. Very well. Nine in the morning. It is 4.56 p.m. here in Brisbane. Hi, the sun well. Ah! Cat with the resub! Excuse me. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and your generosity. Eight months with Prime Gaming. Much appreciated. Thank you. It's 5 p.m. here. Yep, just before five, and I've done two tunes. This is going so well. So very well. But we did have, what's that, two drops so far? Three drops. I think it's three. I thought you'd all of a sudden had a realization, Shiba, and that's why you were yelling. Uh, but it is not the Golden Cloud Serpent. Na na na. Na 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 na. Where is this one? Good. There we go. Mm, soaring Sky Terror. No. No. Hello, Jack. How you doing? Welcome back. Okay. Open up the ATT. Soaring Razor Wing. No. So what? So that's male. 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 That's a cloak, so that's fine. I can get that on anything. And then that's mail. So I am actually looking for four more pieces of mail. And I have six more hunters slash shaman that I can get through. One each for four more. I reckon I will look I mm, we'll see. We'll see. Uh Geo something world spinners. You mean the geosynchronous world spinner? No. Patiently wait until someone guesses it so I can go and look up what it is because I'm a potato when it comes to Wemmots. That's okay, cat. Not a worry. Jalen, I'm top 1k for Rep Halley and Mythic Plus at the moment. I got conned into pushing keys on a crap spec. That's hilarious. Well done, Jack. Congratulations. Congratulations. See, you knew what I meant. I did. In fact. No. Yes. Correct. Does this one have a... I do! I've got a Dell Hearthstone on this one. Why didn't I use it? Because I'm an idiot. That's why. That's why. Uh, turbocharged flying machine. No. I always feel bad telling you guys no, but it is what it is. Uh, is the albino drake already guessed? I don't know, but no, it's not the albino drake. Cathedral, not cathedrak. Use the Delhoff. Good lord. Okay, fine. You know what? I will. I uh, have my fun watching other people guess. Good. Regular flying machine. No. Sun warmed fur line. No. Remember there is the, the, the taupe shade in my crease as well. I'm feeling a whole lot of focus on the, the like the orangey pinky red and the gold. But there is absolutely that taupe shade there as well. It's just kind of light on my skin. Autumnal Wildling. No. Don't act like it's going to be the right guess. How am I acting like it's going to be the right guess? I don't know what the whole, like, the, the big flourish as I say it. But it's fun. <laughs> I like messing with you. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm terrible at interpreting colors because I can't visualize. My brain doesn't do pictures. I was trying to do the tote. Okay. So... You can always ask to see the shadows in the pan if you want to. More than happy to provide. So, the gold is from Aha uh -huh Honey from Colourpop. 
and it is called Queen Bee. It is this shade here. The pinky, orangey, corally red, what's it? Is from Hindash's palette called Beautopsy. I did not pay for this one. I know how bloody expensive it is. I got it from a mystery box. Uh, <laughs> I did not electively buy this because, my God, expensive. Uh, but I don't know why I felt like I had to confirm that. But the shade, how pretty is it? They're all, they're all, um, what's it? But they're also all matte. Uh, and the shade is Love. So it's this side of the, the peach to red one. It's this side of it. Um, and then the taupe is from NYX, which I absolutely paid for because it was like 20 bucks. And the shade, I'm going to try not to like blind you with the lights. Uh, the shade is this one here, the one in the middle here. So hopefully that gives you kind of a, yeah, I think that's probably more accurate to the color on the camera. That one in the middle of the top row. So hopefully that helps. Those are the three shades you're looking at. Um, your voice tone 100% gets so get, get me every time. Good. I'm pleased. Makato Hog. No. Black Drake. No. Hello, Jesus. How you doing? Mystery Box had you back. Oh, it does. That particular one is always super, super valuable stuff. Um, you don't get much in the box. It's like... I end up paying like a hundred US dollars for it every year. It's, it releases like three, a, two or three a.m. on the day after Christmas, a, a Christmas uh, Boxing Day. Day after Christmas, it releases Boxing Day for the US, but it's the next day for me because of time zones. Um, and it ends up being a hundred US. It's like seventy nine US plus twenty US shipping, which is ridiculous. And you don't get a ton in it, but everything you get in it, it's like high-end beauty. So I always get a really nice brush and some beautiful skincare and some, like, you, I usually get a palette. Um, I also, every single time I've gotten it, I've ended up with a Charlotte Tilbury palette as well. And those are expensive and they bloody work. They are gorgeous shadows. Uh, absolutely gorgeous, but very expensive. Um... So yeah, it's uh, it's something that I usually treat myself to like every year. I have for the last three years now, I think I've had them. Um, so I have three Charlotte Tilbury palettes. Uh, <laughs> actually, wait, do I have four now? Maybe. Maybe it's been four years. I don't remember. But yeah, it's a... Um, yeah. Uh, did you already give clue as to ground or flight? I did. I own it and it flies. Thank you, Shiva. Gilded Prowler, no. Explorer's Jungle Hopper, no. Argent Hippogriff, no. But did seeing the colors in the pan help? Did that, ha I hope that helped. Um, I was thinking, I guess, Desire's Battle Gargan, think, uh, cause it has, cause I think it has taupe. Obviously that doesn't fly, no it does not. And no it is not Desire's Battle Gargan. Time Lost Proto Drake, nope. Charlotte Tilbury hurts me with how much those palettes cost. Maybe one day I can dream. Oh, for God's sake, one moment please. Oh no, I think I've got three. These are the three that I've got. Uh oh. So the first one I got was the Icon palette, which is gorgeous. Uh, and that one, excuse me. That's those shades. Um, they're so easy to use. The only issue with this palette is that even the ones that aren't meant to be shimmery are still kind of shimmery. Like they're more of a satin than a matte. So it's a little less versatile, I guess. Uh, then I ended up with Starry Eyes to Hypnotize, which is, can we just like, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, and that one, all right, this is a magnetic one. It doesn't actually clip shut. Uh, and I always keep these because I can never remember what stuff says. Um, but I keep the I keep those for these palettes. Um, that's those ones. So the idea is that it's uh, four trios. Uh, obviously, you can use them however the hell you bloody want. But the three sections work really, 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 really well together. Um, because they're designed to, funnily enough. 
And then I've got this sleek little beauty. Uh, it's got like the, it's all, it's ridged, like it's textured. There you go. That's not like silver. That's actually like a, yeah. Um, this one looks quite similar to the other one in some ways. Uh, but the textures of the, sh the shadows and the colors are actually quite different. This one up the end here is really super interesting. It's got a matte black, a matte dark brown, and then a sheer super sparkly pale pink. And I have to say that the look that that, the, that, that trio creates is something else. It's really, really quite pretty. Uh, let me just make sure, let me check my spreadsheet. I'm pretty sure I don't have um, any others, but I'm now second guessing myself. Um. Silence me. Like you like you think it does anything. Um Smoky eyes are forever, starry eyes to hypnotize, and the icon palette. Yep, so those are the three that I've got. But they're all, they're actually, like, they're really lovely shades. Another Unfortunately, hydrate. they're actually, they're, they're worth the money. Like, the payoff you get and they're all that kind of, you don't have to use much of it because it's super pigmented and it's, they're worth the money. But, unless you're, like, a collector or you happen across them or whatever, it's one of those things where you buy it and then you like skip between the trios and that's what you wear. Kind of, you know what I mean? It's just, I, I totally understand. Unless you have like a fair bit of disposable income and that's your passion, obviously. Um, if it's just like for casual everyday wear kind of thing, that would be, you'd, you, you'd want to use it till you hit, like you used up every one of those shadows. Um, we go, forged spite flyer. I don't know what that is, uh, but it's not that one. But, you know, if I get it a little perfect. Blazing Drake, no. Red Flying Disc, no. Soaring Sky Terror, no. Not me stopping what I'm doing and wow to scroll through the entire mount collection. Look, it does happen a bit that way sometimes. They're so pretty. They are gorgeous. They they are absolutely gorgeous. Their design team is phenomenal. Uh, and the quality of the makeup truly is there. It, it absolutely is there. Um, like there are, there are some shades in my other palettes, some of the cheaper ones that I have even some of the more expensive ones that I have that you have to kind of dunk your brush in there. Like you got to like dunk, 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 dunk to try to get it to show up on your skin. Whereas this, I literally pick up a brush and I go tap and I can do my entire crease. It's just, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, that's what I normally do, but hard on mobile. Absolutely. Definitely more difficult on mobile. Hello, Romantic. Good evening to you too. Captured Swamp Stalker, no. Are you doing Mythic solo? I uh, know this is heroic, but the only reason it's heroic and not Mythic is because these are level 50 tunes. Oh, this one's 51. But um, yeah, they're a little bit low level. I'm not sure. Some of them can absolutely solo Mythic, but not all of them can, and I don't really have time to Hi, the sun well. uh, fuck around wasting time wiping on Mythic on, on underleveled tunes. Ah, uh, dearie me. Bad step bro, thank you very much for your prime sub. Welcome to the Fianati. I hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Uh, good afternoon, dupe. Welcome back. Uh, I don't know how I missed your message there. Uh, Valshra Hippogriff. No, ever singular Natasha Denona palette because my mum got it for me for Christmas. She's an angel. And I also keep the plastic. The reason I keep the plastic for these ones, let me show you. So... That's, that's the palette, right? And I mean, that's all well and good, but um, this information on here, let me just pop it on here. It actually labels them with like, whoopsie, sorry, I just bashed the microphone. It, it labels them one, two, three, but then the little writing bits underneath so like the first trio, the really pale one, for example, says love eyes. And then the next one is power eyes, then happy eyes and confident eyes. And then on here it says one, two, three, and it's got prime enhanced smoke, right? 
if you jump onto the website, onto the listing for this particular palette, it tells you exactly how to use each of these shadows, where to put them, what kind of brush to use to get the effect that they got on the models. But if I don't keep that, I am not going to remember which order those words are in. Prime, Enhance, Smoke, I'm not going to remember which one is which. At all. And so I keep them so I can do what this says on the website. <laughs> uh, Cade, Joe, Ali, Ryan, and Zam, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Well done. Uh, we're going to go for skins because I know you guys still have some skins to grab. Uh, all those hydrates. X, thank you very much. I will work through those shortly. Prestigious Bronze Corsa. No. Afternoon, Draz. Yes, another hydrate indeed. All of the hydrates forever and always. Because why not? Uh, Gilded Prowler. No. Having a disposable income in this economy. Look, some people do. Some people do. That's how I have subs. Um, <laughs> but I'm, I'm thankful for people's disposable income. Because otherwise I wouldn't have an, much of an income. Um... I see a bit like that. Amani Warbear. No. Fortress Spike Flyer is a red wasp museum. Oh, cool. I hadn't heard that name before. That's super cool. But no, it's not that one. Thank you for clarifying, though. Appreciate it. Uh, we can wish we can. Did you get yourself a void talent yet? Not yet. Not yet. I've been, uh, unfortunately, very busy. I can't... I don't really have time to play outside of stream. Um, just because I've got so much other stuff going on. Um, so, yes. Not as yet. But hopefully, fingers crossed one day. Uh, Mail Muncher. No. Minces is still working all cards. Is that too late? Totally understandable. Golden Cloud Serpent. No. Uh, it flies with the elves. Yes, the mount on my face. I own it and it flies. Martial Drake. No. Is that part there? It does not fly. No, it does not. But it has it and it flies. Yes, Pandaren Kite. No. Uh, Charlotte Tilbury has my respect for their organization. Yeah, me too. Me too. Like, I really like how they organize their palettes and stuff. Um, yeah, it's been very helpful. <laughs> it's been very helpful. Um, I would love it more if they printed it on the palette so I didn't have to keep the annoying plastic sheet. Uh, but that's okay. You know, I'll take the wins that I can get. Ah, uh, that was alarming. Blood curdling scream out the back. You know, goes with blood pouring down my hand. Kids playing backyard. Lacerated finger with a stick. Oh my goodness. Lots of blood. Oh, I can imagine. Youch! Hope the little one's okay. At what dupe said? <laughs> what dupe said? It's been okay since you're back. Yeah, I'd imagine. Like maybe it was just washing it all up and and sticking a bandaid on it. But oof, gosh, that's scary. Ah, uh, not had plenty of blood coat on the streams. Not many blood everywhere situations. Yeah. Yeah. God, and certain, certain places just bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed. And it might not be that bad an injury, but the blood tricks you. Okay, I think I know the answer is, but horse, alliance, horde, or neutral? I believe it's neutral. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, it's neutral. Another male piece bites the dust. Oh my gosh, guys, my dream might actually be become reality. I might be able to actually at least at least one class done with Cohen. Whew. Uh Sun Warmed Furline, no. Thundering Ruby Noodle Jurgen, no. Need a command for the mount hits. Uh, I'm just jumping to look for the next bit. Of course, Seeker, of course. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Surely understandable to get a little one. Yes, understandable will behave when you're away. I mean, Sheba's still here. Although, Sheba's probably got his head stuck in the mount list. So, I mean, I'm still here. And through twice, I have no guesses left. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. There is always the chance I've done a bad job. I hope not, but there is also that chance. Shut up, no, I don't. You can't prove anything. No, I, you're right. I can't prove anything. But I can suspect. Shark bait. Ooh ha, ha. Sorry, what? <laughs> no. Nah, she abuses a mount list. Uh, I'm not, I don't think the one in game. I think it's a combination of Warcraft mounts and simple armory to see which ones I have. Autumnal wildling. No. 
don't believe you. I feel like I'm leaning too hard on the red pink. Yeah, there's the red pink on the outside. This is like a dark gold. And then there's like a taupe sort of shade um, in my crease. And taupe is a light gray brown, if that makes sense. I hope it does. Otherwise, you can just Google taupe. It's spelled T A U P E. Did you really think you could talk? Me, taupe, Illidan. whatever. Run again, and I'll shackle you like the beast you are. Oh, there's that. Apparently, she was using the armory. But for now, do what you like the actual armory. Just figured she been knows all the mats in the game. I don't look, maybe, maybe. Blazing Drake. Nah. You're all that stands between them and the ages. They are coming. Oh, it does. Gives me more to look for, indeed. Good, there we go. Never take my inability as comment on your makeup as my brain being in numpty. That's okay. I, I totally get that. Totally get that. There have been a few times though where the colour I've picked I thought was close enough, but the camera just totally butchered it and nothing it didn't look right. Um, so it's not necessarily my makeup ability, it's more my makeup collection letting me down. I may have, you know, God, I think it's like 700 something pans at this point, at this point of, make, of, of eyeshadow particularly. That doesn't mean I have the right shade of purple. Like, <laughs> I need to make a list of the colors I'm missing and then one day when somebody approaches me to do a makeup collaboration, make sure I make a palette with all those colors in it. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, Lord. Um, I enjoy this so much when I'm doing burp laps. Red Drake. No. I'm going to be pissed off when this man is guessed. It's going to be an oh fucking oath of course it's that moment. When, so Jas knows what it is because he came in and saw the page open on my screen and all that kind of stuff. And when I said, did, you, did I do a good job? He looked at the screen and then looked at my face and said, yep, I see it. So yeah, like no, no pause, no thinking, no nothing. So I think the colors are about right, but it all it's all gonna depend on your screen settings and obviously the camera and all that kind of stuff. So IRL, it's, it's bang on, but unfortunately that doesn't always mean that the internet is accurate. Uh, Tawny Windrider, no. Bloodthirsty Warworm, no. Wait. Yes, it is. Why am I still in combat? There we go. Hey, that's two from this character. Got two male pieces to go, you guys. Uh, you know, I felt that in my bones. I never have the right shade of brown. I have, God, literally, it it would have to be hundreds of shades of brown. Indeed. And I can never it's figure out which one I need to be using. Like, it's just, oh. Actually, now I'm curious. How many pans of shadow do I have? So this also includes, like, um... Uh, no, wrong folder. This one. So I have, like, liquid shadows like this and stuff that... So that's one. I count that as one pan. Um, and sticks and, you know, eyeshadow like sticks and stuff like that. Ah! Twelve months, Kraz. My goodness gracious. Holy cow! Thank you so much for the resub! And, of course, your ongoing generosity and support. It means the world. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, bulbous Necrorate, no. No fair, Jas is smart. <laughs> is Jas not allowed to be smart? Is that is that what's going on? Oh, we're on Horde now, cool. Um, Bulbous Necrorate, no, beat me to it. Uh, afternoon, thundering August cloud serpent. No, no. All right. Uh, I've also have got like little pots of powdered stuff, and that counts as one pan. I've set. Oh wow, bang on, seven hundred and fifty pans of eyeshadow. I've shown you guys photos of my makeup drawers, haven't I? I could have sworn I have. And you, and you. Yeah. 
pretty sure I have. Maybe it's time for an update though. New people. Dum dum. Um. Midnight. No, can't remember if midnight flies or not. Blanche does, so my brain thinks so. Looking through your mounts. And uh, if we can request a look in the future, I would love to see how you do Deep Star Orlin. Yeah. Yeah, look, um, the way that I, I actually use an add-on in-game to roll what mounts I'm going to be using for the month. So to like when I'm a week away from the end of the month, I just sit down and roll enough mounts for, for however many streams I have for the next month and, and then plan out all my looks and stuff. Um, but eventually it'll come up because I have it. Uh, eventually, if I run out of mounts that I have, I'll start having to I'll start having to go through mounts I don't have. But we'll see. It's just that's that way of picking them is just so much easier than trying to scroll through a bloody nine hundred and fifty something list and pick. Them. It's just too much. It's just too much. Um, Thunder totem. Why the hell are we taking a thing to Thunder totem? Ah. Click the portal to Thunder Totem. Does it know? Why would Thunder Totem portal to Thunder Totem take it? Oh, because Thunder Totem, because I'm a bloody torrent. Good. Yeah. Thunder Totem. I was thinking Thunder Bluff because I'm an idiot. Good. I was so confused. So confused. Um, Grinning Reaver. No. Don't know if you let Storm Mounts or not. I do. Of course. Of course. They're mounts. Doesn't matter where you get them from. Mounts are mount. Absolutely. Uh, I feel that you Instagrammed them, maybe. Instagrammed what? What did I Instagram? Ah, oh, the collection. Maybe? Yeah, at some point. Red Dragon Hawk. No. Heavenly Crimson Cloud Serpent. Nope. Banak. Scintillating Mana Ray. Nope. Iron Sky Reaver. No. Hey, Kay. How you going? Welcome back. Yeah, is it the fucking Pandaren kite? No, and that's actually already been guessed, so you're fine. No, I even guessed that. There you go. Yep. Fucking Pandaren kite sounds a bit not safe for WoW after that. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Please, oh, Jesus, do this for me. Jeweled Ruby Panther. No. Soaring Razorwing. Nope. What's wrong with the kite? I think you were similarly worded. No, no, no. Rel, the, the, it was the swear before it. It was the fucking part. That was the that was the NSFW one. Golden Cloud Serpent. Nope. Nope. Fun type of game this one is. I like it a lot. Garnet Razorwing. No. I feel like we're focusing a lot on the red. Don't focus so much on the red. <laughs> Level 51. Oh dear. Uh, Spawn of Galacras. No. You're banished to Tawny Windrider Golden Griffin. Just because you can't figure it out, Sheeps. Me zoning back into here, it was the fucking part. Yep. Yep. Steam Scale Incinerator. No. Beast Lord's Warwolf. No. Looking at my list while I'm flying and guessing. Scrapforge Mechana Spider. Nope. Grand Wyvern. Nope. Banished. Sheba be pissed, you guys. This is fun. You're having fun, chips. You know you're having fun. <laughs> My portal respawned. It's been six hours. Oof. Rough. Rough. <laughs> I 
I wish I could see and hear your reactions when you find out what it is, Shiba. I really, I really wish I had access to that content because I feel like it would just make my fucking week. I'm having fun watching Shiba try to guess. Me too. Me too. I'm having fun watching everyone try to guess, honestly. Storm Song Co Coast Watcher. No. Rock Tusk Battle Boar. No. Uh, to recap on the clues, you've got a corally red sort of shade, you've got a gold, a dark gold, and you have taupe, which is a gray, a pale gray brown kind of shade. Uh, this is a flying mount. It is a mount that I own, and it is a neutral mount. This is not exclusively alliance or exclusively horde. Both factions have access to this mount. Uh, we request a typed reaction. Oh, we always get a typed reaction. Always. Always. For anyone new here, this is all fun and games. It is. It is. Shiba gets. Shiba's very, very, very good at this guessing game. Um. So when he doesn't get it, he gets a little pissy. <laughs> uh, to avoid the red at all, aerial unit R twenty one X. No. Don't avoid it entirely. All three of these colors are on the mount. All three of these are on the mount. Um, it's just that all of the guess, like a lot of the guesses are like predominantly red. Like you're focusing real hard on the red. Make sure you've got the other two colors there as well. So you shine damage is at level one. I'm going to what it's like. Reach in every time I log in. Learn new spell shine. Perfect. Surf jelly. No. Gotta stop guessing. Audio keeps cutting out when I switch. Oh no. The reg. The rage, absolutely horrible at the guessing game, but it is so fun. It is a lot of fun. I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy it a lot. Apparently, he's not that good at it, Kek. Oh, he's very, very good. Every so often, like once every couple of weeks, I get him with a good one. Every couple of weeks. Uh, Jin Lao, no. Uh, always suck to guessing games, tend to sit back, watch people guess and get frustrated. It's kind of entertaining sometimes, especially when you know the answer. Uh, Clutch of Jikun, no. Sometimes I don't guess at all to give people a chance, like some of the really obvious ones I'll sit out on. Ones like these are fun because the colors are more common than you'd think and it makes it a challenge. Yep. Yep. No one wants, like, I mean, not no one, but very few people really enjoy a simple puzzle. Like, having that difficulty there is what makes it fun sometimes. Shuzen the Divine Sentinel, no. Shark bait, no. I don't know the answer. Yeah, I do though. It's much more fun this way. <laughs> Sinful Gravewing, Jude's got it. The sinful grave wing. I told you to focus less on the red. <laughs> Disappointed you didn't do the new noise after saying shark. Sorry. I did last time it was mentioned. <laughs> Why did I think that wasn't a neutral mount? Because it's a covenant mount. It's Venthyr. But anyone from Horde or Alliance can be Benther. <laughs> well done, Jude. Could I have a number from you, please? Between 1 and 100. <clears throat> yeah, that's the, the tips of the tail here. That's why it's like a peachy coral red rather than a red red. Because it's got that light kind of glow to it. And then all the goddamn taupe. And then all the goddamn dark gold, too. It's a beautiful mount. I looked at that too, thought it was great. I bet no, it's fine. You're not bad. You're not bad. Every, every single time we do this, there are at least one or two people who say, oh, I skipped over that one because reason. And they're all valid. 
they're just also wrong. That's all. <laughs> but there's no harm in that. It's just for fun. Just for funsies. 42. All right, give me a second. Grats indeed. It was so much fun. Good. I'm really glad. I we, every Almost every stream. I shouldn't say every stream because there are a couple here and there that we don't do the guessing game because I don't have time to, to do the makeup or anything. But vast majority of streams, we have this guessing game at the start. Excuse me. Uh, Judekin. Not, no, that's not meant to be that. That's, there we go. Here we go. Congratulations, you have won a copy of Quantum Break. Enjoy! It is yours, your key to do with what you wish. Well done. Well done, everyone, for like jumping in and participating. Uh, it works, I see it 100%. I'm just an umpty. It's okay, it's fine, Shiba. You can't get all of them because then no one would bother participating anymore. And that would make us sad, wouldn't it? I went too far because of, no, I don't, I'm supposed to go all the way around. Ha ha. Now it's going to do groceries. We'll be back later. Enjoy, Zelk. We'll see you soon. I looked at that monitor, showed the gold is more brown. Yes. So that's why when I, sh like, with that gold in the pan is a really, really dark gold. And on my eyes, because of the, it, because of the thin coating of it at the lights, it looks a lot brighter. It, it is, it's supposed to be a really dark gold. And I, in IRL, it is a dark gold. Um, but it just, cameras are not eyes. <laughs> it's unfortunate, it's, yeah. <sighs> yep. Uh, just for fun, for sweaty, competitive fun. <laughs> uh, I love it when so many people get involved. It makes it more fun and frantic and looking. I, I do too. I really, really do. I love when new people come in and they're like, what? Why is everyone just saying names of mounts? And I'm like, well, let me tell you. It's good fun. Unusable mounts clicked off. I skipped over that. Oh, Zalk. Oh, no. That's okay. You're very welcome, Jude. Congrats again. And thank you, everyone, so, so much for participating. It really does make it just so much fun. Honestly, so much fun. Um, hey, a neck. Love Quantum Break. Great game. Ah, fantastic. There you go. Wonderful review. I was going to look at the mount pics of that mount on a way I had, had me thinking it was mostly a grey mount equals why I skipped River I'm at least half colour mine. Look, and that's the thing, there is little tiny kind of differences in colour and stuff like that. It what it, it is genuinely what makes this game a bit harder. Simply because like even if like the, the mount might be grey, but my my uh screens, both of them, are set to be a little bit warmer, potentially. Or the mount's actually taupe, but your screens are set to be cooler. Or, like, we just, there's, unfortunately, there's no real kind of universal thing here. It does definitely make it trickier. But it's why it's a good idea. Like, if something's sort of close enough to kind of throw it out, there's no there's no harm in, because there's no harm in being wrong. There, there really isn't. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, it was good fun. I liked that one. Has anyone guessed the makeup today? We just did, Red. Just then, yeah. The Sinful Gravewing. This one, I was matte color on my monitor. Ah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, look, every, yeah. It's never gonna be perfect, unfortunately. But it's still fun. Still fun. Was fun, I agree. Thank you, Jude. I, I, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. What are you in this dungeon for? Uh, well, I don't have ATT open, but it's Transmog. For Transmog. Did I set this to mythic or something? Like, what's... No, it's on heroic. Oh, this is just a crap tune, apparently. Um... Is it pretty to the Venthyr mounts? Um... I do like it. I'm not sure it's my favoritest one, but I definitely do like it. I really reckon my brain is thinking it'd be more of a golden yellow mount. Ah, the words, they can tricks with our brains, can't they? That's what makes it competitive, broadening your thinking. Absolutely. Absolutely. Damn it, I got the charm off. 
Um, should I make up a hit? Aw, thank you, Lucky. Much appreciated. Welcome back. Get my portal. Hey, well done. Do you want boy talent? Of course. Horde war mode on. Let's see. I'm trying to remember if I have a war mode on tune. Which tunes were war mode on when we did Shah? It's a good flight. Yeah, all of my tunes are parked in their garrison. I think it was the Demon Hunters that I had on What's It? Yeah, Demon Hunters, I'm pretty sure, yep. Uh, but is it Li I don't think it's Lilianne. I think it's one of the older, like, Zarala. I think it was Zarala. Stolen. Oh, okay. Oh, that's fine. Ah, uh, here's a cathedral. DD to prep for a hey, going to a haunted manor. Ooh, that's alright. Feel free to lurk if you need to, Lucky. We're just happy to have you here. That's right, Romantic. I mean, I'm not the only person who wants one, so I'm sure there are plenty of other people out there hunting for the portals. He's gonna keep portals. I always try, of course. Of course. Uh, oh, hang on. Um. Did my guide 92, so 23k views. Nice! Well done! Well done. Um. Company place. Aw, thank you, Lucky. <sighs> of course, yeah, definitely. Very kind of you. Um. Mess with their senses, make a bunch of ghosts. Brilliant, wonderful. Man on that here. Yes, I don't know if that's the one that's up to date though, because that's a. I've had that link there for a while, quite a while. So it won't be the charm. Always is. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I didn't actually think to check if that was war mode on. I probably should have. Oh well. Oh well. Hmm. Uh, it's the same link. Oh, fantastic. Because I know when you moved on to, when we moved into Shadowlands, you created an entire new board. Um, so I wasn't sure if you were doing the same thing for patches or if you were just messing around with the same board. Um, did the guide itself. Fair. Fair. Hmm. Dum, da, 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 dum. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum. So we're actually having a makeup and nail stream this month because you guys unlocked it last month. So I'm I'm thinking I haven't actually had a chance to use my shiny new Sinopia palette yet, so I'm thinking we might pull that out and have a play. But beyond that, do we have any, like, special requests? Or is there anything in particular you're really keen to learn about or to see or, or anything like that? Because, so, if, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, um, we've got, like, a beauty stream coming up. I'm going to do my makeup, my nails, and my hair live on stream. So start completely barefaced, bare-nailed. And, uh... <laughs> And I'm gonna go from scratch. I'm gonna do everything on stream. Um, follow my usual routine and just kind of go through it sort of thing. Uh, so if there's anything in particular you're, you wanna see, we can do that, potentially, if it's something I'm capable of doing. Mm, for the researching DF and professional rework might mix things up. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, stamp, stamp, stamp. You want to see nail polish stamps? Yeah. Fair. That seems to be what everyone asks for. So we can definitely do that. Lash skills. Oh, like putting on false lashes? Yep, okay. I can definitely tell you how I do mine. Obviously, it's not the only way to do it. Um, but I can also talk through, while I'm doing it, talk through what I did uh, to get to the point of proficiency I'm currently at. Actually, cool. I'll just look at my PC. Honestly, I've been really curious how you make the eyeshadow pop like it does. Inch okay. Okay. 
Um, usually it's just good eyeshadow. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that there are probably... No, no. I'm sure that there are probably bits and pieces that I do that I don't even think about doing because I've done them for literally years and that, you know, other people might not know to do them. So we can definitely go through that. And I'm going to be going from, from start to finish. So every single... Every single thing that I do. So I won't miss anything. Hopefully. <laughs> um, does chat get to decide the amount for that stream? Well, I was thinking, because we've done a couple of, I've gotten like Colourpop mystery boxes and I've unboxed them and swatched them and then chat has decided, picked a mount that looks like all the colours on my arm. Um, and then we've done that one. But I'm not sure if I actually want to do mount makeup this time or if I want to do like, because I mean, mount makeup obviously is very cool and fun. But the other option is I do like an everyday look so that I can teach people who are interested in actually doing their makeup things that they can use every day rather than things they can use to do arty makeup on their face. Do you know what I mean? Like it's because it's kind it is definitely a bit different in terms of choosing colours to go wear and stuff like that. Um, but hey, look, maybe maybe we put it up for a poll and see what people want on the day. And it will make a more stream over the top kind of thing. Um, I'm not really sure at the moment, honestly. I'm pretty open to to seeing what people want to see. What do you define as normal makeup or more extreme? Like, what are what I do usually, like day to day? My, my mount farm, like the mount makeup stuff that I do. What would you, where, where would you put that? You could me. Sure thing to to ask you different questions. Yay, Rose. Rose is really awesome at like being able to help with all that kind of stuff, by the way. If, if you must. excuse me. Rose is like a, a bottomless pit of knowledge when it comes to the, like the garrison gold making and stuff like that. So yeah, if you are working on it and something's just not quite clicking for you, by all means, reach out to her. Obviously, if she doesn't have time at the time, she'll let you know later, but um, she's amazing and she's so helpful as well, which is great. Uh, Meaty, Step, Zam, Zalk, Cat, and Thor, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. She doesn't miss a good chunk of that makeup now. Oh, no, Red. Well, there will always be the VODs. There'll always be the VODs. <clears throat> and if you get here and you had questions about particular things and you can see I've already done them, I'm more than happy to go back and explain bits and pieces. Um, so there's that too. I've uh, just realised. Kills are done. Four centurions. Okay. Now this is the skin chest, so if you want... Your, uh, if you want your skins, you need to place your units in this battle. This is the one you want. You're so kind. <laughs> You're welcome, Rose. You start at the same time each day, I'm not getting up at seven while well, I'm not working to treasure, of course. Love will be on the battle. Uh, wait. Um, love the content, but bed is bed, of course. Absolutely. I 100% agree. Question, frosted or unfrosted poplars? My sister and I are having a debate. Do you mean pop tarts or the poplars as in a tree? Like with a, a trunk and leaves and stuff. Is that a typo or is that intentional? Uh, okay, hopefully be back later on. It's getting chilly out. I'm gonna pack up my hand inside. Sounds like a plan, Rel. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Everyday makeup is minimal foundation, dark brown eyeliner, dark or golden eyeshadow, and black mascara. I'm kind of basic, but basic works. Basic works is why so many people do basic, because it is, it's just such a good, easy look. It doesn't take much time out of your day. You just pop it on, and it makes so many different people, different types of faces and stuff, look good. Nothing wrong with basic. Nothing wrong with basic. Uh, Pop-Tarts, OMFG, autocorrect. I figured, but I wanted to double check just in case. And frosted. Frosted every time. Always frosted. 
Ultimate. Yeah, for sure. I say normal to you, Matt Maker. When I think of extreme, I think of things similar to makes masks, cosplay, Halloween type of things. Like I did with um, Sylvanas for Sh Shadowlands launch. <laughs> but no, um, it's going to be more than normal sort of thing. It might be like bright colors and stuff like that, but it'll be more of a normal shapes and things like that. Uh, basic wouldn't be a thing if it wasn't classic and did work. Exactly. Exactly right. 100%. This one doesn't have the thing, so I'm gonna go and get the Hearthstone. Yeah, the Frosted, she hates the Frosting, I don't know why. Um, look, some people don't like it so sweet, and some people prefer taking that extra layer of sugar off of it, so that they can have it just kind of more more focus on the buttery of the pastry, rather than the sugar of the filling and the Frosting. I, I get that, um, but I like sugar. <laughs> I, I understand the, the difference in opinion. But I am, I am, a, I'm on Team Frosting. Birthday breakfast, yum. Enjoy your lurk. Now I want Pop-Tarts, goddammit. I need to add, where's, where's Amazon? I need to put Pop-Tarts on my goddamn wish list. Pop-Tart. Why is this $13 for an 8-pack? That's... $152! What? For, for 6 8-packs? That's ridiculous. Absolutely not. Um, do they have the smallest ones? Oh, they've got brown sugar cinnamon. The cheap one, they've got frosted chocolate, frosted choco-tastic, um, but that's not the fun. I like the cinnamon ones and the s'mores ones. Um, strawberry's not bad, but brand. Tots. Nope, that didn't work. Um... Maybe I need to put a space in them. Maybe that'll get me. Yeah, there we go. A little bit better. It's only 10 pages of results, it'll be fine. I swear to God, Amazon hates it, the people who are using it to try to shop because it just. Why is the first result? fucking lollipops when I've clearly googled Pop-Tarts. It just doesn't make any sense. Not googled, searched. The blueberry ones? Ah, uh, I wonder- I think I've had- I think I've had the blueberry ones before. Oh, it's around this side, isn't it? I always go to the wrong place. We don't have super many flavours in Australia. Um, but... That's okay. <laughs> That's absurd. If I'm gonna head out, no worries, Red. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Funko Pop Sour Patch Kids. Grape Sour Patch Kid exclusive. That is not a pop tart. That is a Funko Pop. Different. Not edible. I think it's run out of actual Pop-Tarts results. I think it's going to be under cereals and breakfast bars. No, it's not. Never mind, I lied. Maybe. $13 for eight Pop-Tarts seems... Because, of course, they come in the packs of two as well, so you only get, like, four packs. 
for $13. That seems a bit ridiculous. But the only one that's cheap is the um, chocolate ones. That kind of sucks. Although I can't get them from Woolworths. That might be the best way to get them. They just don't have very many fun flavours. I think they literally have chocolate, strawberry, brown sugar, cinnamon, and cookies and cream. I think that's it. There's blueberry. Why are these not coming up on... There's the s'mores ones. That's what I want. There's the biggest s'mores ones. Why weren't these coming up in my search? Bastards. They don't want me to have popped. Oh, because it's currently unavailable. <laughs> currently unavailable, 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 unavailable. Oh, well. Apple and cinnamon Pop-Tarts. Excuse me? Oh, no, those are... Those are not real. Those are recipes for people making pretend Pop-Tarts. That's not nice. Rude. Rude. Too much effort. Love what people pay extra to be on similar searches. Yeah, that just... Why the hell am I going to buy lollipops when I'm looking for pop tarts? Like it just, that doesn't even, they aren't even close to the same thing. The only thing they have in common is that they're sugar and maybe they're both fruit flavored sometimes. It just, nah, nah. Silly people found a bunch of pop tarts at Coles for some reason they were discounted. I broke my head to be like, no, I'm on a strict diet. Don't care if I can get five boxes for 10 bucks. Greatest bit of work. Well done, Lucky. Well done. So these are eight toaster pastries. There's only four. Never mind, you said that. Yeah. Four packs with two each. Yeah. Yeah. Catch the day sometimes more flavors. They're inconsistent. Yeah. Well, they, I think it's because Catch of the Day only gets like what they can get. At the, do you know what I mean? It's like um, they, they buy direct from the manufacturer at a discounted rate because for what, you know, maybe there's an overproduction or or something like that. And so they're trying to offload and so Catch of the Day gets them cheap, which is why it's inconsistent. Um, at least that's how Catch used to work. I don't know if that's still the case. Um, both have an O and a P in the name, very similar obs. Ah, oh, Kaz. Oh, Lord. All right, Kita, let's do this. We've got two more mail pieces to get. Excuse me. Hang on, actually, I've got a... Do I got a? Station unreachable. Bull. More variety, but inconsistent. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh well. Oh well. Nostalgia for biscuits. Mum used to work in a biscuit factory to let the workers take home the broken, imperfect biscuits. A bunch of broken wagon wheels. Ah, oh, yum. Yeah, this was the life. That's awesome. Oh. Okay, we're gonna head up to Dal first and grab us a uh, um, hearthstone. Love wagon wheels. Mm hmm. I like snacks in general and I'm trying to snack less, but it's not working very well. Snacks are just easy because they require no effort. <laughs> Anything with marshmallow I love. Yeah, marshmallows are fantastic too. Ah, oh, tasty and delicious. So, 
It was on 35.71% for Hunters. This Hunter's now on 71.42. So, so far we're doing pretty well with this. We're going, we're, this is, we're getting results. We're getting results. Um, we've just, we've got two more pieces of mail that we need. Then the other one's a cloak and the other one's a, um, a rank two codex, which I don't think I can actually get unless I have rank one anyway. Um... Which I don't on any of these tunes. I only have the the ones like I've got an act like a scribe, a designated scribe that has that stuff. But um, I'll have to check her before I run it. But if the tra if the technique's the only one left, I'm happy to call that done. Personally, it won't say done on the sheet, but I'll I'll be happy to consider it done for my purposes. Um, this is Legermain. Hello. Have a good one. Safe travels. There we go. I have 20 Dalaran Hearthstones on Horde, and I have 30 tunes. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I think I'm going to be running ICC forever, feeling when 350 appearances is only 35%. Yup. Yup. I don't even. Where am I? ICC. I mean, I'm not on completion mode though, so that's. But yeah, ICC is a it's a big one, it's a big one, especially considering that there's four difficulties, like normal ten, heroic ten, normal twenty five, heroic twenty five. Um, so you've got four difficulties worth of appearances, but they share a lockout, so you can only do one of the four each week. Like that just sucks. It really, really sucks. Um, the more tunes you have, the better, obviously, but. Yeah. Having to actually pick, like, which of these four is my lowest right now and going with it every week. Actually, I'm going to go back and very strict diet preparation surgery, so I can hear about it in the next few weeks. Back to soup for me. Oh, bugger. Bugger. I hope it's nutritious soup. Probably a silly question. Why set Hearthstone to Dalaran when there's a Dalaran Hearthstone already? That wasn't me setting my Hearthstone to Dalaran. That was me getting a Dalaran Hearthstone. Because a lot of my alts didn't level through Legion. They leveled just through WOD, and that was it, because it was post-leveling revamp. So none of them have Dalaran Hearths, so I'm getting it. I'm in no need to apologize. <laughs> no need at all. Our forces have engaged the Legion on the mm, Okay, let's see how we go. We must place the Aegis in the tower before our losses grow insurmountable. Oh. Our guests of honor have finally arrived. If I if I get to if I get through all eight, so four hunters, four shaman, if I get through all eight and I haven't I've still got a piece of mail left, I'm gonna have to start working down the list on Mythic. Um like from from the most geared to the least geared kind of thing. Um just to see if I can actually get the Cause it is only the first two bosses that actually drop the mail. The third boss has a cloak, which could drop on any tune, and uh, and then the last one only has the technique now. So that's good at least. In fact, maybe to speed this up, I'll just not kill the last. I'll kill Domatrax and then Escuppy. Definitely, it's just it's just heartbreaking. Well, I'm I'm glad you're at least getting what you need in terms of food, though. That's yeah. I I, I feel your pain though. My lowest each week in mind and move on after 50. Still don't have any class over 35. Oof, rough. Are you running the, like, multiple tunes per week? I'm assuming you are. Um, but, you know, no, never harm, ne you know, no harm in asking. Um, do you, like, do you run each of your tunes in ICC on your lowest difficulty and then move on to whatever's next lowest because you can't physically do any more ICC that week? I did two times quest in Legion Chromie time just to get that a Hearthstone, went back to normal leveling, but that makes sense. Yeah, you don't actually have to do the quest to get the thing anymore. You just you head into the into the um into the inn, the ledger main, the ledger main lounge. Uh, and just yeah, there's a um like a speech bubble option to get yourself one. I don't know, maybe it's or you only get that if you can't do Legion anymore, like if you've done Chromie time or if you're at a certain level. Uh, but yeah, nice and easy. <clears throat> Uh, terrible shopping experience. Oh no, Zalk, I'm sorry to hear that. Ok, 
pay up. Go. I can skip them, I just have to keep running. Noted. Go through them, then move on till next week. Just so many appearances in good old RNG. Oh, absolutely. I can only imagine that every so often... Must be a host. Because there's no raid alert. Well, thank you for the host, whoever that was. Just like, wait a second. Um, the host API for Twitch is kerfucked. It has been for months, so it's not going to come up with an alert or anything. So apologies, but um, lights usually get triggered by something. Um, I'd imagine that you've had times, Meaty, when you've gone through the entire bloody place on one of your characters and not had a single new piece drop, and that just must be so much heartbreak. So much heartbreak. Hey, LRA! Much appreciated. Yeah, unfortunately, the host stuff on Twitch has been broken for months and months and months. Um, you don't get an alert in chat. You don't get, you no know, like, alerts via Streamlabs or, or Edstream elements. None of those work. But somehow, Lumia Stream still recognizes it. It's really strange. Really strange those days suck. Yeah. I'll bet. Look, I'm... It'll be interesting once ICC is on my list. Let's just we'll, we'll put it that way. It'll be very interesting. No, it won't be for a while because I'm still down in the 30s. And ICC, I think, is mostly in the 50s for me. Let's have a look. Um, 79, 58, 64, 60, 71, 67, 72, 71, 53, 59, 69, 58. Yeah, so it's going to be like nearly 20% until I start seeing ICC pop up. Um, but look, we'll get there eventually. We've been powering through. We're already at like 35% is my lowest. That's pretty good. Like, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy. We'll get there one day. Oh, too well. We can manually pop those video alerts. How have you been? Yeah, really well, thank you. Really well. Super productive weekend. I'm very happy about that. Um, having a very productive first weekend of the month usually means that the rest of my month will go pretty well. Um, it kind of sets the tone for the whole bloody thing. So yeah, no, I'm I'm super pleased. Um, but how are you going? How are you? At least it's a raid. I feel compelled to beat my head against it repeatedly because it means you can't redo. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. It's like when I'm running a dungeon and I get my ten done in under an hour, and I'm like, I get my get my twenty done in under an hour, and I'm like, I I have to come back in twenty three minutes when I can't end, but I'm like, I can't be bothered doing that. I don't want to do that, and so I don't. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's um, it is good. It's nice having a, like a, a hard cap on the masochism. <laughs> it is nice. There are look. There are, there are people who say, like, I want to be able to do a raid more than once a week for my mount chances and blah, 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 blah. But honestly, no, you don't. You, you really don't. Um, having that artificial limit there is, it, it helps you maintain the sanity, honestly. Uh, I've been a rat, getting some done, always having some fun, welcoming the warm weather. Fantastic. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. <clears throat> okay, so those are the two bosses. I've downed the two bosses that can drop mail and neither of them dropped something I need, which sucks. Um, but this third boss could drop a cloak. So we're going to give that a try. <clears throat> You think you do, but you don't. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. 
Though honestly, I'm not really in a place to talk anymore because like. I've got a vast majority of the raid dropping mounts, which kind of sucks because I really enjoyed like running through all my tunes, running a particular raid trying to get a mount, like it was nice. Um, but I mean, I guess they'll always be sure. Always and forever. Because it hates me. I might as well do the last boss while I'm here because it's pretty really quick, isn't it? I always forget that the third and fourth boss are right here. Started to limit my dungeon runs to one of each level. So reduce my I hate you X dungeon. Fair, fair. Good evening, Panda. We have two tonight. Um, Cathedral of Eternal Night. I want to. I want to get as much of it cleared out as possible, so I don't have to do it or even think about doing it for another year or so. It'd be really nice. I just want to get it done. <clears throat> so, currently I'm running through it on every Hunter and Shaman, because male was the lowest on the list. Male, male armor. Um, so that's what I'm running on at the moment to see what I can, if I can clear it out. And we've done a really good job. We've gone from, what was it? 35.71 to 71.42. So that's honestly, that's a huge jump to begin with. And I'm not done yet. It's done, fantastic. Thank you for waiting through them, I appreciate it. Unless of course we're doing lax, of course, of course. But the lax at least is a time limit, like once the time is up, you're done. That's it, finito. I feel like that's a slightly better feeling. Question, what's so bad about this one? Haven't really played it yet. Um, so the things that frustrate me Personally, they're very, very personal feelings. Like, this is not, um, it's not actually a bad dungeon. The dungeon itself is quite good. Problems are, it was a Mythic-only dungeon, so it's only available on Mythic and Heroic. Mythic can only be done once a week, Heroic can only be done once a day. So there's no normal mode, so I can't farm out the piece transmog that I want. It's also in Legion, which means that at uh, Legion was squished to 45, and all my tunes are, most of my tunes are at about 50, which means they can do heroic, but a lot of them have trouble doing mythic. So I've gone from two attempts in a day down to one attempt in a day, and I don't get the extra one each week. Kind of. So it's um, it's just because it's so limited on how much I can actually earn in one cycle. That's why it frustrates me personally. But um, that it's not a bad dungeon. It's actually not bad. It just frustrates me because of my particular goals. <laughs> uh, and I swear, good same bit of gaming. Just study, fantastic. Eliminating competitive fun makes transmog running so much easier. It does, because you're only kind of partially paying attention to the transmog side of things. At least me. Like, yeah. It just, it add, distracts you with lots of shiny things on the screen. And the dings, we like the dings. Makes sense, sounds super frustrating. It is, it is, uh, which is why today is a cathedral day. All stream, pounding out cathedral, trying to get as much of it done as possible. Hello, koala. Indeed, we love those those chimes. They are the happy brain juice noises. Hello, welcome back. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, the dungeon itself isn't bad. It's just my personal gripes with my situation and how cathedral's limitations affect it. Uh, but that's okay. It is what it is. We just do our bestest and hope that it works eventually. Uh, hey there. Yeah, you. Hope you're well. Have a favor to ask. Want to support for you? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. Uh, Fia has just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all of the profiles in the link that Seeker has dropped. And thank you so much to all of you for getting involved. What is the count on these days? I saw it was like at 1,005 a while back, a little while ago, but I don't know what it is now. <gasps> 1,008! Oh my god, you guys. I'm not, I'm not going to say it because I'll jinx it. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Uh, um, what am I doing? Cathedral. What else am I bloody doing? Um, oh, the panic. The 1K. I did, Panda. Yes, it was on Wednesday. It was Wednesday last week. This week, just gone. 
Do we need do we need to have that like as a milestone somewhere? Maybe we need to stick it in the mod channel and pin it. So I remember. Kind of like how I remember my stream anniversary. Um I'll always remember my part anniversary though, because it's the day after my brother's birthday. Uh, <laughs> makes it a lot easier to remember, hey. Use Dalaran Hearthstone, can do. Yes, must have a pin seeker when you're pushing for 2k. Ooh. I think there was someone talking about hitting 1111. So that that was a cute one. Slightly easier. Snip the pick in Discord. We'll move to more chat. Ah, perfect. Perfect. That someone was me. Brilliant. There you go. It was you. I wasn't too sure. It was either you or Zam, I thought. Maybe dupe, but yes, no. Fantastic. Look, I, I apologize. You know my memory's shit. I, I'm always, like, misattributing things to someone, uh, but I'm glad that people, you know, can correct me and, and not be too upset about it. Makes me happy. Uh, okay, so this is another shaman. Um, where's my... Oh, gross. I, can I filter... Filter, faction filter, level filter, profession filter, class filter. But I don't want just shamans. I want also hunters. I can't do that. Okay. Oh my god. One, my alt hunter is higher than my main hunter. This is wrong. This, this feels wrong. Then all of the okay, that's fine. Um, I'm trying to think if I don't get them all done with heroic, I need because I've only got three more tombs: two shaman and a hunter left before I have to start looking at mythic. And I was trying to figure out which ones to do on mythic, but it looks like if I just go down the list, it'll be appropriately in reverse order of power, Appro almost approximately, not appropriately, approximately. Um. Of course. Yes, last in the love of recently health issues with personal things, started working towards my goal. One of each race class combo, a very long-term goal. Keep me busy. Absolutely, Koala. Look, having those long-term goals can absolutely be awesome. Um, one of the things when I was doing my 50-50s, uh, I set myself a deadline for them all to be done, like a goal date. But then I also broke that down into what it looked like weekly. That really helped. Uh, in keeping me on track and making sure I actually put some effort into it each week. Um, but up, of course, you know, just a little piece of, if, if that's something you're interested in doing, it can definitely help, can help distract you too, because you've got to spend the time figuring out your weekly goal. Ooh. <clears throat> I'm very stiffly today. Okay, out of combat. Done. Uh, Fade, Aelin, Cat, Meaty, Zam, Kraz, and Lander. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Oh, I'm in combat. Really positive note found out someone who lives in the same town as me after the expansion announcement should I met up for lunch. Hey, fantastic koala. Oh, I'm so glad you had a lovely time. That's so cool. Purse is an awesome person. Just like, honestly. What I know of her, I don't, I don't know her obviously very well, but like what I do know of her, she seems really awesome. Really awesome. I finally got exalted with Netherwing. Hey, congrats, Panda. Well done. Good job to you. Uh, okay, I'm trying to see. So 3571 is my lowest with those ones. 4286. 
it looks like 4286 is my next lowest in cathedral and it looks like that's the warrior and the paladin are there no weapons in here there mustn't be Of course they weren't weapons. It's bloody legion. Of course. Oh my goodness. I'm so silly. That's why so many of the, but, but then why? I'm not a paladin. Uh... Why has the DK got a higher percentage of completion than the... The warrior and the paladin have two more pieces that they can get than the, the DK can. What is that about then? Because I'm looking at plate wearers in general and, um, oh, and the demon hunter has more than the other leather wearers. Hydrate. Less than the, more they can collect than the other. I'm very confused. Dropped a couple weapon logs. Uh, did they? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so it's relic, 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 relic. All the body relics. You got plate, mail, neck. Cloth, plate, mail, leather, back, back, mail, cloth, leather, plate, mail, cloth, leather, plate, mail, leather, cloth, plate, mail, leather, plate, cloth, cloth, leather, mail, cloth, leather, plate, finger, finger, trinket, trinket, trinket. So it's that's really strange. Maybe the numbers are just wrong. Maybe I haven't updated the data in a while and it thinks it's wrong. That's also a very possible thing. Because <clears throat> it seems like that's really balanced. Like that everyone has 28 appearances, but then some of these listed here say they have 26, not 28. So I'm a bit confused about that. Frequently, yes. Look. <laughs> this is a Scythe and a Taurus, my what Couldn't have. Yeah, that was um the one from uh, Argus, the final boss. Because it's down as a pole arm, yeah, not a staff. And warlocks can't use pole arms. At least I think. Oh, God damn, I got stuck. So if I make. Oh, because there's the trash gear. That's probably what the extra pieces are. The green part, the green bits that drop off um, the, the zone drop. That might be it. <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure there was one of each of those, like one in each type of armor. I don't know. Look, I guess we'll find out if we get there. I hope we get there. I'm doing pretty well so far, I think. I'm I'm happy with the progress so far. Typing something I can't whenever the keyboard is. Send it now. I forgot what I was gonna say. That's alright, Zalk. It happens all the time. Do not stress. If it's important, I'm sure that you will remember. Forward to farming a tool set in Dragonflight. That joke about great homes being a muggable thing. Ah, I'll be fine. I'm sure I'll still have old raids and dungeons that I have to farm for for boss transmog, and I'm sure I'll get a full set by the time I get through all of those on every class. My will take you. My <gasps> Hello, gun down. Fancy seeing you here. Dragonflight hype indeed! How 
are you? Uh, for those who aren't aware, Gundown is my brother. How have you been? What is happening? Love that it takes an expansion launch to drag you back. <laughs> ah, cats be dicks like that. Have to shut my laptop when leaving the room to avoid random crap being touched. Yeah, look. It's it's a bit that way. Tight AF. Oh, honey, yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. I feel that. Well, I hope you feel better soon. Just hardly on Twitch lately. Yeah, look, life can get in the way sometimes, so it's, it, it is what it is, isn't it? You got other things that are higher priorities and all that kind of stuff. Totally makes sense. How is fear? Fear as well. Fear as well. Uh, more of the same. Busy as all hell. Always exhausted. But, um, you know, it's been good. It's been good. Got some, uh, well... I can't share anything yet because it's all still in negotiations and whatnot, but um, hopefully soon I'll have some stuff I can share, which will be very exciting and wonderful, which everyone loves that I'm keeping it from them. You guys love secret games, don't you? Uh, secret games. Secret. Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, keep secret keeping games. Uh, kids are the same. Ah, oh, that's the cloth one. That's the cloth one that I need. Fantastic. Look at that. Look at that. 20, 21k average because no one wants to do the, it only drops in here and no one wants to do the round and do the dungeon. So no one gets it to drop. That's amazing. I'll send that to Fia. Very happy. Good evening, Dunno. I don't believe you if he was your brother, his name would be Fia. Was well no, because he streams. Yes. It, yes. Thank God for that. One step closer to no more hunters or shaman ever having to do Cohen again. Amazing. But no, um, gun down streams occasionally. That's that's why it's not Fiamma's brother. Um, gun down, you know, like mum's name and, and stepdad's name and dad's name on Twitch are all like Fiamma's mum, Fiamma's stepdad. Yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, I thought Dad was a troll when I first saw him jump into chat. Uh, I had to verify via text messages it was actually him. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yes. No, Gundown actually streams. You should give him a follow. Tell us now. I can't. I, I cannot. If I do, I could jeopardize the negotiations and lose the opportunity. So, no, I can't. Like secrets and surprises. I do too. I like it better when I get to actually say them and see all your reactions and stuff though. All of the secrets. Yeah. Soon DM. I like knowing them even better. Yes. Yes. 21k. Should rename to Fears Bro and begin streaming. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sure everyone here respects it if and when you can discuss it you will. Oh, I know, I know, but it's still fun to tease. It's, it's still fun to... Like with Shiba and the mount guessing, you know? Same deal, same deal. 21k, what's 21k? I missed something. Uh, just getting all the drop. Oh, the 21k, yep, that I'm selling that, yep, okay. I'm not selling it though. Um, that's going to go straight onto my mage's head because I want that transmog because I don't have to pay for it myself. Did you really Profit off of fears. Fame. Fame. Run again and I'll yep, fame. Like the I want to drop deep down fear be sad when she has no more Cohen runs oh, left. Sure. Look, maybe. It is kind of like, it's, it's a bittersweet moment. Like, yes, I finished a thing and I'm never going to have to go to that place ever again. Like... It is, it is bittersweet. It was like, you know, when I moved out of Sydney, mo left Sydney and moved to Brisbane, um, just, just before the lockout laws really came into effect, and a whole bunch of my haunts from when I was in university, they're all gone. Like, I'm never going to be able to go back there again. I'm never going to go be, be able to go back and, and have the reminisce and, and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, I also won't get to go back there and be disappointed. So it's kind of, yeah. Uh, I just don't get how cats and guessing kids manage to accidentally change things with shortcuts. You never knew existed and take hours to change back. Yeah. Magic. Magic. Just show you here and you just go, of course, Elk, of course. 
Of course. I don't want a ring. I mean, okay, it's an upgrade. That's embarrassing. Um, I don't want a ring. I wanted a cloak, but that's fine. Of course, I'm 21k a lot of gold in retail. Ah! For some people. Not, not really. Like, it's pretty easy to get if you really wanted to go get it. Um, but it's not... It's not a quest. It's not, uh, like... I think you get 5 or 6k from a... From a calling. Like, the new emissaries. So it's not difficult. It's just, depending on how much time you have to play, it might be time consuming and then you don't want to spend it because you spent a fair bit of time getting it. What's fame fair? You're an influencer. Yeah, I know, I've got 1,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> uh, I mean, as far as Cohen is concerned, those greens are only going to be worth more and more at this rate. You could convince yourself a reason. Exactly. Exactly. Now an upgrade. I know, I know. 21k is nothing. You're broke. What? I've... I mean, on this tune, I'm broke, yeah, but I've got 3 million on fear. 100 gold is worth, like, one copper in classic, yeah. Yeah, it's, um... It's, it's pretty... Alrighty. In ages past, this shield defended the young world soul against madness and corruption. Today... It serves those who fight for Azeroth. This <laughs> inflation. Yep. We're grinding to get single bloody gold. You've read all three callings on a character and sell the greys from that pack of three, at least for me lately. Adelons tell me the vendor tossed me four to six K for all three set of trash. There you go. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Thor. I appreciate that. Uh, all right. Next character. I only have one more male piece to get. The, the cloak I can get on another tune, so I'm not going to run stuff, I'm not going to run it on the Shaman or Hunter on Mythic to try to get a cloak when I could get it on any of the other classes on Heroic. Um, so we're going to skip that. But I still need that. I've got two more tunes to go and I need one male piece, so I'd best drop. I really hope we don't get another big... I really hope we get another big gold sink in DF. It's a shame we didn't have one in Shadowlands. I'm still not convinced we won't get one in 925 or even in pre-patch. Still said long boy was removed, to be honest. Eh, technically not removed. Is still gettable, just a lot more difficult. Who did she use buying the vendor elements for legendary items? Ooh. Ooh, long boy made sense removed, to be honest. AH the purpose is limited, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but still not actually technically removerated. I uh, never got it, I'll never make the gold. Yeah, we we'll to hit black market. Are you sure about that though? Because, I mean, it. Granted, it does take some effort, and I know you do have kids, and that does make everything just that bit more difficult. But I reckon you still could. Honestly, I reckon if you jumped onto Drizzling Rose's Gold Guide and just took some time, like a little bit of time each week to do a little bit of setup, I reckon you'd be surprised just how much you can make. Uh, but I do, I do understand it's not. It's a lot easier for me to say that with my situation than it is to, like, yeah, I get that. <clears throat> me too, sorta. Of. I'd still never have the money to get one even when it was locked at 5 million. Well, that's the thing. When they said they were removing it, I was like, hum. And that's when I first discovered data for Azeroth because they had the Brutusaur calculator and you could put in how many characters you had and you could select a bunch of raids. This was back when raid, like, raw raid gold farming was a thing. Uh, and I selected a bunch of raids and it said you'd be earning this much per week by doing those dungeon by those raids. Um, you could get it by X date. And I'm like, shit, that dates. And so I, what I did is I, I had three characters at that time. I only had Phelan, Alexia and Fear at an appropriate level. Um, and so I put in the three and I would tick a, tick a raid and it said this date. And I tick another raid, this date another raid this day and I kept doing that until it had a date that was within the time and I was like I reckon I could actually do those raids that wouldn't take that much time and so I started doing it and then there was a wowhead economy wrap up they do like an economy post each week uh and one of them linked Rose's guide and I read it and I'm like shit I have a ton of tunes I have almost half an account worth of tunes and they all have garrisons they're just not very built up and so I started slowly but surely. I put a lot of gold into it, but I set them up. 
Um, there was one week where I lost gold, and then the next week I gained a little bit of gold, and then the next week I gained more gold, and then it got to the point where I was gaining so much gold from the garrisons that I could remove a raid that I was doing each week, and then I removed another raid, and then eventually I was doing no raids and just collecting the gold from the garrisons every week. And I got it two months before it ended up being removed. Like it was, it was, a, I missed the deadline by a huge margin, but in my favor. So like, I was very surprised. Um, it, it made a ton of gold. I don't make as much from it these days because um, obviously they nerfed a few bits and pieces here and there. So it's not as profitable as it was, uh, but it's still pretty good. I mean, again, the more tunes you have, the more gold you're gonna make. But it's pretty much passive. Pretty much passive. And if you don't mind making a little bit less gold, a little bit less gold, a little bit less gold, um, you can remove some of the more active components if you're okay with the trade-off. So, yeah. Or if you have to. If you have to. Yeah, but you'll still make some decent gold just by logging into each tune once a week. <clears throat> Uh, I instead mean, of sitting down actually stick my hand in gold making, probably saw I sold 20 for 30k gold a couple days ago from the whole set of dice and pop them up. <laughs> Brilliant. I really need to sit and plan a level, s level and set things up. I miss raid gold farming. Look, I do too, but it was also quite time consuming. The, like, the gold per hour was, was good, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't as good as the gold making from the garrison. Because you don't spend hours doing the garrison. You spend all of, like, a couple of minutes sort of thing. And then you just kind of, and it's, yeah. And you make a ton of gold. But yeah, anyway. Uh, total gold I have on all tunes is 108k. That's res that's respectable. That is absolutely a great place to be starting from. Uh, I don't rate either. There's a long boy next to me, clearly an omen. Ah, just mill around wasting a lot of time in game. I feel that. I feel that. Rebrose is guy from the same way I had post probably got me about a third of the gold I needed for the mount, so it was great. Yeah, right? It's, yeah, it was, it was so good. Really helpful. Uh, running old content, farming old herbs and ore and leather. There are so many things to do, even if you just have a little bit of time to do it. Yeah, the problem is trying to figure out what is going to work on your server. And that's why I love the garrison stuff so much. It's because you're not selling anything. I mean, I, I've been basically avoiding the bags at all. Like I don't do hexweed bags at all anymore because getting like farming up the wolves to get the fur, it's just not worth it. Um, in terms of my time investment, and I don't have time to do it anymore either. Um, it's just, no, no. Um, so I don't do bags, therefore just doing the cards I don't sell a single thing to other players. It's all based on vendor gold, which means there is no fluctuation in the market. There is no sometimes they sell, sometimes they won't. There is no sometimes they go for 1500 and sometimes they go for two. Like there's just, there's none of that. And there's no, this works on this server or that server, it, it, none of it. It's stock standard. You make this, you sell it to a vendor, you get gold. End of, end of process. Um, so it's, universal and i love me some universal shit not for it's not for everybody um and you know some people out there are selling their skills and, and all that and that's well and good you know selling uh, mythic plus or raid carries or whatever and you'll make a ton more gold doing it that way and faster too but not all of us have those cap not all of us have those capabilities so love me a low skill low investment Guaranteed return. Saying that, I haven't done it in months. I haven't done any garrison stuff in literally months because I've just been so behind on everything because of the shit fight that this year has been. Um, just, you know, between frantically finishing off the leveling to lovers in the air to the floods to post surgery, and then I spent all of April trying to catch up on everything else from the first half of this year, first bit of the year. I just haven't had time. But now that things are starting to chill out a bit, uh, I reckon this week I might actually be able to get into it again, which will be really nice. Because I've been sitting on three million for a little too long. It's time to hit four. That's on, on Horde. Oh, on Alliance, I'm sitting on one, I think. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Didn't know you could do that. <laughs> oh, that's 
that's nice. Okay, good. I was not aware that that was possible. Fantastic. Now I do. <clears throat> uh, I've been picking at all the men lately, trying to get that fez to drop. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. I got one. Stuck it straight on my noggin. Stay close. We shall carve a path through these demons. I think I have half a dozen fully set up alliance garrisons since I was playing near the end of ward. No clue what to do with them. Keep forgetting to look at the super guide. Well, there you go. You should definitely go do that. Definitely. Card of Romans in the garrison. A pretty good raw passive of gold. Exactly, Barris. That's what we're talking about, actually. Uh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, let's go blue skill. Time to make breakfast. Enjoy, Kaz. I hope it's delicious and nutritious and fulfilling and all that fun stuff. Super guide! Exclamation garrisons. Oh, garrison. I think I. I think it's both now. In chat, we'll get you the guide we're talking about. It's from Drizzling Rose. It's her garrison gold making guide, and it's phenomenal. You're very welcome, Davu. Thank you, Kay. Oh, it is only garrison. Okay, my bad. I guess maybe it's because it's the garrison gold making guide. I didn't think to make it plural. But that's fine. Look, it's there. Alright, so I've got one character left who can get this one chain piece left. Um, it's also just up a little because I did it. Indeed, you did. That's where I actually scrolled up to see which car which command you'd used. Ha! Uh, uh, honestly, my main goal right now is just get the gold needed to buy a sub every month. Well, with enough tunes, your garrisons will do that easy. Like easy. Ugh, back like when I was more recently doing the garrison stuff, I used to flip cards every week because I was trying desperately to save up for the long boy, but then it got to be that that just was taking too long. So what I ended up doing was I'd flip them once a month. Um, I'd do every four weeks. Like I do all my crafting and reset my garrison every single week, but then once a month I'd go through, do all the actual crafting of the cards, mail them all to one tune and flip them all. So I'd get like a monthly income statement <laughs> rather than a weekly. But next time I do it, um, I should, uh, I should take, like, take bank of, uh, take count of what I have and what I get and all that. I think you could elude me, Illidan. Run again, and I'll shackle you like the beast you are. Uh, I had affairs, went and put on the AH, didn't realize my subscription was ending, didn't have enough money to resub. It was longer than 30 days till I could resub, ended up losing it. Oof. If there's, if it sells and there's gold in your mailbox, it can use that to purchase a token to get you back in now. Um, probably for that very reason. But, um, I know it didn't used to do that. Uh, buy the journal herbs when they're about one gold, maybe 150. Mill them and you should have the herbs you need for two weeks at least. It's been my experience. Uh, yeah, except that my servers, you can't get them that cheap ever. Uh, maybe occasionally, but not very often. Not very often. Uh, and so you kind of have to just check every so often. It's alright though, because I have a, an auction tune on each server. I've only got two servers, one for Horde, one for Alliance. Um, and so I check the auction house and every time I go on to post, repost my auctions, I got the cloak, but I still need the last mail piece. God damn. Um, but yeah, so every time I jump on to check, to repost my auctions, I also check for herbs and just keep a stock. Nice and easy. So the first boss will not drop the mail boots. Hey, Adaz, how you doing? Welcome back. Golly, just got my nails have been snapping been long for many weeks. My fingers feel naked. I know that feeling. Oh, it's the worst, hey. And it's like the you your fingertips get ultra sensitive because they haven't been like used much. It's weird. It's so weird. <clears throat> uh so all my dudes with full garrisons basically need to ditch their professions and go inscription and work up the one part of that profession then profit is sort of what I'm hearing. Ah, uh, you don't need to work on the profession at all. You just need the garrison building. <laughs> what is this? Can it be? The 
Guardian. In ages past, this shield defended the young world. Uh, but yeah, all the information is in the guide. Everything, all the information you need is in Rose's guide. Uh, I even tried painting this week to cover the snap. No good, sensitive is high. Yeah, but you can type more easily. Fantastic. Good to hear. Yeah, when I um when I get a snap, I um do the whole like nail glue slash super glue with a bit of a tea bag fix, and then file down like buff. You know, getting one of those buffing blocks, and I buff down the the roughness, and uh, that usually it it doesn't like you can't buff it all the way down to the nail because obviously that gets rid of the tea bag. You just glued on it, uh, but it does hold it usually long enough to, for the for the split to move down the free edge a bit more, so I can cut it off and still have like a couple mil of nail. Yeah, tea bag is the cover I'm imagining. Yeah, so you cut a little teeny tiny piece of tea bag, just one layer, not the double layer, um, and you put the nail glue. Like you, you kind of place the you cut little tiny square tea bag, put nail glue on the split, and place the tea bag on usually with like tweezers and kind of hold it down so that it's against the nail, and you let it completely dry and harden, no tackiness, no nothing, completely dry and hard, and then you get like a buffing block and you use the roughest side of the buffing block over the top of the tea bag to get rid of like you know the the edges will kind of curl up and all that because of the uh, super glue. And uh, you buff it down until it's kind of mostly smooth, get rid of most of the texture, but there's still like a bit of a lump where the, the tea bag and super glue mix is attached to the nail. And then you can paint over it to kind of hide it a bit better. Uh, but yeah, it helps hold a split together until the split can grow further away so that you can, you still have to cut it because it's still going to be weak. You're going to make a bigger, badder split, cut, crack, whatever you want to call it, uh, where it happens. But it just it helps it get a little bit further away so that you're not cutting into your nail bed if the split's up that high. Yeah. Is he fishing? You're just listening or doing that. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Hey, SN. How are you going? Welcome back. Really good video to show you how to fix a broken nail. Simply Nail Logical is the queen. She's just so amazing. In, in, she's where I learned most of my things, to be honest. Like most of what I've learned, I've I've learned from uh, from Christine. Same tea bag technique. Mm. The tea bag one is something I knew for a long time, but I never quite understood how it worked. And then she did like a demonstration, and it all finally clicked. Much progress in nail health. Had a big confrontation with the group and realized afterwards that I anxiously torn them all in a matter of half an hour. Yeah, it it happens. It happens. But now you know that what you were doing works, so you can build them back up again. mature when anxious. I used to bite my nails all the time and to the point where I didn't even care about the taste of stop and grow. Like I just kind of got over it. Um, I don't know how I stopped though. I just, I noticed one day that I hadn't bitten them in months and that's that kind of, I don't, I don't understand how, I don't know what changed. I don't know what changed, but um, yeah. I mean, I did have, I can't remember. Uh, I did have acrylics for a while. They destroyed my nails completely and entirely. But acrylic, you can't bite and you can't chew acrylics. You'll get real fucking sick if you chew acrylics. Um. So that's fun. But. Yeah, I don't know what I did. Uh, she's a really good end of the video. She almost ripped her for, you know, yeah, with the, um, the funeral for her nail and all that as well. Yeah, fantastic. So entertaining. Informative and entertaining. Like, the best combination. I bite the skin around my nails. That's an anxiety response for me. Um, I, I used to do that too, and I had, like, hangnails that I'd chew at and, peer, like, pick at and all that kind of stuff, and I... That was, I'm pretty sure that was related because I'm pretty sure they stopped happening at the same time. Like the hangnails and the, the skin and stuff was related to the nail biting. Like it had shred the skin when I bit the nails and then it all just make everything worse. And then yeah, it all just, it all just stopped. I don't know how though. It just didn't. Ah, but my nails probably means I'm hungry. Animal spirits. Mm. So even as daily, some reason my late twenty stop fighting them for no known reason. Yep, definitely makes it easier to have uh, sparkles and things when they're not torn to shreds. More space for nail art. 
Uh, I've already mentioned anyway. Talking about fame. No, we're not. We're talking about Christine from Simply Neological. Hey, nurse. Doing well, thanks. Hope you are too. Maybe I don't, I know I don't, okay, so I don't have Legion Inscription. Maybe I need Legion Inscription for the technique to be able to drop. But I don't really want that on any of my other tunes. I want that on my priest, like the actual scribe. I uh, am good, thanks, fantastic. No smokes with me, I'm afraid. Uh, not sure it'd go down well with the guys in the pub. You kidding? There's the whole, um, the polished man movement. Um, polished man, it's, um, they put nail polish on because it makes people go, oh, why have you got your nails polished? Oh, it's because it's for charity. And then you talk about, like, it, pr it presents, like, an opening to talk about mental health and, and all that kind of stuff. I, th I think it's mental health. But, like, it's a, it was a whole charity thing. Men having a, a, I think it was a singular polished nail because it would inspire people to go, what the fuck are you doing with your nails? And then you'd go, well, actually, I'm trying to save your fucking life, mate. And, you know, that, yeah. <laughs> and that nail can absolutely be sparkly. Uh, Landa, Ali, Litter, Zam, Dunno, and Meaty. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Ooh, go to the bottom one. This is our loyalty super boss chest. Be sure to place your units if you want that chest because it is usually like full of 30, 40 scrolls, stuff like that. It's ridiculous. So pop them down on the battlefield. Um, oh, I have three healers. Let's go, ex let's go turn that in. Might be extra. No, okay, it's not, that's fine. Oh, it sounds like I'm in combat. But, oh, maybe not. It was only one. Um, we're gonna have to go for that, I'm afraid. Oh, maybe just a single black nail then. Still starts the conversation. Alrighty, placed that one. Um, how are the guys at the pub still this judgmental? Uh, because their dads were. And because their mates were, and because the, the colleagues higher up at work were, and they haven't been given the opportunity to break free of it, usually. It's a culture. It doesn't necessarily mean like it's it not like a nation's culture, maybe, but it's the culture of the communities where they hang out, i.e. the pub, or work, or home, or yeah, all those little pocket communities. If that's how they feel, that's what they pick up on. Uh, why do people get so pressed over what someone else does, especially something as non-invasive as some paint on the nails? I will never understand. It's because you're different, Shiba. Um, people, look, it was not gonna go for every circumstance, obviously, uh, but a lot of the time, it's because they're afraid of doing the same thing. They're afraid of stepping out and being different, and so they mock others who do to try to pull them back into line. Because they think, this is what I'm, this is what's normal. I can't do anything else, so why should you be able to do it? Therefore, I'm gonna mock you until you change and go back to how everyone else is. Uh, but, you know, that's it's going to take a few more generations to fix, I think. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, the younger generations seem to be a lot more open with those kind of things, but there are still stuff, there's still bits and pieces being carried down through generations and, and stuff, which is... It is what it is, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Polish man is men against child abuse. Oh, Joe, it's child... Thank you very much. I wasn't too sure. It's been a while since it's been brought up, but I really appreciate the contribution. Thank you so much. Um, and now I want to go look it up just to, be just to educate myself. Give me a second. Let me... It is. Polishman.com. Together we can end violence against children for good. Support the Polish man movement. Uh, delighted to announce that in 2021, we raised $701,134. Thank you to our incredible Polish community for your, your support for another wonderful year. Um, so they're doing 2022. What is Polish man? One in every two children experienced violence last year. That's why this October, we're challenging people to paint one nail. 
so that no childhood is lost to violence. Painted nails that spark conversations, conversations that inspire donations, donations that allow for trauma recovery and trauma prevention for children around the world. Beautiful. It looks like they suggest a ring finger because all the photos they have here have a blue painted ring finger. Um, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, from October 1st, paint one nail or paint them all. Go classic polished man blue, rainbow glitter, or anything in between. Paint them yourself or have friends and family help. Um, yeah. That's cool. Anyway, wonderful. There you go. Learned a new thing. Another void talent. I'm gonna try again. It's in Talador. Ooh, that was like three minutes ago. Uh, what faction? Portal mode on. Let me just double check. Despawned. Okay, never mind. Um, 100% Shiva. Uh, never ending cycles, unfortunately. No, I think we can end them. I think we can end them. Um, it takes work, it takes effort, it takes uh, a, a big handful of brave individuals who can rise above the comments that other people make and stuff like that, or even like, you know, better better yet, confront them about it. You know, oh, why are you wearing nail polish? Why does it matter? You know, like that, it, it's, and it is, you know, it, it takes a hell of a lot of confidence and bravery and courage and all that kind of stuff to stand up to bullies. Because that's what it is. It's bullying. Um, but yeah, I, I do not think it's never ending. Uh, I absolutely think we can end those cycles. I agree. I also think it being a textual for people and relate to personal safety, respecting that someone else is not comfortable and is impacted by the opinions of others is important too. Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, but they're still bullies. They're absolutely still bullies. That's not placing, like, you know, why why are people so invested in, in what's going on on other people's hands? Because they're bullies, because they're assholes, because etc, etc, etc. But that doesn't mean that people should automatically stand up to that and blah blah because of their personal safety. I think, I think it's two slightly different conversations happening there. Um, I was questioning the judgment of others rather than comfort a person in chat. Yep, exactly. Uh, favorite organizations is bikers against child abuse often often accompany children to court to help protect them. It's beautiful, eh? That's really really cool. Hundred percent, one of my favorites too. Uh, Meaty bone stuff. The haters. It's your life. I'm proud to know you. Ah, <laughs> uh, we weren't. I mean, as wonderful as the sentiment is, Welsh. We're talking about uh, some some different stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm not talking about meaty in particular in this case. But um, we do love meaty. They are fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Oh, hello. Flowers. Um. Right, so I didn't get the male boots from the first boss, which sucks. Um, actually, I don't need the technique though. I can get out. Let's go. Let's leave. That was an explodey one. Uh, Shiba, where was I again? The Hearth and Dale. Ledger Main Lounge. It's like, it's the inn for Floji Dalaran. I went to it now and forgot. <laughs> Good. Yes. Wonderful. Why the sun well? Ah! Mid! Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Welsh. Much appreciated. Congratulations, Welsh, on your gifted sub. Fantastic. So generous of you. I, I managed to remember to grab my list of gifters for April this morning. God, I was panicking when I realized. I'm like, oh my God, please tell me it hasn't wiped. Whew. Yeah, but it hadn't. I'm all good. We're all good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. All right, so we're gonna jump out and I'm gonna switch it to Mythic. I only have to do the first boss though. So that's at least a good thing. Uh, 
Um, uh, thank you, Shiba. If you could also remove that one too. I was like, uh, yes, perfect. Thank you. Contextually great. Un not contextually, very not great. Good. Uh, <laughs> it was an amazing trans and gender diverse event at a Sydney pool on Friday night. Unfortunately, a group got wind and organized an anti-trans protest. Oh my god, an amazing show of support. Everyone arrived to find lines of dykes on bikes who stayed and provided security for the night. And to clarify, that is the name of a group of people. That is the name that they call themselves. This is not being used here as a slur. Um, <laughs> oh, I figured that'd get caught. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Which is why I wanted to also provide context. Very important. Uh, anyway. Uh, bikers against child abuse and Polish men are fantastic sites and causes. May even plug up the carriage and go for painted man blue ring finger October. Ah, oh, you're so welcome, Debbie. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. If maybe, mm, I wonder. I wonder if we could do something as a community. If I remember in October. Oh, wait, oh, October's also PAX. God, this is getting. Mm, look, we'll figure something out. Mm hmm. Uh, honestly, bikers are some of the coolest people. Yep. And only in Australia um, will you find them being called bikies. And appropriately so. <laughs> Must be like, no worries. We'll see you next time, Dabu. We'll see you next time. When it went all bloopy and thought, oh, did I miss something? Nah. Auto mod caught it for a valid reason and Shiba allowed it because it was contextual. And then Shiba removed the allowed term to prevent other people from being able to use it as well. Uh, a couple of mates who were some of Australia's original D's on base. Oh, wow. Lovely, strong, bloody, brave William. Absolutely. That's so cool. That's really cool. All right. Uh, mythic. Here we go. Let's see if this is something I can do. At least it's only the first boss. Gotta love auto mod. Honestly, yeah, I do love auto mod. Um... It, it does so much good for us. It really does. Um, but yeah, as as we were saying earlier, with um, you know, car categorizing feedback, uh, it's it's a robot. Robots can't tell context. Okay, so these are still dying, but they're not dying as quickly. That's okay. It is just trash, so it should be fine. We'll see how we go with the boss. So I have shifted to Mythic now because there's still one piece of specifically male gear that I need to get. So I'm running through the Shamans and Hunters on Mythic. So I have to pay a little bit more attention because these do hit just a touch harder. Not by much though. Not always I feel for some reason it hates GZ, but it does its job. It does. It really does do its job. And there are, like, I can adjust the settings to make it allow less or more or whatever. Like, there's this, and there's sliders for different categories of bad words as well, which is awesome. Like, I can allow swearing, but prevent all sexual, sexually related words, you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, it is, it's super, super helpful. Come to love auto mod too, save me from terrible messages in chat. I mean, I saw them, no one in my chat did, which is the important thing. Yeah, look, as long as you can, like, as long as the streamer, the content creator can kind of be like, <laughs> whatever, and move on, preventing those messages from hitting chat allows the vibe to continue. That's the really big thing. And if you can, like, if the vibe stays the same and you can kind of suppress your own reaction a little bit, the vibe from chat will be enough to pick you straight back up again kind of thing. Um, it's gotten to the point when I see stuff that gets blocked that I kind of laugh because it's like, that's, that's what you're choosing to say? Like, that's like the most overused insult. Do you think you're the first person to tell me that? Get, come on, like, be, be creative. Like, don't, don't, don't be lazy. Don't, don't be lazy. God, God damn. But whatever. Again, I've been doing it for six years, so it's, you know, something that I've had a chance to practice, unfortunately, quite a bit. But, uh, yeah, auto mod is a, a really, really useful tool. It's just, it's just like any tool that has to be used effectively to be functional. Uh, BTTV change is weird. Before when you delete a message, it would say something like message deleted. Now you just can see it grayed out, but you still see the message. Oh, interesting. 
That might be an option somewhere, romantic. I mean, I still see stuff, but it has like lines through it, but that's because I'm the creator here. I'm I'm a moderator as well. So I have to see what's been moderated so that I can, you know, make a decision on whether or not I agree with the move that's been taken and stuff. Um, but yeah, I would like to think that um, is an option you can turn off for BTTV because that is, that sucks. Fun fact though, if a message is deleted, if it comes through and then it's deleted, if you watch back on the VOD or twi on clips or anything like that, it never even appears, which is really good. I, I love that feature. I think it's fantastic, which is why often I just skip over and ignore shit. Um, People are saying the same thing recently. It's probably an option. It's weird that it recently changed. Yeah, they might be trying out it. It might have been something that was suggested, or you know, it's like, oh, you know, I was in this chat and it said message deleted, but I did, and I saw half of it, but I didn't get to read the other half. It'd be really cool if BTTV would allow me to read a message that's been deleted, which I think is bullshit. If the moderators don't want you reading it, then you shouldn't be reading it. But that's just me, I guess. Can't really ban people from using a mod that does that, can I? Cool feature. It is, isn't it, Brick? Interesting. But, uh... Yeah. Not sure if I like the highlight change. The red throws me off. What highlight change? Oh, that one. Oh, it's, oh, it's been... No, I already have those. Um, just not from Mythic. I it that's been red for me for a very long time. Which is why, like, when when you know you have somebody who literally ats me at the start of every single message that they send, it's like, please stop. Like, <laughs> you don't have to ping me. It's almost like people are afraid I won't respond to them unless they ping me. Which I guess is a relic of, you know, maybe other streamers. But also, if I'm ignoring you, there might be on purpose. Like, <laughs> but yeah. Ah, oh, watching over last night, lucky. And noticed you're not paying attention to some things that were trying to remove my auto mode. Oh, bugger. There you go. It's uh, doing the Undead Starting Zone. This is such a cool storyline. It is. The Undead Starting Zone is a nice one. Why is this still red? That's confusing. Oh well. Uh, mine's always been red. Didn't know you could change that when someone asked you. I don't think you can. I think maybe it was highlighted in a different color earlier or something. But yeah, mine's always been red. Uh, mine never used to be red. Wait, I downloaded an extension earlier today that maybe was Yeah. Did, was it which? Because I've always used chat in OBS and I've got FFZ and BTTV both enabled um, it via that thing. So yeah, that might be what you've done. Maybe that's a feature from one of them. Like, it's really useful because, you know, if I see something jumping out at me that's important, but yeah. It's just going through, kind of expected at some point. They happen so quickly. Um, well, they happen quickly because, like, there's a couple of reasons. Um, people like to pick on the little person. Um, if they come into a stream like this, for example, and say something dodgy, there's a chance that a few, like not not just a few, but quite a few people will turn on them and get angry or whatever, and they don't. Then maybe they don't want to have to deal with that, and so they'll go for smaller streamers because there's not going to be as much of a reaction against them, um, or because you know they know that you're not going to miss their message because there aren't as many messages uh, there for you to be responding to, and so they'll get to see a reaction because how could you not react and all that kind of like there are there are multiple reasons why people target smaller streamers or, or starting out or whatever, but um, it's still shit. <laughs> it's it's still shit. There's no two ways about that. In BTTV, wanted to see the funky cat. One of the many reasons to ignore trolls messages in chat because we can't see the deleted messages. You guys look weird talking about something that hasn't happened. Yeah, um, and look, sometimes, sometimes I'll we'll delete a message and engage and be like, don't do that. Don't be that person. That's just shit, you know? But then there are, it, it occasionally gets to the point where people in chat start having a conversation about what's happened and how bad it is and how this person's an idiot and blah, 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 blah. But then the whole, as I said before, the vibe of the stream plummets it's not it's not good um so it's kind of 
there have been a few occasions where I've had to kind of say, hey, stop giving them attention. Please stop talking about it. Move on now. Thank you. And then people have. Because, you know, vast majority of people are respectful and they understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. Uh, but yeah, giving trolls attention. If, if someone's coming into a stream of this kind of size and dropping that kind of stuff, it's because they want attention. Very specifically. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, some troll message is just plain funny. Sophia plus mods will acknowledge it between ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mod chat. Get a screenshot of something being like, what is this? Uh, sometimes it's the goal of the bad post is just getting chat mad and then they leave. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And we don't want to give them what they want. Like, if you, if you send them the message that they are not worth spending the energy on, that's what's going to, like, irk them and get them upset or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, I like. I try not to engage with them too much anymore, just because like ugh. we don't get very many though, which is nice. Like, I think I'm at that nice sort of spot in terms of my size, like the size of the stream and stuff. That there's enough people here that people are afraid to post stuff, but there's not so many people here that there'll be this massive chat outrage for half an hour that I can't control. So we're in that kind of awkward space where they're not really going to get what they're looking for here, uh, which is I'm not I'm not upset about this. Oh, I can just why am I? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, it feels my petty soul knowing that just ignoring them is causing them psychic damage is brilliant. Not sure if any trolls have gotten any of us mad lately, more like confused or we laugh it off. Yeah, it's just like I think I think that trying to insult me or i think they're trying to make a sexual comment uh i, th I think yeah they've just most of them lately have just been bloody terrible uh but that's okay we yeah, we have seen that the um the bots posting about purchasing follows subs and primes um are getting smarter they don't post the, the link anymore. They post it with spaces and then like, you know, take out the blah, blah, blah to make it a link in brackets. It's like <sighs> to get around link protection in streams. You're still being highlighted as a first time chatter. We're going to pay more attention to you. Dumbass. Like <laughs> there was there was an attempt, correct? Don't know, we kind of got near massive chat outrage on the makeup guests tonight. Yes, that's because I am a troll. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Though technically not trolling, just giving an opportunity to to have some fun, and fun was had by most, I think. Speaking of, Amazer hasn't been one of them tonight. There hasn't been for a few days. It's been a couple days since I saw I've seen one. Uh, okay, so we're doing mythic this time. Zam, I just got comfortable. <laughs> I suppose you're right about that. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it's interesting. Certainly interesting. Maybe Twitch is really cracking down. Look, I mean, maybe. I mean, there have been times where I haven't seen the message for two minutes or a minute. And when I've gone to report them, it already has accounts suspended in the, in the pop-up box. So it's like it's certainly a thing that's happening, but um, I don't know. I think there's just so many accounts that they have that it's kind of difficult for Twitch to real like how do they prevent that from happening, you know, without accidentally catching innocent accounts in the crossfire and like all that kind. Of, it's not, yeah. I I understand why it's it's not as not as easy as it might be kind of thing, but uh. Yeah. As long as I continue to have awesome mods, we've got nothing to worry about. Try my fave. Brilliant. Be back called ask for help. What can I do? Now post your check, please. <laughs> oh fuck. Um I mean nowadays you can just click on someone's name and hit follow. It's pretty simple to get others to do so without spamming a chat. Um 
Uh, yeah, that's a very recent change. That's like the last couple of weeks um, in preparation because that, that follow button used to say add friend, uh, but they're phasing out friends. Uh, so they've also gotten rid of that button because there's no point adding a friend right now. So yeah, you've got follow instead. But yeah. The problem is all of the words that they use, because I now that they're getting around the link protection, I would still love to be able to have them auto timed out by the bot, but I'd need to figure out which of the words that they use can't be used in a uh, like a genuine manner, you know? So like, yeah, it's, and I'll have to see another one to be able to do that and figure out what the actual website is called or something like that. But even still, right, when they post that kind of stuff in a channel of my size, they're not expecting me to buy stuff. They know I won't, because I've gotten this far and I haven't broken toss. They're, they're not expecting me to do that. What they're expecting is that some of those people who are watching are content creators themselves, who maybe they're smaller, or maybe they're struggling, or maybe they're unhappy with their growth, and they'll see it and go check it out. They're not targeting me. They're targeting you guys. Which is why when I see that stuff pop up, I always have a little quick chat about why it's a really fucking bad idea. A really, really bad idea. <clears throat> when are you expecting to see one? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm awesome or so I'm mod, some mod in awe. No, you are awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Twitch listener fears you mentioned never claims. Yeah, the run stream is a Twitch as a friend. Oh, I don't know them well enough. I do claim them as colleagues, though, a lot of the time. I just, it's always awkward saying, yeah, such and such is my friend. And then they're saying, oh, are you friends with such and such? Like, oh, not really. And it's like, okay. <laughs> you know, awkward feeling. All right. I did not get the boots. Off we go. Would also be lovely if the design of the trolls are gone. No more trolls forever. Oh, wouldn't that be great? That'd be great. Why 50 tunes? Uh, originally, Motrax, because of uh, Lovers in the Air. I wanted the Heartbreaker, the mount. And uh, so all of them are 50 plus. And uh, what's it? Um, so they could get, so I did 50 attempts every single day for the 15 days. 750 attempts and I still didn't get the bloody mount. But that's fine. It's also a full account. That's as many characters as you can have on one account. So I had a full account of tunes to throw at the Heartbreaker. Um, today I'm doing 50 tunes against Cathedral because I have a spreadsheet that shows me, uh, which, like, what transmog I have from what dungeons and raids and stuff, and Cathedral of Eternal Night on Shaman is currently my lowest percentage completion for, uh, for getting transmog. Uh, so I thought, you know what, bugger it, I hate seeing Cathedral continuously coming up on this list because I don't, like, in terms of farming it for transmog, it's quite difficult. Uh, because all my tunes are 50, so they're not quite high enough. Some of them struggle with Mythic. And uh, because you can only do Mythic and Heroic, then you can't farm it endlessly until you have all the transmog. It's frustrating. So I thought, bugger it, let's throw them all against the dungeon and see if I can't completely get it done on as many classes as I possibly can in terms of completion. Uh, we're going okay. We're going okay. I mean, we're halfway through and we're almost done with male wearers in total, which, I mean, I'm happy with that. Uh, why did I run out? I could have just halved. I don't have to do another difficulty. I'm an umpty. Good. But well, welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, I feel when she sees the bad bots. Yep, yeah, correct. And hello. Yes, hello to you too. Um, why Cathedral? And I probably asked before. Yes, that's why, Jericho. That's why. Um, because it's annoying. And because it's my lowest percentage, I'm like, bugger it. Let's get it done. Let's finish it. And I'm not finishing it, but I'm doing pretty well. Um, when I started stream, male wearers, let me say that uh, properly, male wearers were at 35.71% completion. I believe they're now at like 80 something. I don't know, I have to check when I log in again. Uh, what sheet can you see that on? It's actually a spreadsheet I built myself. If you type exclamation AT dart, it stands for all the dungeon and raid things, AT dart, uh, you'll get my spreadsheet. It's, it's publicly available. Uh, you can up into the file menu and make a copy if you want to have a fiddle with it for your own use. Uh, but yeah, it's one that I made all by myself. It's a big one. 
let me, because I can see four of you now looking at it. Let me expand all these categories out for you so you can see. And I, I wrote this by hand. Um, so I, I input everything by hand originally. And then one of our community members who now has a VIP badge because of it, uh, <laughs> one of our uh, community members, Jack, wrote an add-on for the game that you press a button. I'll show you. Here's the add-on. You click Alpha Dungeon and Raid Progress Dump and it does this, right? It has this whole big long thing, except I need, you need to have ATT open for it to work. Fear. Um, so you slash ATT to get your data and you have to refresh it a couple of times because ATT doesn't get it right the first time. Um, but if you refresh it a couple of times, the numbers will stop moving and you'll be right. Uh, there we go. And then you click your Alpha Raid and you see all of these numbers that it's added. You can then highlight all of that and copy it. And then you can jump into the test data tab and you'll see all the data and that's a dump. So then you paste it in there and then the 12C test tab pulls that data. It has to have the right name, but it dumps it into that spreadsheet to show you the first column is how many items you have. The second column is how many items there are. And the third column shows you what percentage you're at. Uh, the top, the very, very, very top under each, uh, they're all color, class color, uh, the class colors, they're highlighted the cells. Um, underneath that is the total we have, the total you can get, and the total percentage. And then the total at the top is literally everything. The overall percentage, 12 classes, everything from classic to legion, dungeons and raids. And then all the way down the bottom where you see Cathedral of Eternal Night, Pieroa 35.71, that is the lowest figure, the lowest percentage from the entire sheet and what class, what character and uh, dungeon or raid it is. And then at the bottom of each column where it says, for example, for Fiamma, um, down the bottom it says dead mines, 70%. That is my lowest completion on mage is dead mines and it's at 70%. So yeah, it's a beautiful spreadsheet. I love it very much and I very much appreciate Jack for all of his coding because... Uh, he took it from a spreadsheet, an awesome spreadsheet, to a magic spreadsheet. And we love a magic spreadsheet. We have a we have an emote, a follower emote, for uh, for spreadsheets and how much we love them. It's Fiamma Sheets, if any of you are following. You can drop that straight in chat. It's awesome. I love it so much. I love spreadsheets. They make me happy. <laughs> they make me so happy. Um, but I'm now on 85.71. So I've gained... So it was 30, 35.71. Now it's 85.71. We've gained 50%. We've cleared half of the dungeon today. Um, Paragons of the Claxi bugged again. Ooh, yeah, you got to kill them real slow. Like, really slowly. Welcome to chat. Yep. <laughs> that was meant to be an exclamation. Yes, welcome on in, Neats. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Welcome to my, my, let me, yeah, thank you for letting me nerd out. I love that. That's great. I'm very happy about this. Um, Canada as well, in the same boat, found myself weaseling into my vocab now. That's it. Oh, Numpty! Yes. Yeah, Sheba's been calling people Numpties for a bit now, just, and I'm, I'm claiming responsibility. Influencer. Uh, Zam, Ali, Death, Demon, Litter, Zalp, Meaty, Fade, and Dunro. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done! Good job. Boss defeated. I hope you all got fantastic scrolls and large amounts of things. Uh, we're gonna go for the skin chest. It's a great word. I also love Muppet. Muppet is a good one. Muppet's a good word. Hello. There was a leaf in the vegetable. A leaf in the veg- Ooh! Thank you very much for food. I think I've overflown Cathedral. Oh, I haven't. Okay, but I'm about to. You're about to run into it. You can't I fly am. past it if you're gonna hit it. <laughs> true. Very true. Baby Did I hear my name da, earlier? Da, 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 da. So I didn't hear you. There was a baby jazz going. Did I hear my name earlier? Probably. I do talk about you a lot. Yeah, it was a jazz lock. Yeah, that's also fair. How are you? Making bubble tea. Yum! I love bubble tea. It was conquering Scandinavia. Then conquering was... Scandinavia. Good. I got really, really lucky with artifact making. Yeah. And I have, I have a purple quality axe. Ooh. With, uh, I think it was twelve prowess. Well done. And like. 
16% night effectiveness is really have engaged the Legion on the ground bad. Floor. And then I got like 16 prowess purple quality armor. Jesus. <laughs> I was like, hmm, oh. <laughs> no unkillable. <laughs> well done. Nicely done. Do artifacts alone give me more prowess than anybody in the game ever has? You know you're not going to catch the plague though instead. You may not be able to be killed in iron combat, but you're going to get the... The axe gives it. I'm, I'm aware. Um, sorry? The axe gives disease resistance. Good. Fantastic. Um. I like you. Thank you. Yay for bubble tea! Right, for God's sake, I'm coming back. Um. Alrighty. Cool. What did I have? This one. That's what I wanted. There was a reason I was on this screen. Uh, battles won. Awesome! It's the last one! I'm so happy. That's brilliant. I'm gonna place two more centurions and then okay, cool. Wonderful. Um this one. Good. Okay. It looks nice. Thank you. I like my I like my spreadsheets. My condi I, conditional formatting. It's always, always a friend. Love it so much. Muppet. Never dig, not in a cruel way. Exactly, exactly. Done, Kaz. Nice, Kaz. 350 coins. Brilliant. Uh, did you say that copy item was... Uh, oh, I did not. I did not say. Uh, crap, I forget what it's called. I know Jack wrote it. Is it just table data? It might just be called table data. Um, but the add-on author is Jack Spratt, so that might help you find it as well. Uh, I love collection so much. Doing ATT and collecting boy dance, yeah! <laughs> oh dear. Um, how would you go about finding people from Mythic Islands, custom LFG, some Discord, guilds, friends? Um, uh, all of the above. All of the above. I think you're most, uh, effective- well, you can do them solo. You can queue for them solo now, you just have to talk to the person rather than the table. Um, but if you need help going through them, your best bet is probably friends. Uh, like people who you know also want to do islands. Um, sitting in the group finder is not probably going to get you very far because people can solo them now. Um, and so they don't look for other people to come do it, they just do it by themselves. And if they can't manage to do mythic, they'll do heroic instead. Um, uh... I don't think there are any group... I know, like, Perky Pugs is one that allows you to look for group content, but if you can solo it, you can't use Perky Pugs, and because you can solo Mythic Islands, they won't let you look there either. They can... You can search... In, you can, like, post in their chatter pugs, like, their chat channels asking, but you can't post an official looking for group post, if that makes sense, with pings and stuff. Um, so, yeah, you probably... Your best bet is to just queue solo, to be honest. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, want to support fear? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers. It makes a huge difference to them. Surprising, but true. Fear has just hit, uh, just recently hit 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and visibility, bleh, not visibility, visibility and therefore uh, increased opportunities for sponsorship. Uh, so you can find all my profiles at the link that uh, Seeker has posted in the announcement there. Uh, you can also scroll down underneath the video player and to the right on the About Fiamma bar, um, you can find the links there as well, if you so desire. Looking forward to catching you on the gram. Love that. Uh, hello, Boot. Group back there looks a dad overwhelmed by his children. Yeah, look a little bit. A little bit. A leaf? No, I know, right? A leaf. It's, this is fine. It's probably just spinach. Um. Is that fear man? Huh? Oh, that's Jas. Um, yeah, he's my roommate, best mate, head moderator. Yeah. He's awesome. He helps me out more than he will ever know. 
I mean, he's got some idea now of how much it helps, but um, like, I don't think he'll ever quite grasp just how much he helps me. He's pretty awesome. He's also the bearer of bubble tea occasionally, and we like that. I have to tell you, monster order. Every two best you say. Ah, oh, fantastic, Ali. That was you. I got an email. It doesn't. When I went with affiliate programs, I never find out who or where it's going. I get none of your personal details, but it does tell me that an order's been made, how much it was, and what my cut is, so that I know that I'm not being cheated out of like commission. You know. So yes, I saw, I got an email today that someone had placed a relatively large order and I was like, ooh, hope they enjoy. So there you go, I hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy. It's funny that you call it a monster order because um, my last few orders have been 500 bucks. <laughs> but you know, it, mm, yeah. <laughs> it's also part of my business. Um, and because I create content with it, and because I use it to sell product, I can also claim it on tax. Yep. <laughs> Claiming bubble tea on tax. What is my life? Ah, uh, just dominating all the European regions. There was no regret. Never regret. Delicious. You should grab. Very exciting. Absolutely. Literally one of everything. So good. So good. We usually go for like the 40 packs of a couple of flavors. Um, or like the 40 mix and match, so you get like 20 of one and 20 of another. If we want some more variety. And then we get like a bunch of those. So <laughs> See your food delivery around and thought popped in my head. How common is it to eat kangaroo meat in Australia? Uh, not super, super, super common. Uh, but it is available in like supermarkets and stuff like that. It's just not one of the, like, you know, you have like beef and chicken and pork and lamb. And then you have like duck or um, veal or kangaroo. Like it's not not as common, but it's also not like unheard of and delicacy and blah, 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 no. Yeah, they're a pest, so. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's readily available. Really? It's ready, readily available here. Maybe there's more kangaroo farms in Queensland or something, um, but it's like, you can get kangaroo mints at Woolies. It's not, it's not eaten like beef or, or chicken is, but it's, it's still fairly readily available. Fairly. Um, very tasty though. Yeah, it is good. And it's very, very lean, very low fat content. Very low. Um, not all the pearls, but all the tea. Yas. Ethereal. I can do that. Oh, so my bedside boy town's not having it with me tonight tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be better. Fingers crossed for you, romantic. Have a lovely night, and we'll see you next time. There we go. Catch you soon. soon. Yes, absolutely. See you then. Uh, they're indeed really tasty. Yes. Yeah. Take all. No worries, Welsh. We'll see you next time too. Spinach. I like spinach. Bubble tea, yeah, by the way, I'm a bubble tea affiliate. Um, and you can use code Fiamma for 5% off your order and I get 5% commission. So, mm, tasty. Uh, where's the ethereal? There it is. There we go. Thanks, Tina. Want some of Of course, of course. Lean back, I miss the u mate, that's okay. Eat the big rats, correct? Correct. Um, they're also big pests. They are. They are. Are you a kangaroo? I'm most of the mascot of Australia. How could you eat that? We also eat emu. And both of them are in our coat of arms. They're native Australian animals, but kangaroos are also pests. Like, they destroy crops and, and all sorts of horrible stuff. Like, yeah, no, they're pests. There are way too many of them. Um,. Just trying to indicate all for me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do a couple of as soon as some idea of this. Okay, yeah, no, it's not, it's not like as common as eating cow. Yeah, no, definitely not. Wait, what am I doing? Where's my brand new shiny diamond master? You know, deep. Because nums! I'm like trying to eat eating pandas. Ah, uh, I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not quite. I should remember Scotland as unicorns, I think they became extinct. <laughs> You also go as well, so you get in your sausages. It's a great to make shoes. Can 
pandas aren't endangered, though. No, they are not. They do. Oh, yeah, good point. Pandas are endangered, aren't they? But yeah, kangaroos are very much not endangered. Very much not. Um. WTF is this? Uh, I don't know. What we'll define this? This is amazing, yeah? <laughs> Perfect. Well, I have to turn off now because the time is up. Um, um, there we go. Complete. Thank you very much for the redemption. Wonderful. Seriously, kangaroo numbers have been so dramatically impacted by colonization, putting water where it wasn't before, leading to green areas and plague proportions. Yeah, it's been... Is it one of the, the rare circumstances where human intervention actually increased the population of an animal? Um, it doesn't happen often, but it does sometimes get out of control. Animals suffer as large numbers mean they can't live healthily. Yeah, because there's it's kind of, you know, overpopulation. Too many creatures, not enough food, not enough habitat. Um, kind of how humans are going. It's morning, love. Need to be cold. You know how to use that. You basically become the auto tuner. Oh, you're talking about the voice. Yeah, so I have a blue microphone's Yeti X World of Warcraft Edition microphone. And it comes inbuilt with some voice effects uh, that are based on characters or creatures from the Warcraft universe. Uh, and that particular one was called Ethereal. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. You can type exclamation voice to see a list of them. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a voice effect built into the microphone. Really cool, hey? Uh, I like to live in the west part of Australia. It looks really nice there. There you go. I've uh, never lived on, uh, never lived on the uh, on the west in the west, but um, the east is definitely more heavily populated. Uh, but most of Australia is actually pretty beautiful, honestly. Um, it's definitely a lovely country. It's just, yeah. Excuse me, backup corruption. <laughs> Anything doesn't work out, rapper. Oh, good lord. Excuse me. East looks boring. Oh, each to their own. So it was beautiful when that first time last year it was amazing. East is where most stuff is, yep. Most of the humans, most of the buildings, most of the uh, capital cities, all that kind of stuff. But also most of the ports, like most of the actual built up usable ports and stuff like that. And the, the port towns that are built up around them. Uh, and some of those are absolutely gorgeous as well. But as I said, each their own. Uh, probably not a fantastic idea to just, you know, go around insulting people's homes, but... You do you. It's a cool down of voice. An hour. Gotta keep your eye out for it. <clears throat> mm, so curious what makes an area look boring. I'm guessing it's probably something in reference to the buildings. Uh, you know, the fact that it's buildings and not nature or something like that, but um, who knows. Sleeping kangaroos. <laughs> Okay, this boss best give me my boots. I swear to god <laughs> Can we insult a sea slugs home though? I mean, are you trying to insult the sea slug as well? Uh, I asked earlier not sure if you replied. Are you doing it on mythic and are you doing it solo? I did reply um, I said yes. Oh, I said no to begin with to the heroic uh, to the mythic because I was currently do at that time I was doing a heroic I'm not sure how many of my tunes are mythic capable because this is legion and most of them are 50 which is only a few levels out um but yeah of course I'm doing it solo this is legion content it's two expansions uh yeah two expansions old now um uh but this is on mythic now yeah because the heroic bosses didn't drop what I needed so I'm giving it a try on mythic 
I just remember, I don't want to spare. I want boots. Please, Agronox, give me the boots. Very attached to uh, slugs. Good, brilliant. Please, boss, give boots. Correct. Nah, no boots. I'm pretty sure I know, right? Never insult a sea slug or its own, personally. Perfect. Alright. Uh, how many... How many is that? That might be four out of the eight on Mythic. So, platonically, respectfully, love the almighty Shibasu. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I can't even choose root options in video games. I feel that in my soul. Sea slugs are homeless, otherwise they would be sea snails. That's cute. One, two, three, four. Yep, so that was my fourth. I have four more attempts to get these boots. I'm really uncomfortable with sea cucumbers. Oh. <laughs> Romantically and disrespectfully love the Shiva. Oh dear. Oh dear. I remember playing with them in the water as a kid. The texture is rank. Chat be weird. Yo, I'm going back to cooking. I mean, yeah, but like you're a part of chat, Jas. So like, what do you expect? Oh, free for all's available again. <clears throat> Why can't I do that right now? Teleports the cast to Dalaran. Why not? So I've done something silly with Dal, I think. Because I can't... I can't hearth to Dalaran with this Dal hearthstone. <laughs> ah, Jasmine's chat weird. Don't they literally shit out their entire guts as a getaway maneuver? I mean, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Just makes chat weird. Confirm wasn't weird until Jess dropped off food. Well, that is odd. Yeah, it's really weird. Really weird. I'm guessing it's because I've done part of a quest chain in Dal and not the rest or something. But yeah, it's really weird. That wasn't spinach. That was a broccoli leaf. It's not a random. So we've got steamed veggies and it's broccoli, cauliflower, and carrot. It was a broccoli leaf. You can't do that right now. Can't use Dalaran Hearthstone. I'm on a shaman. Oh my god. It's, sh it's a shaman problem because the opening thing specifically involves thrall. And so you have to, as a shaman, you have to interact with thrall to flip a trigger, apparently.
In short, out of all these classes, Paladin, Hunter, Shaman, Rogue, Death Knight, Monk, and Druid, only the Shaman has to do the ex start of the X-Pack scenario, Vulgin's death, Demon's attack in the funeral, then going to Dal to unlock their artifact and Dalaran Hearthstone usage. Every other class can simply go through the portal in Orc Stormwind, fly to Dalaran, get your Hearthstone, and it'll work immediately. I only have these seven classes, or other classes might be like the Shaman. I, can, I just can confirm if they are or are not. It's a code flipping issue. None of my other characters had any direct involvement lore-wise with anything in Legion up to Dalaran and the artifact weapons. Not a paladin, blah, 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 blah. but a shaman, my character where the artifact weapon and Dal Hearthstone would not work, involves direct involvement with Thrall. The reason the Hearthstone and artifact weapon quest would not work is because they most likely are linked to a program flip. Thrall does X, so trigger Y happens, repeat, repeat. I know this because once I did the start to Dal, both Thrall and the Hearthstone started working. That's fucking hilarious. Spaghetti code! Um, right. Where are we? Uh, Geoducks are weird. Only level 50 plus make the Legion version. Oh, first June 2021 is not how it was intended. Yeah. Of course, apparently. Yeah, the other ones didn't, though. The hunter didn't, and the hunter's never been to Dal. Tune in for our state for the leaf analysis. I'm amazing, Grim. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Ah, uh, can you still pick up a red crumb in Org Storm? I'm assuming so. I'm gonna go check. Raid 404. I was like Hearthstone 404, but no, it's fine. Just being weird, apparently. Also, sheep of being sheeps and seek of being new at mod, as one does. Yes, as one does. We stay for the leaf analysis. There's a whole ass clip of me holding a leaf up to the camera because I was trying to, f I was struggling to figure out what it was because it tasted so strong. It was kind of entertaining. Just, just a little bit. Uh, broken shore. Can't do that. Where's Nazgrim? Can I use it now? No. I'm gonna need this later, so I might as bloody well. Um, I mean, isn't thrilling. No welcome to chat, by the way. Hello, hello. Second time this week, oddly enough. I know, right? Like, it's not like it's a common thing, but somehow, yeah. Hi, the sun well. Blood and thunder. Ah, oh, dearie me. Strength. Dearie me, I missed that. Wait, what was that? Uh, and you with the resub. Thank you so much for your ongoing support and generosity. Thankfully, I got woke up from a nana nap to find you on 21 months. <gasps> My god, 21 months. And anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. Did you... You should be able to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Climb kind of cucumber. Definitely creepy. Apparently tasty. Clip no longer exists. Can make a new one maybe? Oh, no, no, no. It's totally fine. It's okay. It's all good. Um, This one. You there. Complete quest. This quest, turn in for in the blink of an eye failed. This quest's unique reward already exists in your inventory. Remove it to complete this quest. I love that it's so like verbose and precisely telling me what I need to do. Fantastic. All right. Hokey dokey. Let's go to the to bleh, Let's go to cathedral. Uh, mythic. I really hope I can actually do this on Mythic. I mean, we should, I should be able to, should be fine. Uh, you! Yep. It's not what you're to delete it. I mean, it still exists! Oh my god, that's hilarious. I'm assuming that's what you meant, Shiva. So there you go, you're welcome. <laughs> Correct if I that is, she walks off slapping sword in hand. I don't need you or a duck more inappropriate. I agree, more like a horse clam, maybe? Oh god. It's fine me work with my health issues, feel awesome. Aw, thank you, Enyo. I'm so glad. Like, of all the things to inspire someone to do, being as healthy as they possibly, like, they individually can, is a bloody good one. So, thank you. That's so good. So good to hear. Ah, oh, yay. Ugh, sniffles. You here, through the portal. Give me your boots. Please. 
It's the last thing I need. Last thing for the male wearers. Just a pair of boots. Just, have engaged the just a pair of boots. No boots, only sad. No sad. I don't want sad. I want boots. No. <laughs> just being a meanie bottom. Please, boss man, give me the boots. Exactly, exactly. When I get up to that platform where the boss is, y'all need to start spamming Fiyama RNG. RNG Jesus? RNG. I think it's RNG Jesus. The emote. I need to know my own emotes. This is bad. I can't change all the things. Yes, Enyo. Yes, absolutely. We need to all, everyone needs to pray and chat to RNG Jesus. Once we get onto that platform to have those boots drop. Yep, that's the one. It is RNG Jesus. Perfect. <clears throat> all the panic. All the panic. Cross toes, hold breath, pass out. Yep. It's a bit that way, hey. A bit that way. So busy begging for invincible. It can work for you too, though, meaty. It can work for you too. All the prayers, all the prayers to RNG Jesus in chat. For meaty and I to get what we need. We need to scrap that last one. <laughs> Jesus helps those that help themselves. I am helping myself. I have eight characters who wear mail. I have four shaman and four hunters, and I'm running out on all of them. I'm doing everything I possibly can to get this thing. I'm helping myself as much as I can. I need RNG Jesus to put that little bit extra in for me. Just just push us over that line. Seeing the explosion on screen. That too. It's it's awesome. It's awesome. Hmm. <laughs> Wrong! <laughs> oh god. Alright, here we go. Spelling things correctly in the stream is illegal. Look, only because I keep messing them up. Refer coas. <laughs> Words hard. Correct. Correct. Okay, let's see. And the coas. There's also a Fiyama coas emote. I think it's a follower emote. Alright, here we go, guys. All those RNG Jesus spam prayers. Come on, do it. Flood flood the screen. All the emotes. Let's do it. Here we go. RNG Jesus, hear our prayers. Give me the boots. Give fear boots. It's the corruption fused stompers. Put them into my bags. Please, RNG Jesus, hear our prayers. Gib boots. Corruption fused stompers into my inventory. Right now, let's do it. Let's go. Drop the stuff. Give us the boots. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Give me the boots. Give me the boots. Give me the boots. Ah! Pfft. That's an artifact relic. I don't care about those. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I hate you. Only sad. No sad. I want to be sad. No boots, only sad. <laughs> I want to be sad. No boots, only sad. I'm going to make so you only sad, only sad in a second. Yes, please. I like bubble tea. But there's your cup, yes. It's also no needs a wash. Sad. Why keep, Why'd you keep jinxing it? Why? Because eventually it'll drop and I'll be wrong. There is no guarantee that that will be the case. <sighs> Little shit. Uh, 
Uh, you were able to do clips as well, Jazz. There's a little, like a, you know, the movie clack kind of, yeah. That, that button gives you, you, you make clips like that. It's a thing. Thank you for all of the prayers, Eula. Thank you for all of the spam. But, uh, unfortunately, you made the boots. Why, Sheebs? Me first. <laughs> I demand. Jazz burn. Blame a mod. Oh, we are absolutely blaming Jazz for that. 100%. <laughs> Bubble tea makes everything better. It does. Like, it really does. <laughs> for stuff. I have to go compete again. Hey, that's awesome! Phone too hard. Ah, oh, is there not a... Oh, I guess it might be a bit trickier. Yeah, fair enough. Oh uh, dear. Sorry, I had a thing from a thing. Uh, okay. This way. See, this one didn't do anything, and it's a hunter. Um. Good. This is. I need to refresh the page. me either. Oh, meaty. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ooh, bang. Soon. We will both have- oh. Snowy Griffin is supposed to be, um, it was Golden Griffin, wasn't it? There we go. Uh, may I have died here recently? Uh, yes, last night, in fact. How can you tell? There's definitely a perfect hairline. You couldn't possibly see anything out of place. Yeah, last night. I also got my, uh... I bring happiness buff. Fingies. Happiness! Buff. Oh, battle. Thank you very much for bubble tea. Happy buff. Happy buff. Does that mean boots? No. Oh. Does that hit you? Huh? Yeah, you gotta use the straw scrubbers. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> That's alright. Thank you. Sorry? Stop it. Mm. Five new appearances, Meaty. Well done. Well done. Mm. Strawberry milk tea. I've also just realized. Hey, Jazz. Because <laughs> the lids and the cups exchange for the bubble tea. I've got his cup with my lid, Let and he's got my cup with, with his sources. lid. It's funny. No. Silver, Litter, Dunno, Zam, Ride, Tigris, and Meeting. Congratulations to all in ownership. Well done. Well done. Good morning, Venti. Welcome back. Hope you're having a lovely day. What are we saying no to this time? So Turin is on cooldown. On Mythic? No. Everything and anything? Look you. How rude. How rude. Our 
forces have engaged the Legion on the ground floor. We must place the Aegis in the tower Iron Jesus. The first boss of this dungeon. Drops a pair of boots. I want them. Can I please have them? For God's sake. Yeah, what's your matter's plan? Yeah, make a map bad at map making. I mean, I'm sure that there are resources for that, like, elsewhere. Um, there's been a few humble bundles recently of, like, um, like, tabletop resources. Have they had maps and stuff in them as well, or has it just been character and monster things? Because sometimes, I mean, like, while you're, while you're still learning and finding your bearings, you can just use other people's maps and then maybe start adjusting them for your purposes until you get to the point where you're essentially making your own from scratch. No harm in that. Mm, this monkey mood right now, I don't even remember. Really sorry for the sass. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm surprised you didn't comment on the strawberry tea. To be honest. Mm. It was source books was broken. Look, assets for I just don't have a special sense now to put them together. Um, look, asset packs usually have some like examples of how you can put them together to begin with. Um. You can always use them as inspiration, or if you Google the name of the asset pack that you got, you'll find tons of examples that other people have made using that stuff. But a lot of the times, definitely double check the humble stuff, because sometimes, even if it is like a, a source book, like source books and stuff, they will have adjacent products with them. And you'd be surprised how cheap they can get too. Um, especially if you're not buying the whole bundle. If you have a look at, like, you can get all of the things or some of the things or less of the things and it's cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Um, and sometimes the, the two or three bits out of the whole last bundle you want are in the smallest bundle. So you can kind of go for that instead. It's definitely worth taking a look because uh, even if you've got, you know, if you've got a couple, couple of bucks spare, um, because getting them through a bundle like that is going to be like 80 to 90 percent cheaper than buying them separately so if you can at the time it's definitely worth taking a look or even just building yourself a wish list to to see when things come up on sale and stuff for later then you're gonna try it of course of course best of luck Alrighty. iron jesus see that big green tree dude over there he's holding a pair of boots I would like those boots to be mine. They are called corruption-fused stompers. They are wearable by hunters and shaman. I would like them. I would like to have the happy brain juice noises, and I would like to move on to the next armor type. Please, could you see it in the kindness of your heart and your dice to grant me these... Hmm. That noise. These such magical boots. So I can stop doing this. Fine, then be that way. Um. I'm using that sweet code for your share with you to get that wish list going for people to get on board and gift you. Yes, absolutely. Drop it, like putting that kind of stuff. Bundles is a bad idea to put on your throne wish list because they're such a limited time thing. But you can absolutely put the product separately on there and people can grab it for you. Like it doesn't have to be stream related stuff. This is something I had to learn. I have to, I have to remember that it doesn't have to be stream related because, you know, clothing, for I need, I need new clothes. If I put that on there, that's money I don't have to spend on new clothes that I can spend on other stuff to do with stream or, or invest in stream somehow. So yeah, it's uh, definitely a broad, a broad thing. Very good, very good idea, Seeker. Good job. Look, you're remembering things that I don't remember already. You're amazing. Amazing and wonderful. All right, this is my second last chance. And this is my mum's character. This is Purple Heart. So fingers crossed uh, mum's watching over us. And uh, I mean, she's alive. Sorry, to be, she's alive and well. Um, 
but hopefully mum's aura is is present and uh, can grant us these magical boots. Beginning to think these boots don't actually exist in specifically your version of the game. You know what, Shiba? I hate it, but yes. <laughs> Me too. Do trees even have feet? Why would they be carrying boots? I don't know. That's why I think he should just give them to me. Like, he clearly can't use them. Why not? Just, just. You can do that. You can. You can, Lucky. Alternate fear reality for WoW? <laughs> Is what I think about that. Ugh. It's not gonna let me use it, is it? No. That's right. At least I can do the skip. It'll be quick. I'm using it as a root warmer. You gotta be humble one way or another. You so happen to be getting humbled by a tree. Was I not already humble, Shiba? I may be like entertaining and stuff, but I like to think that I'm fairly humble. Sphere humble, hydrate. humble bundle. Affiliated. Anyway, and all those ATT drops lately. Today has been pretty productive so far, but like, come on, that one last piece, like you're gonna hold out on me? Yes, yes, it is gonna hold out on me. That's okay. We've still made damn good progress. Like I'm really happy with how far we got through that. 35% up to 85%? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Get into your head. <clears throat> Snarl. Okay, where's the core board? Here. Heroes of the Alliance, I write to you in Azeroth's darkest. Oh no, wait, I gotta go to the. From the maw of hell, the burning armies of the Legion. Yes, humble. All of the bundles. I've been posting them in Discord as well. Has that, like, uh, do people actually read that? <laughs> um, I've been posting the, like, links to, like, affiliate links to the bundles that Humble have as they have them because I know, like, not everyone wants to be on a mailing list and all that kind of stuff. And I thought just having a quick blurb about what they were Need and help. if people were interested, they can click through and, um, Go with honor. who knows, maybe it's something they'll be interested in. Uh, I have to say, since I've been doing it, sales have gone up, which is fantastic because all of that money, of course, is going towards my dentistry, which means I'm, you know, possibly, maybe won't have to take out a loan towards the end of my treatment. Like, um, it's $23,000 worth of dental work and, um... I'm, I'm paying for it with Twitch stuff, but because it's not all lump sum all at once, I'm kind of like, I'm able to like pay for one thing and then yeah. save up and pay for the next thing and save up and pay for the next thing. Uh, there's, we're looking like if, if, you know, I can keep it going sort of thing, I may not have to take out a loan for my, my last set of treatments, which is freaking amazing. <laughs> Been saving up for a couple of years for all this. So that's pretty awesome. But um, yeah, so it seems to be working, but I don't know if it's like annoying or anything. <clears throat> um, <laughs> is that meant to be a Murloc sound seeker? Yes, this is Fearlock. Want to support Fear? Why not follow on social media? Following is a free way to support streamers and makes a huge difference to them. Surprising but true. Fear has just recently hit 1,000 followers uh, on Instagram, which is a trigger for the algorithm, allowing increased visibility and opportunities for sponsorship. You can find all my profiles in my all my links. Allmylinks.com forward slash Fiamma. Um, there's also an ad playing, so none of the lurkers heard that. Uh, some of the lurkers, not many of the lurkers. Click through on a few. I've been careful. I'm impulsive AF when it comes to Humble Bundle. Me too. Me too. I cannot resist a good deal, hey. Fill out your Discord specifically so I can unsubscribe to the emails. Ah, oh, amazing, Ali. That's so good. I've been doing my best. So I'm, I'm trying to check my emails daily, um, but occasionally I miss a day but because those bundles usually are up for a couple weeks it's it's okay but yeah I'm doing my absolute best so that you can rely on that of course there'll also be some like mellow ones and stuff like that thrown in there occasionally 
Um, but yeah. Um, that's so cool. Yeah, it is like, I am a little blown away, to be perfectly honest. Uh, still going, like I'm, I'm still, still getting there, but um, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Of course, you know, anything could happen between now and my last treatment. So, you know, I may have an emergency for the need for those funds or whatever, but so I won't know until the last thing's paid for. But, ah, Landa! Thank you so much for the donation. Thank you for the tip. So generous of you. Good morning, Lazy. How are you going? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic morning so far. Um, but yeah, so I won't know, obviously, until I pay for the final thing. I won't know whether or not I'll have covered everything. Um, but so far, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Want to chat? Indeed. Absolutely. And just to very quickly reiterate for the, um... That's the other one. Oh, and I don't have that. I, I have that one already, sorry. I learned that one so I can be, I can sell it. <gasps> oh my god, you guys. Um... Just to reiterate very, very quickly for um, those who may have been stuck in an ad when I read out uh, Seeker's announcement. Uh, trying to grow my social media reach, particularly focusing on Instagram, uh, allmylinks.com forward slash Fialma, or you can scroll under the channel, uh, under the video player, and you've got the links there, or you can type exclamation socials in chat and it'll bring it up. Uh, if you're feeling generous. There you go, that one's up for a minimum buy at a 32k, but the region sale average is 8.7k. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nice and chill, yas. Look, we try, we try. So hopefully we'll continue that vibe. It's funny, Aurel uses the monkey so often I associate it with them. It's, um, is that still the turbo ones? Or is that, is that not turbo anymore? The... Because I remember back in the day, oh no, the because you know, the, a smiley face from others, like, because it's just a smiley face, but uh, it used to be that Turbo's default emotes were different from regular viewers kind of thing. But I don't know if that's the case anymore. Ah, sniffles. So I've only got this one and one more tune that I can try on for these boots. Uh, and then I have to move on. But we'll see how we go. Before we move on, I think I also have to update the- Well, oh, actually no, I could probably just update the spreadsheet after stream. Considering that what we do next is not dependent upon the new data. I know what I have to do next is uh, Warriors and Paladins. And I have a feeling they're going to be able to do Mythic just fine, so I might double run each of them from the first from the get-go rather than like going up and then all back down again. Too many loading screens. Too many loading screens. I'm not a paladin. Uh... <laughs> okay, R and Jesus, corruption, fused stompers, gimme. Will 
This is not good. Okay. Interesting. Ah, okay, so it pulled extra... Okay. It pulled trash because it tried to port me to a different place. Okay, so I've got to clear all the trash. So some of my... Like, this is just a level 52. I think this is my first 50 rather than 51. Uh, so that makes sense that that hurt. But reincarn! And now I know. On the flat 50s, I need to clear the whole room on Mythic. It was fine on Heroic, but not so on Mythic. That's okay. If it's with the sheep. Um, it's the... I don't know why it's activating on literally every single encounter I get into, but it's um it's from the Mage Tower thing. Mage Tower week where I got... It's very strange. Very strange. <laughs> Thank you for the spam, Ali. Hey, Sass. Hello, day evening. I am. Thank you so much for hoping. I hope you are too. Hey, Rusty. Thank you very much for the well wishes. This is it. We gotta get the boots. It has to. It has to drop now. After that wipe and the having to clear the room and stuff, it has to drop now. This is it. It's happening. I will crush the life from you. What is this? Is this like a... It's just pulling on me. It doesn't actually do anything. Okay. It's a relic. Ugh, the boots don't exist. Clearly. In before, I get everything on, on uh, a freaking plate, except boots as well. <laughs> oh dear. One more shot. Final one on the hunter. I do quite like this focusing on one instance thing though. It's kind of nice. Maybe they just didn't go with that outfit. <laughs> well, they probably don't. All my tunes except for you are wearing the same outfit at the moment. It's kind of nice having some consistency. Prediction on male boots dropping for first plate character. Kaz, why would you say it? Now you know it's gonna happen. I hate that. I'm gonna cry. It will destroy me. 16 runs, no boots, and then on the 17th on a non-male tune, I, look. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna half. It would destroy me. It's absolutely gonna happen and it's gonna destroy me. I really don't want that to happen. It's going to, but I, I don't, I don't want it. I don't want to have any sets or just equip what I find in my travels. Fair enough. Fair enough. You're welcome. I am not thanking you. Let me be clear. <laughs> oh Lord. Ah. <sighs> Fear turns off computer. Just, just off goes the stream. Fear face plants onto bed, cries self to sleep. Yeet screen out of window. Now nah, there's like a fly screen on there. It won't go. Also, I can't afford to replace them, so no. Ah, <laughs> uh, these boots. These boots. <laughs> Chat turns on Kaz. Oh dear. Bounce back and hits you then, crit hit. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. My idea of frisbee and computer screen out of window is hilarious to me. 
It is hilarious until it's your screen. <laughs> <clears throat> do put that to mythic tonight. Yep. All right, let's do it. Fear needs hearts. Have have the uh, Fiamma sheets. Fiamma sheets. Our forces have engaged the Legion on the ground floor. We must place the Aegis in the tower before our losses. Yes, she Zika. Yes. I can't talk today, Lord. I'm terrible. Is this worse than the Heartbreaker? No, definitely not worse than the Heartbreaker. <clears throat> At least, like, I know the Heartbreaker has a much lower drop chance, though. This is supposed to have, like, a 9% drop chance or something. Super mode Sheep Seeker? I know. Look, I'm sorry. I think my brain sees the S and the sword and kind of, like, I'm sorry. My my genuine apologies. <laughs> I'll get there, I promise. One day, maybe. Back to the no. Do you think Nomi is pansexual? I have no idea what Nomi gets up to in the bedroom. <laughs> I do get the pun. Um, I like it. Do you like it because Jas doesn't? Thank you for the hearts, the meaty. Much appreciated. God, my brain and names today is just not happening. Yes, good, I figured. I figured as much. <clears throat> mm, me, I'm a Pandaren. <laughs> I really like that one. You're adorable. It's great. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, okay. Hey, Rel. No, no, right. This is my last male character. Last possible run. No! Still no boots. <clears throat> no more puns need to be made. 47 to Baxi puns and taste session. I'm dying. <laughs> I think puns are one of the best types of jokes. There's very, very rarely a pun at somebody's expense. And so, do you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not like there's, you're making something or someone or a group of people a punchline or anything. Like it's, it's just a lot of the time puns are just such wholesome humor. It, yeah, I, I like it. Um. Uh, hello. Going out with two of my high school friends now to get deluxe ice cream. Ooh, delicious. Forever or this week? Uh, no, today. Nurse, today. Um, so I would be able to go through all eight of them again tomorrow on Heroic, but Mythic is a weekly lockout, but I'm not going to do that because I don't have time. Um, this is the goal for today, uh, and then we will come back here whenever we come back here later. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> You'll have the best time. Agreed. Yes, male wearers, Rusty. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, male, as in as in male leather plate and cloth. Yes. That's <laughs> um, a little um, pun believable. Last chance for today. Yeah, for male for male wearers. For male wearers. Uh, then we'll be moving to plate. 100% puns are the best hero, especially when it, the best ones hit. And everyone who had just groans in audible distress. Yeah. But it's that groan where there's that, like, smirk on their face at the same time. It's, yeah, perfection. Perfection. It's just when you're welcome. No worries, nurse. They said on bed, the dream was wrapped in limited complaint since. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
Um, I off like from like babysitting and stuff like that. I have noted or have noticed. Maybe it's not the same anymore, but I've definitely noticed that kids seem to hurt less when they can't see the bit that's supposed to be hurt. If they can see it doesn't look normal, then they'll they'll cry and complain and stuff. But if they can't see it, they're okay. Um, for the most part, obviously there are some injuries that go beyond that, but yeah. I'm trying to think of a fish pun, can't think of one. If you think of one, let me know. Lazy! You had us in the first half. You had us in the first half. All right, here we go. Iron Jesus, answer my prayers. Give me the, the male boots, the corruption fused stompers on this character. Not the next one, this character, right now, today, on this kill. Please and thank you. Do the thing, you know you want to, the tree doesn't need the boots anyway. How could he possibly use them? They would be too small. <sighs> On to the plate wearers. Uh, I'm thinking with my coworkers. I write on the information board of Channel Clinship Morning. People love it. Brilliant. Okay, so here would be a badge of honor in no time. I'm sure. Is a jellyfish sad because there's no peanut butter fish? <laughs> uh, best friend hates puns with burning passion. There's my husband's life goal uses as many as he can when he speaks to her. Oh, it's brilliant. Nelf Hunter still has scorpion armor. Ah, from eight years ago. That's awesome. Honestly, most of it also fine until they see the injury too. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a bit strange, isn't it? How how the brains work and stuff. It's funny. Ah, no, death's a thing. Reckon you'll be the other day, so correct too, Rel. Boss was way more bark than bite. Fish strokes a trout of order, no need to carp on about it. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Ooh. Okay. Let's see what we can get for the plate wearers. So we're jumping through Paladin and Warrior now. So this is how I die overwhelmed by puns. I mean, there are worse ways to go. Let's be honest. When you go shopping, have a great shame. Enjoy your shopping trip. See you next time, Sen. Thanks so much for hanging out. Middle Ages was called Dark Ages because they had so many knights. The place for such jokes. Um, go to the pallies. Going check to remember, so true. Okay, cathedral. Man, I'm in good company. Look, I like to think so. I, I'm pretty happy with this community. All right, so we're at oh. 64 to- Oh, it must be because we got a couple of cloaks. Of course. Of course it's gonna push it up. Maybe we do all the plate wearers, so death knights as well. I think that sounds like a plan. Too many plate bits that I need, so that's nice. Right, plate, 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 plate. Literally only all of them, that's fine. I was gonna use that. <laughs> Dated a walk in the other night. I don't want to get into the details, but it was rough. Oh gosh. <laughs> snivel, snivel. Hmm, just playing too coy. Ah, uh, dear. All of you. All of y'all. Alright. Let's get us our... Ooh, good timing. Get us our dollar on Hearthstone while we're on our way.
doesn't necessarily mean that's only what they do, Rose. It's just one of the things they do for fun. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank the light I found you. I must speak with you at once. No. Let me grab. You need something? Yes. I require your aid with a matter of the utmost importance. Like, you're broken. Uh, Tigris, Litter, Landa, Ali, CZ, and Meaty, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shits. Well done. Thank the light I well done. I must speak with you at once. Some of the money when you to him so and bought balance battle pets with that gold. Brilliant. But we must speak immediately. What did. I went and got the wrong way around the door. Shut up, Terusus. Go away. <laughs> oh, I killed a support unit. I had lifting a priest the other day was surprisingly light. <laughs> oh, God. That's awesome. This one. I'm going to call a Discord friend. How are you? Look, not a problem! Best of luck! I can't place a centurion again, so I'm gonna pop down my barbarian. Green beam of death, woo! Tension difficulty. We'll do heroic first, then we'll do mythic, I think. That was a good one. That was a really good one. I like that one a lot. But a Syrian agreed. Agreed. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's go. Heroic onward. And he takes the body worst. I agree. They're they're pretty sucky. I don't like them very much. At all. Spec am I in? Brett, okay. Forces have engaged the Legion on Let's the ground see door. how we go. We must place the Aegis in the tower before our losses grow <clears throat> insurmountable. Oh, this is heroic, right? Survive, of course, this will be fine. Finally arrived. I look forward to ripping those coins from your skull, betrayer. There is nowhere you can flee that mm. I cannot reach you. Oh, the is too low. I can't hit anyone, just miss them all. <laughs> Hello, Ryan. Long time dropper, first time chatter. Well, welcome on in. Thank you so much for participating in our battles. I hope you've had a brilliant time, and I hope you enjoy chat as well. Thanks for coming on in. Well, I haven't yet. Yeah, absolutely. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Alrighty. Come on. Die faster, please. Go. I can skip those ones. What's in there? All right, more more stuff. Okay, that's fine. Probably questy stuff in there, I'd say. I don't have any questy stuff. I just want transmoggy stuff. Can't skip these ones. <clears throat> Maybe like if there's a world quest in here or something, maybe.
than this one. <clears throat> These ones are dying fairly slowly. I'm kind of wondering how it's going to go on Mythic. But we'll see. This is one of my like lower tunes. I mean, none of them are actually low, but this one's probably in terms of gear level and stuff, one of the lower ones. Yeah, 54.81. Not super great, but that's okay. Better in my day and the sun is coming. There you go. Beautiful time to end the day. Uh-oh. Stop that. If it drops those bloody male boots, I am going to be very unhappy. <laughs> very unhappy. Uh, what level are they? 50. But because this is Legion, it's all, all the content's 45 plus. So it's, they're pretty, they're still like green. Like the levels are still green over the uh, nameplates. So it's um, not as comfortable a gap as I would like. It makes the some of the mythic content and some of the higher level raids and stuff just a little bit sticky. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how we go. If Rhett can't take it, then I'll try it on Prot and uh, see if that can survive it. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm 60 broke for animal is nice. What if my tunes? Yeah. But yeah, I've only got the I think I've got six. Six sixties at the moment. I don't remember. But um yeah. But that's right. I'm quite content with my collection of characters at the moment. It's just that some of them have a little like it, or most of the rest of the content is perfectly fine. It's just those very much like late expansion legion bits are a little bit sticky. That's all. <laughs> Money making, ya yeah, seeker. Ya yeah, seeker. Of course, of course, to see what I changed my good name to, quite happy with it. Uh, no. Where would I have seen that? Okay. Well, Agronox is still being in mini pants. At least it didn't drop the male boots, but it, it dropped a bloody relic again. So. Goodness sake. Oh, yeah, cool. Cartel poor. Nice. Nice. I have to actually do the rest of the dungeon. Unheard of. Stay close. We shall carve a path through these demons. Oh, no squigglies, yeah. No apostrophes. <laughs> I've looted a thousand gold on this turn. Fantastic. You there. boss, but I do need to get through the boss to the other bosses. It's a sign. Oh, wow. Big one. Big 
big one. I'm gonna recruit some brokers, make lots of gold. Sounds like a plan. Once you collect them, can you just vendor the transmog? Yes. Yep. They get added to your appearances tab in your collections. And then you can get rid of the actual item itself. Oh! Gone! They gone! Oh no. <laughs> Was it worth it, dude? To have fun. <laughs> oh, no, I lost my coin. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. You could elude me, Illidan. Run again, and I'll shackle you like the beast you are. I'm oh, me sure losing more than that, yeah. My but for mm. now, it's totally do fine. What you do best and follow me. Always totally fine. We've lost. The Legion broke our lives. They pushed us out of the tomb. You're all that stands between them and the Aegis. <laughs> they are coming. Let them come. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> Alright, This hurts. <laughs> this world will belong to the Legion. <laughs> Boots. No, no gear on this run yet. Not a single new piece of gear. I think the dungeon's just broken. I will hold the skies. See to the ages. <clears throat> I'm absolutely not gonna kill this one in time. I'm gonna have to get second phase going, I think. Well maybe not. We'll see. I lied. There we go. Oh, and I got the I got the technique as well. In ages past, this shield defended Amazing. Against madness and corruption. Amazing. Today, it serves those who fight for Azeroth. Um. I'm sure if you turned first streamer, is this you know follow? Now I have a ah, brilliant ride. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying your time with us so much. That you that you'd follow. That's really awesome. Thank you. 
Welcome indeed. Um, hey, Aquain, welcome back. That welcome. It didn't seem to pop on screen. No, follows don't. Follows don't. Um, because we had some really, really, really big ongoing issues with people creating very, very toss-violating names and then following to watch their name pop up on screen. Uh, the lights flash purple, though. They all go purple and then they go back to the normal thing every time we get a new follow. That's what that is. If it's purple, then green, then black. Like, if it's that kind of, that those colours, then it's a raid or a host. But if it all goes purple and then it goes back down, then yeah, it's a follow. Well done, Seeker. Good job. Follow the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nasty peoples. Yeah, look, there's, um, some people just, uh, have an interesting sense of what is considered to be fun. And personally, I don't really want to be, uh, suspended, reported, or banned. Um, for having racist, sexist, homophobic, transphobic, etc., etc. bullshit flash up on my screen. Basically. I think that's fair. Um, some people just aren't as awesome as the lovely people we get to hang with in chat. Look, yeah. I do agree. I agree. There is nowhere you can flee that I cannot reach you, demon. Illidan! Curse that demon hunter. Everyone testing out the host function. <laughs> Um, so you just farm everything in the game? Just. <laughs> just. Uh, not like there's not hundreds of thousands of things to collect. Um, it's not all I do, uh, but it is one of the things I enjoy most, so I do do a fair bit of it, yes. Happy good all lovely people. Agreed. That talks people are bad, bad. Agreed. Agreed. Oh, excuse me. Celebrate the good, don't feed the trolls, and block the toxic toads. <laughs> Love that. Love that. How many mounts do you have? Uh, good question. Uh, 658? I want to say 658, but that could be wrong. Give me just a second. Six- no, I was right! 658. 658. Which is 69.4% of the mounts currently in-game. I guess the cleaning stuff speaks to a very innate human itch. It does, doesn't it? And I definitely have that itch. You were very close, dude. Very, very close. <clears throat> uh, sleepy time in the Great White North. Not a problem, right? Rest well. We will see you next time. Have a gold start of the forehead. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yup. Love that. I'm surprised I got it right, honestly. I need to get to 683 before the next patch, slash before uh, Dragonflight hits, um, to stay ahead of how many mounts they introduce in the game. So if they add seven in a patch, I need to get eight that patch. Not necessarily those seven or eight, but um, I need to get one more than they introduce to like, keep ahead of it. Um, so I need to get to a minimum of 683 um, by the time the next major patch, which will be Dragonflight hits. Um, unless, of course, they add mounts in either the and in either ninety five or um, uh, pre patch or as promotional things. For example, the the Warcraft mobile game that they're announcing this uh, this week. Um, if they have promotional mounts like that, then that'll bump that number up. But at the moment, the current target is six eighty three. Uh, of course, I'm more than happy to shoot straight past that too. We just have to see how we go. Ride right, well to Dreamland. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, 683 mounts. That's insane. Uh, that's how much I'm aiming for, not how many I have currently. Um, at the moment, I'm sitting on 658. So not too far off, but um, not that close either. The insane as a title it is. Yeah, I have, I have the insane title. I was so proud of getting that one. It made me so happy. A few years back now. 
95 will have mounts for raids, Mythic Plus, and PvP, I think. Why would I have mounts for raids? There's no new raid coming. It's a it, it's a mini patch, like it's not a major patch. It's like a quality of life slash changes kind of patch, not a a big one. There is season four, yes, but that's not a raid. Why would there be raid mounts? Was my question. Um, PvP mounts and yeah, Mythic Plus mounts will always there'll there'll be a Mythic Plus mount and a PvP mount introduced, so that's two. Um, but uh, beyond that, I don't know. The, like last last micro last mini patch we had was um, like uh, the Legion, the tower and stuff. So we had a new mount introduced for Legion time walking, and then one introduced for the Mage Tower, um, that kind of stuff. But um, it's not going to be a patch where they add another forty one mounts like they did for nine point two, you know. But why season four doesn't explain why there'd be mount mounts for raids. Have a mount for raiding. You'll need to complete all three raids in normal to get it. What? Oh, a raid achievement mount. Oh. Uh, okay. Weird. They've never done that before, have they? I mean, they do for like, they have in the past for metas and stuff, but that's odd introducing a meta this late in the game. Raids you get mount. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have not been paying attention to the patch notes and shit. That's really odd. They've never done anything like that. That's funky. Regardless, you know. Three mounts. Oh no. How horrible. <laughs> it's not like it's going to be 41. The centers back to raids we've done during the X-Pack before either. No, they haven't. That's why I'm like, why would there be anything new for raids? That's so odd. Um, but hey, I'm not going to complain. That'll be fucking easy to do. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, do you think doing all enhanced raids? Usually every week, one of the raids will have an ethics like Mythic Plus. Sounds like fun in the text. Oh, interesting. To try to keep people entertained who have already finished up with Sepulchre. Given how long we got to wait until Dragonflight. Makes sense. Keeps people going with the sub, but uh, yeah, interesting. Hey, that's something I actually needed. And <laughs> it's an upgrade, brilliant. Awesome source. On to the next boss. Yeah, supposed to make old raids relevant, etc. for season four. Uh, what? Well, they're not supposed to do anything. Um, they've never made old raids relevant before, ever. Like, ever. Um, unless you put, unless you consider adding battle pets to old raids relevant. Um, but no, the, the reason they're doing it isn't, like, the reason they want to make them relevant is because we've got a long while to wait for Dragonflight. People talking about, oh, we could still get it this year. No, we're not. We're, it is not releasing in 2022. <laughs> it's, it's not happening. Um, it was never going to happen, uh, but yeah, this will be to yeah try to keep people placated um, while they do what they have to to get the next expert ready. Time for the shoes. Look, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? That was the boss that was going to drop the male boots, but it didn't, so I'm fine with that. I'm happy getting a new, an actual new transform from it instead. <clears throat> Now it takes sweet time, what time we get that damn gold cap? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just want them to get it right. I just want them to take the time they need to to um get it good. I don't know if it's really cap expansion. It's best to net release it this year, spend this time working on stuff. Well, I mean, no company can really afford to release a crap game. Like, it's going to result in a loss, which is bad, especially when they're a publicly traded company with shares and shit. Like, no company that is publicly traded can afford to release anything crap because their shareholders will tear them a new one for it. Their share price will drop through the floor. They lose funding, etc., etc. Like, it's not... Yeah. Um, although calling an expansion crap is also incredibly, like, uh, subjective. I haven't felt that any of their expansions have been crap. Um, yeah, that's why I'm still playing, because I've enjoyed it. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
hate someone so much. <laughs> they also lost a lot of players due to them not listening to the community. Uh, I think if they lost a lot of players, um, they would have had some bigger problems from Activision. Uh, in terms of, like, actually cutting their funding and not getting another expansion and stuff like that. Like, if their numbers drop significantly enough that they are losing a meaningful amount of money, bigger changes happen. They don't release another X-Pack. They don't double down and try to make things better. They just write it off. Do layoffs and stuff like that, which they haven't done since BFA. So it doesn't really indicate that Shadowlands is not financially viable. Um... <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, gosh. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna place a samples order for my merch at some point soon. Mm. So I can do some promo before PAX. So that maybe I might actually be able to see some of y'all in the merches. So doing the upcoming expansion. They've gone through phases with listening and it, it like... I think the thing is they have been listening, but they haven't been communicating back. Um, they do listen. They absolutely listen. Um, why would they bother having, you know, forums and all that kind of crap if they didn't want to listen? They just close it and end up us, you know, we'd be sent to community. There, there are some companies out there that don't have forums, that don't engage with players in any way, shape or form at all, um, even via social media. Uh, they do, I think they've always listened. They've just been really bad at having a conversation talking back, uh, explaining what's going on and why, that kind of thing. Of course, some of that is going to be because it's trade secrets and stuff like that. They don't want to expose the development process too much uh, because it's part of what makes the company the company. Hey! There you go. Plate boots are done, at least. Um, but yeah, I, I would absolutely wholeheartedly agree that they have been very bad at, at communicating with us. Um, but in terms of listening, I think they listened and just didn't like it. And not, not like as in, I'm not listening because I don't like it, as in like, you know, they're saying this, but that's because they don't understand where we're heading with this, so we're going to keep going, and then they're going to see where we're heading, and then they'll understand. But they didn't say that to us, they just said it internally, and then everyone just got shitty because they felt like they weren't being heard. Um, but yeah, uh, it happens a lot, um, particularly in, you know, personal relationships and stuff like that, but when it's at this bigger scale with this many people talking, and that large an entity that feels like they're not listening but uh yeah i think they've definitely um i've loved like seeing some of ian's uh interviews and stuff with uh creators and whatnot uh, about dragonflight you can see his fire coming back you can see his passion sort of like everything he's done before has kind of been like so this is what we're doing and we're gonna do this and then this is gonna happen and then that's gonna happen and this is going to do a thing Whereas now he's actually having conversations and you can see him get animated and you can see him really engage with the conversation and get excited about what he's talking about. And I think that's a beautiful thing. I have a feeling that when he stepped into that role, he was excited because he's been playing this game since fucking day dot. Like he's been so involved in this since the goddamn beginning. And he was excited and he's like, yes, I can do this. I can make this like, I can make this better. We can take all this stuff. And he got really excited about it. And I reckon the higher ups were like, mate, we get that you're keen, but you need to turn it down because you're the head of this thing now. You need to be like the stoic leader and you need to let them all see that they have this strong leader that can just do the thing and, and facts and blah, blah. And so he turned it back and became sort of, you know, held things back and, Maybe he wanted to say stuff, but he was told not to, and all this kind of, you know, he's being the, the face of it all, but it wasn't, he wasn't able to have that kind of creative control over how he projected himself. And then they're like, okay, that clearly wasn't working, have fun. And he's like, okay, yeah, let's do it, let's talk. And I, I just, I'm loving seeing that come out. It's just beautiful. Like watching other people get excited about the stuff that I'm excited about is just so cool. I like it a lot. He's making some, like, and I, I don't think it's just him. As I said, head honchos, all that kind of crap. But I honestly think that, yeah, this is, it's definitely, there were some thoughts that they had that were wrong and now it's getting exciting and I'm really, really keen to see where it sort of, yeah, where it goes from here. Very happy to see it. Um, where are we? 
Some more expansions get talked bad about, so in TVC, you know, the amount of expansions, some more than others. Didn't, never didn't have fun, I've yet to unsub when I switched she's gold instead of money, yeah! Um, if she did, I said merch. Brilliant! Drew the Xbox I played in, Cat of Burnout was real in our guild. Fair. Totally fair. Um... Plus Kidlet's life work, yeah. I've I've been playing since the beginning of Burning Crusade, so 15 and a bit years. It was like the end of January that I started playing. So 15 and a bit years. I've had a six month break and an eight month break. Neither of them were to do with the game. I had some really big explosions happen in my personal life that caused, well, one of them was a literal explosion. My house blew up, it was great. Um, so I had like, those were reasons that I didn't play, not because the guy thought the game was bad or I wasn't having fun. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've always had fun, but I can understand it, the, the difference, the big difference what I see for me is that I play, that's, a, usually it opens to here. I play so many parts of the game. Achievements in particular, I love my achievements, but like I collect stuff, I, I'm happy to go do quests. I've got 50 characters that are level 50 plus. Um, I've, you know, do all the dungeons and raids, I grind out reps, I do pet battles, I do everything except PvP. Um, so I really enjoy almost, almost every aspect of the game. So if I'm raiding, and then the raid, we finish the raid and everyone stops raiding and stuff, I can turn to another part of the game and keep playing and then another part and keep playing and then another part and keep, even if I get bored of something, I can shake it up and do something else in the same game. Doesn't cost me any extra to go get another game, it's still the same sub, all that shit. I can do something different every bloody day of the week and I'm still happy. Whereas some people, they raid. Some people, they mythic plus. Some people, they PvP. So when they get bored of that, instead of switching to a different aspect of the game, they switch games. Or if there's some kind of change to the part that they like that makes it not as fun for them, there aren't any other parts of the game that they will go and explore because they don't enjoy those. I'm really lucky that I just love most, like, almost all of it. Even the PvP, like, I sometimes I'll. Sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. Um, particularly the uh, transmogs from PvP. So <laughs> the mounts. I want the mounts. One day I'm going to get those king mounts. Whew, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so it's... Uh, yeah, I, I completely understand why other people would step away. And I, I do not begrudge them. I don't think that they're wrong. None of that kind of... No way at all. Like, you've got to play what you enjoy. Time is so precious and limited and valuable. You've got to spend it doing things that you love doing. That you enjoy. Uh, or working so you can pay for the things that you love and enjoy, um, earning cash so you can do so. If you're not enjoying it, like, what's the point? It's a video game. It's supposed to bring you happiness. If it's not, find something else, be it a different video game or a different hobby entirely. But yeah, I just, yeah, for sure. Like, I absolutely understand people stepping away, but uh, I haven't. I haven't had to yet, so that's nice. Uh, Silver, Landar, Joe, Zam, Zalk, and Miko. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Yay! Yay for all of you. Uh, clicky. This one. This one. Hopefully things improve with MS. Uh, maybe, but we won't probably see those changes for, like, literally years. Uh, if it's approved. It still has, uh, until, what, like, mid-year next year, uh, before anything kind of- so they, it's- yeah. <laughs> it's gotta pass all those approvals and stuff, and yeah, it's- it's gonna be a long, long time before we see anything even tiny from our perspective change because of the acquisition. Uh, but that's okay. We'll see how we go. Um, love to see him talk. What sword moment was good was hilarious. Uh, I particularly love the mental image of a whole company going la 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 with fingers and ears though. Clearly not a thing but funny to imagine. Can you imagine how loud that would be, Seeker? Like a whole company full of people doing that? Especially a company the size of like Actabliz. In general, seeing the devs being excited is one of my favorite things. Agreed. Agreed. And like having to shut their mouth because they can't tell us about it. It's like when I'm, you know, I, I love knowing things and being like, guess what guys, there's a thing happening, there's a thing coming, but not being able to tell you. It's so much fun to be able to like, yeah. So yeah, seeing them be able to do that as well. Oh. Shivers. So cool. Like that looks like gave him like they gave him more control. I agree, I agree, which is why I got all excited about it being in now not in in eight years. In Sweden we have a saying going, now you've been shitting in the blue cabinet. And that's what I feel What on earth does that mean, Ness? 
<laughs> I, I'm assuming that there's probably not a very good translation at all to English, but why is there a blue cabinet and what is anybody doing using it as a toilet? I'm very confused. <laughs> what does that mean? I love it. What is the blue cabinet? Uh, Bobby's gone. I think Microsoft will improve the titles. Uh, Bobby's not gone. Okay, to be clear, Microsoft has not done anything yet. They have played, they have said we want to buy them. Activision Blizzard's shareholders have said we would like to be bought, but it has to go through a bunch of like FTC trade regulations and they've got to do a whole lot of research and checks and stuff because this is like um, uh, potential anti-competitiveness because they're such big players in this sphere, all this kind of, like there's a whole bunch of stuff that they have to go through and figure out. Bobby is absolutely still there <laughs> and he will be up until the thing goes through, unless something massively changes before then, or unless I've missed some article where he's oh, actually he left. Um, nope, he's still absolutely the chief, the CEO. He's he's definitely still there. Um, and while they're doing these investigations, chances are he's locked in. There's there's a shut up, Terosus. Um, there's a very good chance that they won't be able to remove him until after everything's gone through. Even while they're doing checks and stuff, any major changes like that is going to set back the acquisition by a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. So, um, yeah. Bobby's absolutely not gone. Um, maybe one of those trans lost in translations. I reckon so. Hey, Hero, how you going? Welcome in. Welcome on in. Left the meat in the stew bit too long. Congrats, it's baby food. Oh, dear. I don't know, saying so it's used to tell when someone made a fuck up. Brilliant. Brilliant. Can I help you? That's hilarious. Off and away. Um right click to sign. Don't bother reading it or anything. Sign this. Continue complete. Alright, so now I I still can't use Oh no, I can, even though it's ranked two. Beautiful. Da 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 Wonderful. That's why I did all that. Um, yeah, must no time for some Googling. Do you tell when you know? Agreed, agreed. Hope you do keep up that interest over time. Oh, how? Is that a how do you keep up that kind of interest over time without getting burned out? I think it honestly has something to do with the fact that I like so many aspects of the game. Um, like, you know, I can I can spend three weeks mount farming and then go, ooh, pets, and ooh, transmog, and ooh, raiding, and ooh, dungeons. And like, there's just, there's so much. This game is fucking huge this game is enormous uh, and there's just there's never anything there's never nothing to do so I think that's probably what's done it there have been times during those 15 years where I was like hooked on something else and so I'd log in once or twice a week and then there are times like now where I'm logging in basically every day um but it's been that everyday thing for a good couple of years now so I don't know it's um I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this like more than two years, like probably three or four years at this point. Um, oh, no, maybe three. I think it's been about three years that I've been logging in almost every day. Obviously there are exceptions to that. Brisbane flooded. I didn't log in for a week. Uh, <laughs> had surgery, didn't log in for a few days and etc. But uh, yeah, no, it's been, I think it's just because I, um, I enjoy such a variety of content. It's like different games, you know, it's the same characters. So I maintain that progress. But mount farming is completely different to pet leveling, is completely different to leveling new tunes, is completely different to doing old raids, is to, to do transmog, and it's like it's just so many different types of content. Um, highly recommend. It's a lot cheaper than buying every game that comes out, let me tell you. Uh, if there's any leftover overcooked stew, makes great pie filling. You're so right, Zarin. Delicious. I know I'm behind on chat, but I really need to go to the bathroom. Um, so I'm going to be right back, and then I'm going to catch up. Rapid fire chat round. BRB. Run away, little girl! Run away! Thank you. 
Alrighty, I don't have a good. Centuries ago, in Sweden, furniture was painted red and ochre as this colour was cheap and easy to produce. Around the 1800s, new production paint and uh, methods enabled the production of blue paint, Berlin Blue. More expensive and seen as more exclusive. Consequently, people use this colour to paint the cupboard, where they kept their finer pieces of porcelain, silver, and linens. That's hilarious. That's amazing. I mean, meat mushroom rice tonight. Some people, they make gold, yes! That explains it, that's amazing. Let's train the same time! I love that! <laughs> Basically ruining the good stuff. But yeah, you, you messed up! That's perfect, yeah. That's hilarious. Definitely gonna use that from now on. I'm gonna forget, but I'll try. Um, isn't it Microsoft Blizzard now? No. No, it like at the earliest it can possibly actually go through is end of June 2023, end of the financial year. Uh, I used to run a WoW RP community, love the RP side of WoW. It's still becoming too raid focused. I've stepped back for a while now. Excited the prospects of Dragon Isles. Yay! Awesome. I'm sure. I wonder if there's like. Like, I'm sure that there are still WoW RP communities out there. They're probably just, like, tucked away in discords and stuff like that, I'm sure. But, like, it, I'm, I guarantee you it'll be out there. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, not quite yet. It's a brown cabinet now. Ew. Ew. Uh, I thought they'd already bought it. No, they they definitely had done the whole like we would like to purchase thing, but because it like when, when it had like it's not like us going to the store and picking up a thing and saying I'd like to buy this bowl, please, thank you, and then it's yeah no very different because it affects like literally hundreds of thousands of people in terms of employees and and shareholders and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, this kind of stuff. No, there there are so many hoops of fire they have to jump through. Um, big business is very complicated. So much red tape. Um, so they have expressed a desire to purchase and the Activision and Blizzard shareholders have voted and they have voted yes. I think it was like 93 or 98 or so. It was in the 90s percentage of shareholders voted yes. Um, so it's obviously, you know, they reckon it's in the company's best interest to be acquired. Uh, but yeah, no, it, it cannot, it, like at, at all, like earliest, I'm pretty sure they were saying it's going to be like June 2023. Uh, which is obviously over a year away at this point. Um, uh, yeah. The cupboard seems to be a direct quote. In these times, population used potties to go to the toilet in, from the potty into the blue cupboard amongst the fine articles was seen as a really stupid thing to do and the expression developed in relation to foolish acts. That's hilarious. Oh, I love it so much. That's so good. Commander, I have a message for you. So in my previous job, my coworkers wasn't happy there and quit. Um, told my coworkers it would become a huge chance. Couldn't tell them what, never told them what I had done, and just packed my shit and never returned. Oh god. I bear an oh dear. Oh my god, please be quiet. Not you guys, the stupid. Yep, the NPCs. The annoying one! There we go. Uh, I'm interesting, I hope you're well. Uh, something for everyone is the game. I honestly feel like there is something for everyone in this game, but there are still people who don't enjoy it, and that's okay too. Can't really control so much what we do, what we enjoy and don't enjoy. Um, I am before Zam. Thank you for the emote only. Very much appreciated. Um, I can tick off the chair stream. Uh, and there's a second one. Indeed, you made a shaman. Well done, Rose. I hope you enjoy playing. That was pretty. Um, can someone help me out? Do I have to pay for Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime or do I link my Twitch to my Amazon account and pay for Prime? Uh, they're the same thing. Um, so Amazon owns Twitch, so you have to link the accounts and then you'll be fine. If it's two separate accounts, it's like you're paying, you're buying an Amazon Prime and an Amazon Prime, which also gives you Twitch Prime. But if it's the same account, you only have to buy it once. Uh, but yeah, hope that helps Clash and welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. First time discovering your channel, proper loving it. Oh yay! 
Oh, that's so good to hear. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> it's, look, I, it, it might seem really, really silly, but as a content creator, like, one of the things you're always concerned about is, do people like me? Like, you know, is is the content you're creating worth watching and, and good and fun and all that kind of stuff? So hearing that you're enjoying it really does, like, makes me feel a little warm and fuzzy. So thank you. <laughs> oh, they could be healers. They can be. I'm sure the Twitch facts could tell you. Um, move on. Uh, my four of my DPS only tunes my second account. You're my room for healers. Love it, Rose. Well done. Go you. Oopsie. Go away. I only need one more thing, and it's from bloody Agronox again. That damn tree, I swear to God. It's gonna make me so angry. So angry. But I only have to do the first boss, and then I can zone out, so this should be a bit quicker, which is nice. I have Amazon Prime link. Surely, fantastic clash. Awesome news. I have an important message from Jennifer Torbane. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Sounds delicious. Uh, Rose and her friend are going to get ice cream. Not, I'm not saying the friend, yeah, look, whatever. <laughs> nah, context, who needs it? Um, I definitely do not want ice cream. Nope, not at all. Honestly though, actually, I think ice cream would probably make my belly hurt at this point. Deluxe ice cream. Yeah, but that's just like, it's still ice cream. Like, <laughs> it's still ice cream. Usually if you have to go out and get it, it's already fancy expensive stuff. Because buying it in a tub from the supermarket is a hell of a lot cheaper. It's true, yeah. Like the tubs of like Peter's vanilla ice cream and stuff. I don't know if Peter's is a brand that you guys get anywhere else, but here in Australia we do it. It's really damn good tasty stuff, but it's also basic bitch. Like it's, it's uh, yeah. Like, like, you know, home brand, supermarket brand ice cream. Yum, yum. A nice test as well to drive in jeez. Uh, unless it's Ben and Jerry's and you better head to the bank for a lot. God, Ben and Jerry's is so expensive, but I love it. What I like even better is Cold Rock, but um, that is just absolutely not worth the price. So I I like I like complicated stuff. Um, I like uh, so for example, using ice cream as the example, ice cream with bits and sauces and chunks and different flavors and swirls and all the yeah. So I I like I do this every time. I like complicated ice cream, complicated flavors, you know, vanilla, uh, it's tasty, but vanilla ice cream is a topping for other stuff. Like you put that on like hot apple crumble. It's not, you don't eat ice cream, but you don't eat vanilla ice cream by itself. Well, I don't. Um, <laughs> so Ben and Jerry's is fantastic because it has all those different bits in it, right? But God, it's expensive. And Cold Rock, um, a Cold Rock, I, a Cold Rock ice creamery is named for the uh, pieces of slate that they keep frozen um, in, you know, very, very low temperatures. And they have a selection of ice cream and then a selection of what they call mix-ins. So you get, and I'm sure it comes, I'm sure many other countries have it and it probably comes under a million and one different brands and that's totally fine. But for anyone who doesn't know anything at all about it, you pick an ice cream flavor or two or three or whatever, and then you pick your mix-ins and they scoop out the ice cream um, and they put it on this piece of slate and they kind of build it up and then put a hole in the middle, like press the scoop into the middle of it to make a hole and then they get their mi get your mix-ins that you pick and they put it in the, in the hole and then they use like spatulas essentially to scrape it and fold it and mush it all around until all the mix-ins are kind of mushed all throughout the ice cream and then they put it in a cup and give it to you and it's delicious and amazing and i love it and it's so goddamn expensive you end up paying like if you if you put in like 
the appropriate number of mix-ins that I like or that you could find in a tub of Ben and Jerry's, you'll end up paying like $15, $16 for a small cup, like a single serve cup of ice cream. It's ridiculous, but God, it's good. <laughs> it's so tasty, but I hate it. Fish fruit is the best, yeah. Fish fruit is amazing. Except I don't like the frozen chocolate sucks. There's not enough flavor in chocolate. When, so when something's cold, your taste buds don't function as well. It take, you need more flavor in something cold for it to taste as flavorful as when it's room temperature. Um, so I don't know exactly how it works scientifically, but I know that it's a fact. So um, ice cream, if you are having ice cream versus that same ice cream but melted at room temperature, the, the room temperature ice cream will taste a whole lot sweeter and a whole lot, for example, chocolatier uh, than thing. So actual like regular chocolate tastes great at, at room temperature and also the texture's amazing. It melts and gets all smooth and silky and beautiful. But when it's frozen, it can't do any of those things. It doesn't taste enough like chocolate. The texture is completely wrong. It's like hard and like snaps and, and just ugh, no wrong. So I don't, and then compound chocolate's even worse. So I don't it's the only part about fish food I don't like. I usually, when I'm eating a bowl of fish food, I take out all the fish. Like if I put it in my mouth and there's a fish, I'll spit it back on the spoon and put it back in the bowl. And when it's all done, I'll let the chocolate start to melt and then I'll eat it. No, I already had that. Meanie pants. Um, so yeah, I'm, look, I'm very particular. I love my food, but I'm very particular. <laughs> Um, still functioning and luck on the drops. Yeah, we're having some decent luck. It's just not on the, the mail boots are right off. I can't get them anymore. I've run out of mail, uh, mail wearers to run it on. So I can't get them today, but that's okay. I'm, I've got, I've only done one plate tune and I've only got one piece left. So that's good. We did well. We did well. That's a popular one. It is. Hope your friend's feeling much better. Yes. Agreed. Ben and Jerry's my favorite. 10 to $12, like 600 mil is cray cray. Agreed. I also dislike this price to volume ratio. Um, so you Gosh, I'm an easy low level to store flame shop on stuff as you run to places they die for free XP. Do you know they cost that much? Yeah, they, well, look, I haven't been to Cold Rock in a good few years because of how bloody expensive it was. So they may have changed the pricing system somewhat, but yeah, back, back when it was bad. Bad connoisseur stuff is about $10 for a liter. Connoisseur is a good, a good medium, but it doesn't have stuff. The ice cream is really tasty. It's good flavors and stuff like that, but it doesn't have stuff in it. There's not enough ripples and not enough like bits. And I particularly like the Ben and Jerry stuff with like uh, cookie dough chunks and stuff. Uh, there was one, there's an almond milk one. It's a, it's a vegan flavor. Cause um, uh, I'm, I, I've never been tested. So I don't want to say that I'm lactose intolerant, but when I have too much milk, my belly is very unhappy. Uh, so I tend to go for like the almond milk ones and stuff because they work. They seem to work better with my personal chemistry. Uh, and there's an almond milk one that is freaking delicious. It's got two different flavors of sauce through it and then like cookie dough chunks and stuff. I don't know. I can't remember what it's called, but it's good. It's good. Um, is that the Aldi brand? Uh, no. Connoisseur is, they do, um, like, tubs of yogurt, and they do ice creams, and they do, it's the one that has the, the scoop, is like, that makes the C. Um, I don't, it's not the Aldi brand. I know the one you're talking about, but it's, yeah, it's not the Aldi brand. Um, the Aldi brand packaging rips off the Connoisseur packaging. Because you know how Aldi brand always rips off a popular brand's packaging? Yeah. Um, that's the one that they're ripping off, I believe. Um, cost us a knockoff. Uh, the Tonight Dough and Cherry Garcia. I don't think you have Cherry Garcia and Oz. Only ever seen it in the US. Uh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. We don't get any of the fun stuff. Cold tomatoes are the worst. Put them warm up before I put them on a sandwich. Fair. Fair. Fancy brand one. Do you have a habit of using similar names? Yes. Yeah. If you say Michelin is connoisseur one, like the oh, crunch they bring makes up the ice cream texture for me. Fair. We must use uh, the Aegis in the tower before our losses grow insurmountable. Mm. The Magnum Star ones too. Fish food. Uh, fish with a pH at the start. It's a flavor and it has little chocolate fish through the ice cream. 
It's a Ben & Jerry's flavor. Uh, it really is Ben & Jerry's. <laughs> flavor Ben & Jerry's. Yep, there you go. Ice cream flavor. A lot of short-coated almonds, I imagine. Has not been tried by you as coffee, correct? Do not want. Thank you, anyway. That's no one with too much milk. Uh, no, I've known people who can drink, like, half a liter of milk every, you know, with every meal kind of thing, and they're fine. Um... I have to go to store. I'm so sorry, Dubak. I'm so sorry. Look, we, we do talk about food fairly often here. <laughs> no gonna lie. This is unironically my favorite brand. Good to hear. Good to hear. I've not... I, I've seen their ice cream, like, everywhere. Uh, not everywhere, but, like, you know, in the thing. My, my dad used to love the connoisseur uh, yogurt pots, um, and they were so rich and creamy. And when I was younger... Um, He'd have them in the fridge and I'd ask him if I could have one because I knew they were expensive and they were his and they were fancy and blah 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 blah. Um, but like when we went to his place uh, on the weekends, uh, mum and dad divorced. So yeah, uh, we'd go to his place every second weekend and I'd say we'd, that's where we'd get the crunchy nut cornflakes and we'd get Cocoa Pops and we had Foxtel and I used to ask him if I could have one of his little pots of yogurt and they, god they were so rich and so delicious. I wonder if they're still as good because this was years ago. But um... But I haven't had their ice cream. I don't... Do they do any dairy-free ones? Probably not, but that's okay. Like... I mean, I could probably still try it. It might actually restrict me from eating the whole damn tub at once. Uh, although we do also have, like, a health food store near us that has, like, Halo Top and stuff. They've also got some... Uh, I think it's called Fit Lato. Like, one word. As in gelato, but Fit Lato. And it's, like, low-calorie... Um, I think it's vegan, but they have some banging flavors. Holy crap. Like apple cinnamon and it's got like actual stewed apple and like crumbles with like cinnamon and stuff all like swirled all the way down. And when you open it, there's like a whole pile of it just sitting on top frozen. Like, oh God, that stuff is disgustingly good. Um, but it's also quite expensive. <clears throat> it's very much a treat. Um, it's not an everyday thing, but good lord, it's so good. So tasty. Um, where are we? Agree, had fun, clear, not fun experience after downing a large thick shake Saturday morning. Um, we went out for breakfast tomorrow, yesterday. Tomorrow? We went out for breakfast yesterday, and I got an iced chai. And as they brought it down and placed it down, Jas has gone, you didn't ask for that to be soy, did you? And I'm like, nope. I got maybe halfway through and I was already feeling really sick and so he finished it because that's what he does with the food and stuff that I can't eat. Um, but it was very tasty. Very, very good. I'm lactose and I don't have IBS. Oh no. Oh no. I need folks. Say it again plenty of times. If lactose doesn't agree with you, please try lactase tablets. Very easy. Yeah, but do you really think I'm going to remember to do that? <laughs> Honestly. So you're solving problems is done wonders for me. That's really cool. That's good though. This you used to use me years ago. Why is this not occurred to me? You know, I just I tend to just honestly go for like replacements of stuff. Cause it's just it's really easy. And if I if I if something is milk based, it's lactose based, I can be like, you know what, if I eat that, I'm gonna feel sick. I'll just not eat that. Um, so it kinda helps sometimes. But that's okay. That's good there for people who need it and stuff. That's really awesome. To just make myself sick. Yeah, look. Look. It happens. Funnily enough, bubble tea's fine. Although I'm pretty sure it's because they use, like, non-dairy creamer or something like that. Because whenever I get one that's advertised as, like, made with fresh milk, that does make me feel ill. Look at that milk massive part of our life here. Hmm, I mean, I still have milk. I just don't have as much of it. And if I'm doing something that requires like a lot of milk, then I'll just have like soy milk or almond milk or something like that. Um, we do, I, I make overnight oats for Jazz and we put soy milk in it. Um, lasts longer than cow's milk too, <laughs> which is really good because we don't like, oof. Yep, it's, it's rough. Um, am I? I am in Mythic. Cool. I need to clear everything. Uh, little Zazamo, do you just set loose? Three milk, things even ice cream too. 
One of my kids is taken to say, Mama, did you have something greasy? You did, didn't you? Or pork or dairy. Seven-year-old is so sensible than I am. That's adorable. And also kind of hilarious. Alrighty. Vambraces of Fell Crust is what we are after here. DPS sort of stalled for a second there. The from you. <clears throat> this breath will be your last That's warrior done. Done. Thank you. Thank you for the grats. I do need to log into a pally just to check. Um, and then uh, a DK as well. But I think that's plateware is done. That's amazing. I'm not a paladin. Uh... I'm not. Thank you for recognizing that. I did do it on one. On one. This is. We're good, we're good. Um, okay, so let's just check the DK. Oh, it doesn't stop from putting mozzarella sticks in a gob. Fucking love mozzarella. So good. So good. And brie. Mm, goat's cheese is good too. Well, that's goat's milk. Slightly different. Um, so a science documentary a little while back said everyone takes milk as children. As adults, there's a small stretch of the world from like Finland to Greece that indulge in it as adults. The rest of the world are less tolerant of it. Yeah, I remember I didn't, like it wasn't in a documentary or anything. I've kind of heard it over the years that like pretty much all adults are lactose intolerant to an extent, it's just some are really intolerant and then some are like mildly intolerant. Um, so I'm kind of glad that it just makes my belly hurt and that it's not like, do you know what I mean? It could be so much worse, so much worse. Ah, silence child, I will make myself horribly ill if I want. I am an adult, I says in my brain, but not out loud. Yep, absolutely. It's not there. Ah! Oh, I'm so happy. That's amazing. I'm just gonna jump on the, uh, pink one to to check that as well because nums indeed thank you for the grats guys much appreciated it's been to be fair i could make better life choices as could i <laughs> i've left over rice pudding think i'll have that and save the 15 i'd spend on ben and jerry's i think that's a fantastic idea zaren rice pudding's freaking awesome so good i'm gonna make some brie before but Make what? Yes, please. If it, if it'll survive the trip to Melbourne, that would be amazing. Holy cow. I'm kind of thinking about what I'm going to do for that lunch thing. Because basically, um, what I, so I'm going to PAX Australia uh, and I'm planning on a meetup because uh, since the last PAX I went to, my entire life has completely changed. Um, last time I went to PAX, I was a variety streamer. I was averaging maybe 20 viewers a stream. Um, and you know, really enjoying it, really going along with it all and just really enjoying myself. But then shortly after that, I kind of was like, nah, I actually want to make partner now. Like, let's, let's do this. I want to next. And I actually, I'm pretty sure I said next packs, I will be partnered. Like I, I kind of, I, you know, put my foot down and said, this is the goal that I'm setting for myself. Next packs, I'll be partnered. And then fucking COVID happened. <laughs> And two packs has got cancelled, but here I am. Two, well, three technically, because it's missed two, but it's like one, two, and now to this one is going to be three years. I'm partnered. I'm partnered with Logitech. I'm partnered with Blizzard. Uh, I'm 
all these affiliate programs that are incredible and amazing. I've had bloody sponsored streams. I'm sitting here on 140 goddamn viewers. That's a bit more than 20. Um, so everything has kind of exploded and I've met so many new amazing people and just everything is great and awesome and I love my life. So we're going to do a thing. We're going to have a meetup. The last time I did a meetup at PAX, uh, Mick, Ali, Silver, Colossus, Zalk, Miz, and Demon, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Um, last time I had a meetup, I booked a, a restaurant. Like I gathered numbers from my Discord and booked a restaurant. That's not happening this time because screw that level of organization. Uh, we're going to have lunch on the lawn outside of the convention center on the Saturday. Uh, because that way people who couldn't get their hands on tickets or couldn't afford tickets but who are still in Melbourne for whatever reason can come along too. Um, and it means that everyone can kind of grab that We don't have to worry about dietary requirements or splitting bills or any of that kind of bullshit. You can just grab lunch from, from, from wherever. You can make it yourself. You can buy it from one of the places and all come down and just kind of sit on the lawn and have some kind of a picnic. Um, so that's kind of what I'm aiming for because it's just gonna be so much more relaxed less stress on my, my part uh yeah so that's the thing and there'll be tons and tons and tons of other people on the lawn and stuff as well because it's the gathering place for the majority of everyone basically um so it won't be like too messy or stressful or anything uh we're gonna yeah let's do let's do leather wearers let's go through leather wearers um and I've been trying to figure out, like, what am I going to do? Because I don't really want to grab food in the convention center to take outside because it's expensive and bad. Um, <laughs> like, for what you're paying, it's not very good quality. Hot chips are great, but everything else is kind of sad. Um, but I don't really want to go off-site for too long to grab something takeaway and then bring it back and stuff. Like, I'm kind of umming and eyeing about what I actually want to do, you know? So, yeah, I'll figure something out, I'm sure. Maybe put myself together a cheese platter from... There's a, um, uh, quite close to, mo like, most of the time I stay in a very specific little area, uh, in an Airbnb or something, and, uh, grab, like, there's a Woolworths, like a, like a Metro, Woolworths Metro nearby, so limited lines of stuff, but a lot of ready-made meals and things like that, designed for, like, office workers who need to grab something and stick it in a microwave or whatever, with a couple of things you can cook, uh, and I reckon I might be able to put myself together a pretty wicked cheese butter. <laughs> Because, uh, look, I love me some cheese and I, I love me some some delicious toasters, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. I could just end up getting, like, something much dirtier and, like, like takeout or something, you know, like Maccas or whatever. But we'll see. It's a while away. I think I have some time. I have some time. Um... <clears throat> Um, packs, Nordic countries have more tolerance and you had to eat more cheese back in the olden times and everything frozen. Ah, that makes sense. Genetics are mad, aren't they? They're amazing. It's so cool. So cool. Where am I going? The same place you've been going all night, Fia. Stop asking that question. Uh, <laughs> rice pudding is the business? Agreed. It's so tasty. We're vacationing in the US in a few weeks. I imagine I'll be needing lots of tummy meds. Yeah, probably. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, the PAX site fear cancelled two PAXs with that promise to the universe. Look, I'm not going to say I did that because that would be horrible. Um, I'd love to meet up this community. is so wholesome. I think so too. I love this community. I really do. I, I've i never, like, very, very rarely have I ever felt that I belonged somewhere. Uh, and I, I feel like this is where I belong. Like, and I, I know I'm the one streaming and all that kind of stuff, but... It, it feels really good. Like, you know, oh, I didn't fit there and I didn't quite fit here and I didn't quite fit there. Uh, it's taken me a while, but it looks like I've kind of managed to create something around myself where I finally actually fit in. And it's not crap. So that's good. I like that. <laughs> Definitely come along. If I can make it, I'll shout for some pizza. Oh my God, Saren, that'd be mad. Oh, bring your own crackers and have cheese grommet. Cheese. Yep. Cheese. Oh, I love it so much. Love it so much. Finally, Hunter's four set. Hey, well done, Zuck. Congrats. Domino's are delivered to conventions and to lawn. I mean, Domino's, don't they deliver anywhere where your phone pings like GPS? Isn't that like their app does like that kind of crazy stuff? Bit of a shit area for food. There are some okay places. There are some really, really good places. Um, 
uh, if you follow, if like if you go past the lawn and go down to the like the um, the decking area and go follow it around the back of the convention center, there's a bunch of restaurants there that are actually pretty damn good. A um, little bit expensive, but um, the the food is pretty good. Uh, there's a DFO in behind there, and I'm sure there's probably some fast food in there. Uh, if you go across the road from the main entrance to the MCEC is its crown. Um, there was a burger joint on the corner there. I'd never been there, but it looked pretty good. And I, I don't know if they're still there, but if you keep following that around, the first glass entry doors into crown is their food court, like their oh, downstairs food court. Foal, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I managed to log into my phone. House sitting for 14 days, left my computer at home. Oh, foal, best of luck. Look, sometimes a digital detox can be pretty good. I mean, like when when the whole floods and everything happened, obviously, you know, not a great time. Uh, and I'm definitely not saying it was nice because it wasn't, but it was actually kind of like not having access to the PC and having to like monitor phone, like, you know, meter phone usage so I didn't drain the batteries and all that kind of stuff. It was actually kind of nice to sort of separate and disconnect for just a little bit. Uh, but best of luck. I hope you're having a fantastic time. And thank you again so much for the resub. Amazing. Um, right, the food, the crown food court there. The, the There's part, there's one bit that's like half inside, half outside. And they do like your coffees, pastries, cakes, all that kind of stuff. They've got some ice cream outside as well. Don't recommend it when we're there for packs. It's entirely too bloody cold. Um, but then in that food court, the Chinese place is a bit greasy. Indian, bang on. Like, I think the last couple of times I've gone on the Friday night after PAX is finished, I've swung by the food court, grabbed a container of like butter chicken to go and then and with naan and mango lassi and then taken it back to the hotel or Airbnb and eaten it there. Um, and their like the kebab place there is pretty good as well. Um, there was another spot that I really, there was another particular restaurant in that food court that I really liked, but I don't remember what it was, what cuisine it was, um, but they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty good there. Um, so that's kind of where I would frequent. Um, beyond that, not really sure. There is a kebab place. Um, is it, It's Spencer Street, isn't it? Like you've got MCEC and the Yarra and then you've got Spencer Street that comes straight up and you've got like DFO and the uh, Southern Cross Station. On the other side of the road, there's a kebab place maybe halfway or two thirds of the way up. It was like two doors down from one of the Airbnbs I stayed in and they did the best HSP I've had in years. It was drenched in chicken salt, so much sauce, so much meat. It was just like tons of cheese, really good ratios of everything, which made me very happy. Um, I'm in resto, thank God I checked. That would have been terrible. I'm like, why is my three button a heel? There were a couple of bubble tea places that weren't bad, but you know. Bubble tea club. But yeah, it's um there are a couple of really good spots. You've just gotta sort of know and experiment and yeah. And don't don't fall for the trap of all oh, all these places are really busy because of all the PAX attendees. That place seems quiet. We might get food quicker there. Don't fall for it. There's a reason it's quiet. <laughs> there's a reason there's no one there. Um But yeah, the food inside the convention center is like your standard convention center fare. It's very, very expensive because they believe they have a monopoly because anything else you have to leave to get it and people don't usually want to leave. Um, but it's like, you know, hot dogs and chicken burgers that have been sitting under heat lamps for two hours and stuff like that. Um, oh, we haven't figured out where we'll be staying yet. Last two times we stayed in Melbourne, ABC set us up a quest. Fantastic. Um, I usually get an Airbnb, but this time round, I have a hotel. So that'll be nice. Um, they're great, yep. Crown has some nice places. They do, they do. Um, lure people in with the food and convince them to stay for the gambling. <clears throat> <laughs> Merry well, yes, that one still there, still decent. Oh, good, good to hear. Ah, uh, burger joint Merrill's something is epic. Nice. Okay, you got to crash. Rest well, lucky. Appointment early morning. I'm someone who's been my butt. Thanks for the stream. No worries. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. 
And time good night, Ali. We'll see you next time too. I know I'm behind. I'm catching. Slowly but surely. Um, same with families. Put a Friday night with them. Day Friday I'll be free. Saturday dedicated to packs. Catch up with peeps and Sunday free. We want to make a plan a day after a potentially big day. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, usually, so when I go, when I head down to Melbourne for packs, I go down on the Tuesday. And then head back on the Wednesday, like the following Wednesday, obviously. Um, so I spend Tuesday, Wednesday night with mum. And then uh, she usually brings me to the city on the Thursday. And I stay Thursday night and get up, go to PAX first thing. And I'm there for the opening, like the whoomph um, <laughs> on the Friday morning. Spend Friday there, spend Saturday there, spend Sunday there. Check out Monday morning and spend Monday hanging around in the city. Usually um, find somewhere to like leave bags and stuff. I'll have to ask the hotel this time around, but sometimes I book, you can book like luggage holding for a day at like backpackers and stuff like that. And then you can just like swing by in the evening and pick it up and go elsewhere. Um, so I've done that and then head back to dad's place on the Monday night, uh, spend Tuesday in bed <laughs> and then usually spend Wednesday in bed as well. Or, you know, maybe, maybe leave the house potentially and then, um, head back to the airport. Um, but yeah, Tuesday is usually a recovery day because I'm bloody zonked. Um, it's, it's a big time. Or, you know, I sit there in, in, well, actually, hopefully I'll have a laptop by then. I was taking my tablet, but my tablet's kind of dying now. Um, and I don't like doing it on my phone, but sitting there and, and reaching out to all the contacts I've made through PAX, grabbing all the business cards and sending emails and following people on socials and all that kind of stuff and trying to reinforce those connections before they forget who I am. Um, <laughs> but we'll see what it looks like this time around. Usually the Monday, so I'll spend it like hanging around and just, you know, exploring the city and going, maybe doing some shopping, stuff like that. Um, but then like Monday night, I've met up with friends to, to do dinner. Um, and they've been like, they've been Twitch friends, like internet friends, but it's less of a community gathering, more of a, I know who you are and I've spent time with you in person one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to have dinner together kind of thing. Um, a little bit different, a <laughs> little bit different. Um, calm, happy, slips you both. Absolutely. Most hotels check your luggage for you. You shouldn't need to seek it elsewhere. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm hoping. But I also did a little bit of research into this restaurant and they, uh, as a restaurant, hotel, the reason I said restaurant, they seem to have partnered with an external restaurant to do like bed and breakfast packages. So I'm wondering if maybe their like reception area and stuff like their, their amenities are, um, smaller it might just be the location they are um the place might have been really built up before they were able to build a kitchen in or something like that but i'm not too sure uh, i'll have to do some investigating but yeah it'll be something i definitely check with them um when i check in um to see hey when we check out on monday are we going to be able to leave the bags with you and i'm sure they'll say yeah absolutely until x amount of time or we can charge you this much or whatever and i'm i'm happy to pay because we're paying with the backpackers anyway um so yes but i'm so excited i'm Ah, oh, so good. When everything starts falling into place, it gets kind of exciting, hey? Gonna go have a wonderful Sunday. You too, Rose. Enjoy your ice cream. Enjoy your ice cream. Oh, there we go. I don't wanna. Just, can I have my spore coated vest, please? My tendrils will. Slashy, slashy. okay with that being the last like that boss having the last piece I need because it means I can just go in there do it and get out <laughs> it's nice hoping I get a chance to come meet you I think it might be the weekend my anniversary not sure but fingers crossed um it's the 7th to 9th of October 7 8 9 October 
is uh, PAX Australia. So dupes anniversary, I think it is dupes anniversary, yeah. something for that. <laughs> uh, should be fine. Minus a second! Ah, there you go! Brilliant! Amazing. Uh, PAX is a really fun experience. Like, if you enjoy gaming, like, if, if you would call gaming one of your hobbies, then I, I honestly recommend going to, like, at least one day of PAX once. Like, it's it's an experience like no other that I've had. Um, the first time I went, they, they have a tradition of there's a big banner that they hang as you enter the convention centre that says, Welcome Home. And the first time I saw it, I nearly cried. Because it really felt like, you know, this is this is where I belong, this is my people. And it was just the most amazing experience. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely recommend it. Um, you know, go check out a panel, go explore, like walk around the whole floor, even the parts you don't think like cater to your interests. Just have a look at everything, take everything in. Um, it's it's very very cool, very cool. Um, how's the farming going? Hope chat as well. Stopping in shortly and buy a new dishwasher! Hey, fantastic! Worthwhile purchase. Um, yeah, it's going really well. I have finished Cathedral of Eternal Night on, uh, on plate wearers. I've got one piece left to get for male wearers, but I can't get it because I've run out of attempts. I've got four hunters and four shamans, and all eight of them have done it on heroic and mythic, so I cannot get it today. Um, and now I'm working on leather wearers. So yeah, it's it's going really well. Really, really well. I think I might actually like Nah, we'll just we'll just stick with because we're almost we're we're getting there, so I might just stick with the leather wearers for now. Um Hate gaming, what have I got myself into? <laughs> Though I have a feeling I'll feel super old in comparison. Honestly, there are so many different types of people at PAX. Like, so many different types of people. It's re And that's one of the things that I thought was really, really cool about it. Because you don't... You, you know, like, part of you in your brain knows that a variety of people enjoy the hobby. But until you actually see those people in the flesh in a place like a convention center... It can be really easy to just assume that they're either like you or not like you or do you know what I mean? Like it's it's way too easy to kind of apply that assumption. It is it's full of so many different people. It's really cool. Really cool. Um indeed it is. We need to do the full day Saturday evening. Saturday's a good day to go. Um it, it will be packed. Like Saturday is the biggest day. Um, but I've seen some photos from PAX East and it was like, oh wow. Like it was, comparatively to what I've seen at PAX Oz before, it looked empty, which was kind of scary. But then at the same time, it means that they're really taking like the COVID stuff seriously from for wherever they're basing it, which is really great. Like super, super awesome. Uh, I'm happy about that, especially as somebody with an autoimmune condition who is vulnerable. I am pleased that they're, you know, not being nincompoops about it. They are coming. <clears throat> um, got married last week. <gasps> Congratulations, Hero. Well done. Brought up gaming my speech. Mentioned a friend I've made for 15 years of playing. Wow, amazing. Biggest of congratulations. Well done. Well done. Congrats on play one. Thank you. Love the little music it plays when you finish a whole category. It's so good. I met my wife via WoW celebrating our 12th anniversary this year. That's so beautiful. So be I've made so many friends through WoW and then so many more friends through Twitch, which I only got into because of WoW. So like, oh God. Joss and I met on WoW. For those of you who didn't know the story of how I met Joss, I recruited him. 
I recruited him to our guild. He applied. And my co-GM said, nah, we're not taking him. He's got no raid experience. And I'm like, yeah, but that also means he's got no bad raid habits. He's got no expectations of how it should work and blah, blah, blah. So we'll actually be able to, you know, impress what we want on the person and, and get them to do what we want. Um, and, you know, raid our way. And he was like, mm, he was really begrudging about it. And finally, finally said, okay. Um, hey, it was Jess. And then uh, we had a... Uh, we had like a small guild meetup at a restaurant. It was like four of us or something like that. My co-GM uh, last minute decided, refused to go. Different conversation. Um, and Jas was there and I demanded, we were ordering jugs of sangria and I demanded to see his ID because I didn't believe he was 18 and I didn't want us to get in trouble for having jugs of sangria at a table where there was someone who was that close to 18. And so he pulled out his ID and indeed he had turned 18 like like two months prior or something like it was yeah <laughs> he was like uh he was a baby um but yeah and the rest as they say is history best mates friends for Bend seven years we have been friends for seven years best mates for Oh, three or four of those? And, uh, yeah. Pretty awesome. I'm not a paladin. <laughs> Super Zeran, yes, absolutely. Hey, Ni, nee, how you going? Welcome on in. What's up? I'm trying to get Transmog from Cathedral of Eternal Light. Um, and I'm, I'm doing alright at it, actually. Honestly, we've gotten a fair bit of transmog tonight. Um, but the, uh, the leather just doesn't want to drop for the druid, but that's, that's fine. As I say that. As I say that. Brilliant. Such an impressionable young fellow, indeed. Wondering about Jas's origin story. You're very welcome. There you go. Exactly how I hope people rather have a blank slate than having to unteach bad habits. Oh, absolutely. It's something I learned at my last job when we were hiring. Um, uh, yeah, they were like, we, we don't want to... Like, hiring someone who has to unlearn bad habits can be very messy sometimes. Um, but hiring people fresh off the, the course um, can be a really good thing. And this was a course that people often took later in life as well. Because um, it was like less manual, like less difficult manual labor, if that makes sense. So yeah, it's something I learned, and I'm forever grateful for that. Um, well, it's unreal. Great to hear. Nice story. Thank you. I, I don't mind it. Oh, excuse me. Go. There is nowhere you can flee that I cannot reach you, demon. Not too bad, just downloaded. Wow, very late to the party. It's about the only MMO I haven't given a fair chance so far. Well, I hope you enjoy yourself, Nu. Welcome to Azeroth. I hope you have an absolute blast. Ah, oh, itchy nose. How exciting. Yes, absolutely. I'm playing Guardian Druid. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm playing a Feral Druid at the moment. Oh, but I do often... I do often switch to Guardian because then it's just a little less squishy. If I'm having trouble killing something, I'll jump into Guardian and, yeah. You know. Um, I don't play yet. Oh, cool. Druid is so versatile as a starting tune. Agreed. Wholeheartedly. Oh, excuse me. Um, not really. Spent like three hours or so setting up LVY. It's a pain in the ass. It is. Um, now you're probably going to hate me for this, but, um, there are people who, like, make their stuff they're set up like public for LVY so you can like copy code and import it and then sort of tweak it from there rather than having to set everything up from scratch um but I'm gonna assume that after three hours you've got it pretty much how you like it so uh well done but yeah no LVY is one of those really big ones where you have to spend a an eternity setting it up but then once it's done you can save that profile import it on all your tunes and never bloody touch it again like ever um, unless you come across things, you know, one day you find one thing that doesn't quite fit there, and so you just move that one thing, but it's all just tiny minor tweaks. Much, much easier than the first original setup. 
Um, so I've never been to PAX. How accessible is it for people with mobility issues? A friend who wants to come, but he's worried it would be too crowded for his mobility scooter. Um, so I'm in past, this year is going to be very different from past years in terms of crowdedness and stuff like that, but they do have medical passes. Um, so if you have your friend, um, check out the website there. I'm not sure. I think it's under the FAQ or something, but if you buy a ticket and you fill out the form and you let them know that you have like an access requirement, they often allow, there's an hour prior to opening on day one on the Friday where they let in media and people with access requirements um, or access issues, things like that. And so basically you get to explore everything an hour prior with no one really in there. So there's no crowds or anything like that. Um, and then they open up proper for, for the day. So uh, I'm not sure if that works every day or if it's just the Friday. I'm, I'm not really sure how it works because I've never had to go through that. Um, but there are things like that that are available. And given that, I mean, usually it's pretty crowded and a, like a full on scooter would probably have issues. You'd fit between the, like between the things and stuff, but there'll be a ton of people. A lot of people will move out the way and stuff, but if it's crowded enough, if you're trying to go through a main thoroughfare, there are probably going to be enough people there that they can't move out your way because there is nowhere to move to. But that being said, with the COVID restrictions and stuff in place, it's probably going to be a whole lot more empty than that. See if you can find any photos from PAX East 2022 versus the last PAX East that was hosted. So you can kind of have a look at the, have a look at the difference between uh, the stuff and things, but um, you can contact PAX on their website. Like there, there's a contact form. I'd probably reach out to them by that because they're going to be far better. Like they're, they're going to be in a far better place to know how many tickets they're selling, how crowded it's going to be, what they can do in terms of access, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm a, I can only speak as an attendee. Um, uh, so before that, I wanted to set it up like my XIV card. Ah, interesting. I wonder, I'm sure there's probably someone who's done, although you guys have a customizable thing over there, don't you? So like, because I was going to say, I'm sure somebody's done like an XIV inspired LVUI setup, but maybe not yours. Like, <laughs> but that makes sense. Well, I hope you've managed to recreate it as much as you can now. Uh, not sure about the crowd side of things, building itself. Yeah, the building is incredibly accessible. But yeah, in terms of the convention itself, yeah. Um, need to figure out how to set keybinds to other bars though. LVUI has a bind, uh, keybind mode. Um, so what you do, give me a second to get out of combat. Because I use LVUI. So, uh, LVUI. LVUI! Uh, where is it? It's uh, action bars. Keybind mode. This button here, keybind mode. And it says up here, hover your mouse over any action, micro, macro, or spellbook button to bind it. This also works for items in your bag. Press the ESC key to clear the current bindings. And you can make it character specific if you want, or like a global thing. So you hover over a part on your bar, and then you can press a button. And it will like, like that. And I've now bound you to that, that particular one. How do I undo it? I don't want to... Uh... If I press escape, no, discard, perfect. I was gonna say, if I press escape, is it gonna wipe everything? Um, but yeah, so it's really, really, really easy to do in LVI. It's amazingly simple. You just gotta know where the button is. Um, hold an MCC, have an accessibility page. It's fun hearing people learn uh, through where other memos. Spanish the first time for a very long time. I've talked to my, any, uh, I've talked any to my guild. Usually it's just to be in a guild, pretty much never talk, finally did raid and stuff, often play maybe less than half the expansion cycle, so I kind of hope they don't keep me from being inactive, they're not, they're, they're great, not played 9-0, a lot of fun, finish yourself not alt friendly, it's made it hard to see gram, fair enough, fair enough, I uh, love a good board text, I myself one of the guiltiest, accessible toilet trams, lifts throughout our venue, include lift cast parks, wish I call customer service team, five poster bull bar on the scooter and air horn, you'll be fine. Um, for cosplay purposes, sure, starts looking at scooters. Final Fantasy 64 UI customization is great. Yeah. Yeah. Neat. Yeah, it's super convenient. Hey, press escape to clear. I didn't want to clear everything, though. I was nervous it was going to wipe all my bindings, so I just hit discard. Um, and chat on Twitch is really less than five words. Awkward on Pika chat. So disappear quickly, of course. And I just thought, oh, okay. Interesting. The custom keybinds really want, again, like, a new tech. Okay, second bar just being control alt through. Yeah, very easy to just, just. Hover over it, press the button, press the button, press the button, press the button, press the button as you go along. Yeah, you'll be fine. 
while we have a lot of lovely new viewers, want to support Fia, why not follow on social media? Following is a huge free way to support streamers and makes a massive difference, like legit. I know, it's ridiculous. Um, I've just hit, like, literally on Wednesday, hit 1,000 view uh, viewers, 1,000 followers on Instagram, and that's a massive milestone. It provide it's like a, a kick for the algorithm, makes it like me, um, provides increased visibility, and it also, that obviously opens up potential for sponsorships. I want to be a full-time content creator. That's my dream. That's my goal. And uh, building a, a social media empire is kind of step one of that. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind helping me out with a follow, it's free. Uh, you can either type exclamation socials in chat to get my link. Um, you can, there you go, there they are. That's the mail boots. Took a while, but they dropped. Uh, wrong tune, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, exclamation socials um, or scrolling down under the video player and clicking on the buttons there. There's um, like the panels, but there's also the about fear bit and then there's links in the side there. Um, yeah, it, it really massively helps. Massively helps. Not played since 9 -0. Fair. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Little bit more sense. Um, keep on moving combined to combos as well. Yes, biggest learning curve when setting up all my UI and everything is just not knowing what anything was. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can like once you've once you've bound your buttons and you put a like you put a spell somewhere and you're pressing it, you're like, that's not doing what I'm thinking it's supposed to do. You can then shift them around a lot more easier. Uh, you don't have to shift around the bindings, you just shift around the buttons. Uh, far easier in my opinion. Hello, Ventu! Thought about doing cosplay. There aren't a lot of over six foot video game characters who are chubby. Maybe I can just paint myself pale white and go as Kirby! Oh dear. Oh dear. Not a fan of those, to be honest. Let's see how people would like them. Uh, Mind combos. But like, control one is a combo. That's what we're always talking about. When you were saying binding, like, control one through equals, that's, that's a combo. That's a key combo. Um, not like keys in a sequence, but like control one, control two, control three. Those those are the combos that Ro was talking about. Um, what about the concept of Kirby Plus Play? The BOE, can you mail them? No, unfortunately not. Uh, Shiro mentioned something about setting a home to an inn, which I did. Didn't really explain how you return to set home point. Uh, you have a hearthstone. It's in your bags. Um... I think Fiona's talking about social media empire. It's a for Palpatine. We will form into the first galactic, uh... <clears throat> Social empire, yep. Mm -hmm. Is it infinite use? Yes. Infinite use. Um, still in your bag? No, it'll be it'll be in the bag. It's not in the spell book. It'll be in your bag. Um, and yeah, it, if if something is not infinite use, it'll say something in the tooltip like X charges, like five charges or seven charges or whatever. Um, yeah, Zalk, Silver, Deathlock, Ali, Elytria, uh, and the Alisiov, and Seeker, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. One hour or otherwise. Uh, uh, hang on. Is cooldown still an hour? All my, all of mine are cooldown 15 minutes, but I think that's because I've got a few buffs. I can't remember where they come, come from, though. Um, that might be a guild thing. Hasty Hearth Guild perk reduces the cooldown on your Hearthstone by 15 minutes. But I'm do they have maybe they have a um yeah it has a half hour cooldown. It says it in the tooltip. So it did, mine says 15 minute cooldown, but it'd say 30 minute cooldown. Um, unless you're in a guild that has that perk. Um, ah oh, shit! I just realized what the time is. I can't cancel a place your units because we're starting this real soon. We're starting this really soon. I did done fucked up. Um, we're gonna finish out this dungeon run and then I'm gonna start the battle. So make sure you place those units when you can. 30 minutes, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. Guild perk, guild perk, normal 30. Reduce cooldown from me in a guild. Some classes have a shorter cooldown too. Yep. Default is 30. There you go. Hey, crowdsourcing info. Okay. 
I saw some really short information from my game six years ago. <laughs> oh dear. Really something you need to level to point to get. I don't believe I saw any hide helmet feature anywhere. Um, you need to speak to a transmogrifier to be able to do it. They're um, NPCs. Uh, there is an NPC that it's on the back of one of the mounts, but as you're a new player, you won't have that particular mount. Um, usually, they're like a lot of them. I think are found in like town centers and stuff, like like cities and things like that. Like Orgrimmar or Stormwind, depending on who you're playing, like what thingy you're playing. Um, but yeah, you need to speak to a particular NPC to be able to do that. Or a particular type of NPC. I don't know, it's my helmet safety is lame. Some of the helmets are like crowns and shit though, so like, come on. Pretty sure most of mine have uh, like a crown of fire. Where's my... yeah, this one. I mean, it fits, I'm Fiamma, so... <laughs> Heroes wear helmets, ask God. Hide helmet was just in options, it's now in a transform vendor like she mentioned, yeah. Yep. Talk to guards, I know where everything is, yes. Uh, if you mouse over a guard, it has like a scroll cursor, and they'll be able to tell you, like you can ask them literally where any of the NPCs are, and they'll be able to point you direction, and they put a flag on your mini-map for it. And your map-map, like your old map. Oh, then they can be Pandaren. Looks weird. I'm ready to put anything on their head. Fair. They do have a human form, though. Hard on plate wearer personally to not to wear helmet. Like a lot of them. Or oh, well, usually. Yeah, it depends. Look, it, it all depends on personal preference. Um. Some of the helmets are very. Like, some of the helms are like really quite open so you can see your character's design and they do add just a bit of a flourish like my crown of flame or my um like you can have ones that are like collars like big huge tall collars you can still see all the face and the hair but it's it's a helm uh rather than part of the cloak or shoulders um but yeah it's very much personal preference that's why they gave the option to transmog to whatever you want or to hide it Keeping in mind, of course, if you do want to transmog, you have to have be you have to have collected those appearances first, which is what I'm doing now. Run again, and I'll shackle you like the beast. Maybe human if you chose war, great. Posture if you must, my elf. Something, something role playing. It is an RPG. Best and follow me. A few weeks ago, if we weren't even have human form, even if I knew they were human, yeah, totally fine. We don't spend much, like the Wargan don't spend much time in it, because I'm pretty sure you're forced into Wargan form any time you enter combat anyway. Ah, uh, I was so disappointed when I came across the horde, to give up my Wargan! So, we should have gotten to our like 10 years ago art commissions, were dirty cheap back then! Well now artists are being paid their worth. someday. This world will belong to the Legion. Grumpy. I don't actually need anything from this final boss, so maybe I should just not do it. Um, I agree they're getting their worth, but also, yeah, I'm cheap. <laughs> I mean, you could always learn to draw yourself. Or go in and split the cost of a commission with a bunch of people, a bunch of friends who want something very, very similar. We'll get the same piece of artwork. Um, all right, we're gonna have to start early. I, I know I, I know I fucked up, but, um, I don't need anything from this boss. Uh, like, at all. Bugger it, let's do it. Let's have some fun. 
Jittery. Should we get some jittery farming armor stuff? Oh. It's, it's very fun getting stuff that isn't transmog when you're transmog farming. It's an epic in two minutes. Alright, we'll see how we go. We're not gonna- we're not gonna win. It's scaled to our 200 plus battles. We're not gonna win with like 50 people. It's not gonna happen. Where transmogs work, if not purchased from someone, like an NPC or an auction house thing, it's simply a case of having the item from a drop to transmog it. Yes. So, for example, I'm doing, like, transmog hunting runs at the moment. If I loot Mephistroth, and I just got the Shadowed Grips of the Nazrathame. Nathrazim. I said that entirely wrong, but that's fine. So, now it's plate, which is why it's in red, because I'm a le leather wearer. But let's assume I was a warrior for a second, who can wear plate. Please be quiet, Aegwyn. Um, so Shadow Grips of the Nathrazim, they... Can I see what they look like, please? There you go, there's the gloves there. So I can now, if I'm a warrior and I've just had that drop and it's soulbound, I can now use that as a transmogrification whenever I want. Transmog. Um, I need to obviously find an NPC that is a transmogrifier, pop it on my gear, costs a small amount of gold, uh, but I can use that. Anything that I don't have... So all these, all these heads, like all these helms, I can use any of them because I've learned them all over time. Eventually, here we go. So we've got, oh, they're, so these ones that are yellow, they tell me where I got them. So the staccato helm is from a quest. The sin steeped coronet is uh, from a boss drop. Uh, the headpiece of the fixed stars is a boss drop. The hood of empty eternities is another boss drop. Uh, a vendor man, the azure dusk hood. Shroud of Unmooring Whispers is a boss uh, from last expansion. So these are all ones I can't use because I haven't had them drop yet or I haven't bought them or I haven't learned them. If you get a bind on equip item, so like that example, that one there, Sky Singer Boots. Nope, they were soulbound because they would have been originally BOE. Um, I don't have any bloody BOEs. Go me, look at me go, bloody hell. But if you have a green drop from trash or something and it's bind on equip, or binds when equipped, uh, you have to equip it and make it soulbound to learn the transmog. If you buy it from a vendor, there's a timer that has to elapse before you can use it as transmog, or you can equip it so that you can't refund the currency. Once it's no longer refundable, it is now learned permanently as transmog, that kind of stuff. There are a few funky little rules around it, um, but for the most part, you have to go get the piece to be able to use it as transmog. Uh, okay. Um. The cost of transmog. Yep, it's strange to see a lot of cool wow commissions and cost like two times more than I thought. Assume just coin transmog. Get yeah, currency. Gold, silver, copper. Um, buy equip, you have to equip it, gain that transmog. Yep, let's say you transmog an item, you discard the item you use for its appearance alone. If you needed to re-transmog in the future, would it come from your collections? Comes from your collections. Yep. Um, once you pick up something and add it to your appearance tab, you don't need to keep the item anymore. It is forever bound to your account and any class that can use it can use it. Yep, so if it's leather, any of your leather wearers can use it, cloth, cloth wearers, etc. Um, there are some pieces that are like a warlock tier piece that you can't, it's cloth, but you can't use it on other clothies because it's a warlock piece. But you can, if you had an account full of warlocks, you could use it on all of those warlocks. Yeah. Um, making something so bad simply by equipping it or using the gear to a certain extent. Equipping. Equipping is fine. Class specific, they do exist, but are pretty rare. Yeah, they, we haven't had them for a while, but we do have tier sets now. Um, we, we have, we've been missing them for a bit, but they've come back now. Uh, Transmogger seems much better in WoW over XIV. You have to have the item to glamour it over there. I have heard, but you have also like like glamour plates and stuff. Is that I'm not sure how it works exactly. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty like honestly in WoW. I'm I'm not really sure how other MMOs do similar stuff because I haven't really played them very much at all. Um, but I do think WoWs is a pretty good system. I'm sure there are ways they could improve it. Of course, there are always improvements that can be made to literally anything. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how this one works in particular. Um, place my epic now. Feel free to start the battle. Brilliant, awesome. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that because I do probably need to do the bed thing. Um, let's do a. Cause um, yeah, it's one of these one of these type of days. Go. 
You've done the thing, you can now do the thing, dupe probably. Set myself a bit of a goal and wow, every character I have so far on any server, I'm getting it to 60. Sounds like a plan, well done. If it says Helm of Awesomeness has been added to your appearances or something, unless like she mentioned, you buy from a vendor and has typically a one hour, two hour uh, timer, then it might say Helm of Awesomeness has been removed from appearances. If you sell it right after, it's just from quests or most gear will just stay correct. Yeah. Um, but it's two hours. It's usually just when it sits into your bag for the first time, it says you one hour and 59 minutes. It is two. Yeah. Oh yeah, we have zero hope. Not, not a single hope at all. We never did. <laughs> we, we never did. Um, but I need to go to bed because I'm an umpty and accidentally started a new battle because I wasn't thinking. I was too busy talking to you guys, which is entirely my fault. Um, but yeah, I, I, what did it? I, I shat in the blue cabinet. <laughs> uh, too so. No, 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 totally fine, Paul. Totally okay. I mean, it always starts by saying one hour, blah, blah, blah. And no one reads past that, do they? Why would you? Personal taste of like simple good quality. Of course, of course. Nice throw back, thank you. I, I I think I did pretty well. You sound redeemer. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to censor it. I'd have to censor it. Uh, lovely having you interact. Aw, yay! Yeah, that could be why you gotta clip it first. After baby mod. <laughs> uh flashy stuff is usually a pain to get a hold of. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm I'm trying. Look at me go. 110 kills. My golly gosh. <laughs> 110 kills. Alright. So we're in our sound command. Perfectly fine. Alrighty guys. Uh let's have a bit of a chit chat while I look for somebody to love. Um, it's an ad in progress as well, so we need to wait for that to finish. Uh, okay. I hope you've all had a really lovely night, but I've thoroughly enjoyed today. This has been, this has been fantastic. Really enjoyed myself. Um, I hope that you all have too. Um. Yeah, let's. I think this is going to be a good idea. Let's do that. Okay. Brilliant. Um, so. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome, Nim. We hope we, I hope you see you next time. Yeah, it's been a great stream today. I've really enjoyed it. Really, truly enjoyed it. So. Let's have a look at what's coming up. We have Mount Farm Monday tomorrow because it's Monday and that's what we do on Mount Farm Monday. Can you see? Can you tell? Yep, good. Uh, this Wednesday, I'm actually having a day off. I don't often have a day off. Um, last day off I had was because of surgery. Prior to that, it was because we had we were flooded. Um, and prior to that, I was sick. I didn't have a voice. And then prior to... Yeah, look, you get the picture. I don't take days off, but I, I need one. So I'm going to take one off. So I'm taking Wednesday off. Friday, we're doing some BC time walking. I'm going to do one dungeon each on a whole bunch of tunes. You know what I'm doing. I'm trying to rack up those, uh, the time warp badges to buy all of the rewards because I want them and I just want them finished. Uh, and next Sunday, gold making. We're going to do gold making. We're going to do loot appraiser challenges. You can type exclamation L-A-C, lack, in chat um, for instructions on how you can get yourself set up for that. You can be any faction. You can be any region. So even people from the EU can play with us as well. Um, you do need to be of a decent level, though. That's the only thing. You don't necessarily have to be max level, but you need to be of, like, I think, what, probably uh, 45 to 50 probably would be a, a good thing to aim for. But it is a week away, so, I mean, you can definitely prep your butts. Um, special things coming up. Uh, 30th. The 30th is all the way at the top because I ran out of space. But um, the 30th of May is going to be a charity stream. It's, it's like a whole month away. It's the end of the month. Um, but we're going to be raising money for a charity called War Child. Uh, and War Child, what they do is they provide services um, and help and, and stuff 
and things uh, to children who are victims of war, who live in war zones at the moment. They're helping a lot of the kids in Ukraine uh, for obvious reasons. Um, so another very worthy cause. It is a while away. I just wanted to flag with you that it is going to be happening so that if that is a cause that you feel is important to you, um, then yeah, we can, uh, we can do some good there. Um, another special thing to do with that stream is that, um, it's War, War Child is based in the UK and because they're registered as a UK charity, um, they the United Kingdom is doing a thing at the, I can't remember what it's called. It's like the month of giving or something like that. But any, any donations made during the month of May to War Child by someone from the UK is going to be matched pound for pound by the UK government which I think is phenomenal. Um, so they're really doing a big hard push for that. So I don't know how many UK viewers we have, um, but it's it's a worthwhile one to contribute to. They did have a War Child Australia account on Twitter as well, but it hasn't been active for a while. Um, so I'm not sure. I think they're probably focused in on like one account and trying to get as much out from that one as possible. Uh, social media empires are hard. But yeah, uh, that's... That's May. Don't forget, we've got the announcement at 3 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time on the 4th of May for the uh, Warcraft mobile game. I know I'm keen. I'm so I'm so excited to see what that is. I'm going to have to learn how to stream from mobile because no doubt there's going to be opportunities to, to do stuff with that. And I want to. So we're going to do that. But we'll see. Um... Uh, a random question someone who's known just pet battles is weird to be farming whelps in vanilla and other pets later. Since pet battles came into our interest completely dropped. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure what the question is, Claw, but that's okay. I only try to look at the moment a bit of a boy to ask anyone literally anything in game. Yeah. Yeah, the Discord. Yes, they go. Need a little for time walking? Always. Always. Can we write in the fields? Yup. Yup. Even the EU tad harsh, I like being English. No, it's because usually we can't, like North America slash OCE, we can't play with EU region and vice versa. Like, but Ludopraiser challenges because it uses the Battle.net friends list and that's region non-specific. Hey, it's great. I like it a lot. Same with Ukraine just saying, gonna try some spec cash to throw down for that. For sure, for sure. Pax mobile stream, I'm gonna, well, no, I mean like as in playing a mobile game and streaming that through the PC, but we'll figure it out. I have applied for an influencer pass for PAX. Uh, it'll just be a matter of whether or not they like me enough. Um, and Discord hang for the mobile announcement. Do you think? Ah, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how dead I feel. Um, just a question. Is it just me or? Ah, okay. Uh, well, I love pet battles. So that's, yeah, sorry. I can't really answer that one for you. Anyway, we're going to do the thing. Here we go. Bam! Uh, Twitch raid. Grab your copy. Oh, look, see, so you can beat me to it. Grab your copy paste. If you do not have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, which are the embers just underneath chat, it looks like a purple uh, ca purple campfire, um, which, both of which are totally fine, you can still copy and paste the entire message into chat and then delete the Fiamma hype part and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote and drop it into Hydrax's chat when we get there. He's currently running some dungeons. Yep, plus 15 to 20 mythic dungeon keys with viewers. Um, it looks like they're doing it via giveaway, which is really cool. So uh, if that's something you need, maybe give it a shot. Thank you so much to everyone who has hung out tonight. I've had such an absolute blast. It's been really chill, but also really super lovely. So thank you for being here. Um, please follow me on Instagram. I'm desperate. Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you tomorrow. All the love. Bye, guys.